Every great moment in our history began with a dream. Each bold leap forward was achieved by those willing to do anything to attain it. We are, all of us, leaving behind families, homes, the very birthplace of our species. Some for discovery, to see the unknown. Others for a new start. But today, whatever our reasons, we take the first steps toward a new future for humanity. Today, we begin to make our dream reality. Deep breaths. You're gonna wanna take it easy. I've been taking it easy for 600 years. Ryder, Sarah, recon specialist, Pathfinder mission team. Pathfinder team, eh? The ones finding us a home. Can you make it somewhere tropical? Nice, warm ocean, summer year-round? How about we get her a cup of coffee first? process saw the Andromeda Initiative evaluate thousands of potential habitable planets within the galaxy. Sarah Ryder, let's get you checked out. Look here. After discovering an unusually high ratio of potential candidates, or Golden Worlds, the Helios Cluster was selected as our destination. Now you are a part of the first wave of arcs arriving in Andromeda, our new home for humanity. Makes it sound so easy, doesn't it? Even if it isn't, we'll be ready. I hope so. You know something? Word came down, the Pathfinder wants you all mission ready within the hour. Look this way. Why the rush? He didn't say, but something's up. Okay, everything checks out. Just one more thing before I send you on your way. Let's test your SAM implant. Sam, are you monitoring? Sam, are you online? Yes, Dr. Tapero. Good morning, Sarah. Are you feeling well? I just need a second to get my bearings. Oh, 
What's this about my implant? A routine check. After being in stasis, we want to make sure the connection's still alive. As the team's mission computer, your well-being is my primary concern. Assuming the implants work as advertised, Sam sees what you see, in theory. We won't know for sure until we get you in the field. How are you feeling, otherwise? I feel like a 600-year-old popsicle. I hope we pack more coffee. Readings confirmed. Based on the levels of adenosine in your system, the neural implant is functioning properly. Wait, adeno what? It just means you're still shaking off your nap. No reason why we can't get you on your way. Though you may want to hang around while we revive your brother. It always helps to see a familiar face. I don't like the sound of that. I think so. What happened? We're not sure. Sensors are scrambled. But it's good to see you're up. Feels like centuries since we spoke. This is the Pathfinder. Mission teams continue preparations. Cora, Riders, report to the bridge. You heard him. Let's get- Uh, we have a problem over here. It's Scott Ryder. What's wrong? I don't know. Have to check it out. Well, it looks like some... Sarah. Is my brother okay? Scott's fine. His vitals are strong, but the revival procedure was interrupted. When can he wake up? We don't want to rush it. Sam? My connection to Scott's implant was suspended. However, his pulse, respiration, and brain activity are all normal. To be on the safe side, we'll need to keep him in a low-level coma for a while. Then let his body regain consciousness naturally. He'll be fine. Glad to hear it. Thanks, Lexi. Keep us updated. Ryder, I'll wait for you at the door, whenever you're ready to go. How do you wanna... Don't worry, Ryder. We'll take care of him. He'll make it. This is the captain. I need damage Did the world... update. Enjoy your... Hey there! Hell of a wake-up call, huh? Didn't expect that first thing out of stasis. Makes two of us. Hang in there. See you around. This looks broken. You ready? What's wrong? Power is malfunctioning. We have to balance the power loader, it could explode. But we don't know where the fault is. Ryder could find it. She has a scanner. Quick, Ryder, use it to locate the fault. On it. I'll try to get readings on the second conduit. Hey, get on this. Way. There's no indication of a relay 2C shows damage from a temperature spike. Found it. Bad relay. Ryder, can you go reset it? It's reset! Please stand by while the conduit finishes cycling. Good job, Ryder. Now we can get to the tram. That was close. Barely an Andromeda and we're already scrambling. The adventure begins. Not sure your dad will see it that way. Go ahead and take us to the bridge.
Come control, report. We're drifting. Flight controls aren't responding. First priority is stopping these outages. Mainline power's been knocked out. We're on reserves, Captain. They won't last. What's our position? Unknown. We lost telemetry. Sam, we need eyes out there. Attempting to adjust sensor array. Alec, please. You may be Pathfinder, but this is my ship. Captain, the protocol's clear. In the absence of communication with the Nexus or the other ARCs, we proceed to our appointed Golden World. Solid ground. If it's even out there. Nobody said anything about running into an energy cloud. And that's just a wild guess what we hit. Alec, I need to assess the damage. Stop the bleeding. We've got 20,000 people asleep on this ship. Let's give them a chance to wake up. Can you blame her? She is the captain. I think she gets the final word. Well, he might. This isn't about having the final word. Yes, sir. We're coming through. My god. Is that our golden world? That's Habitat 7. New Earth, if we're lucky. All of our long-range scans told us it was in the green zone. Perfect for human settlement. It doesn't even look the same. We don't know how bad it is yet. Still seems like it's our best shot. Maybe. There's just a lot on the line. Sam? The energy from the phenomenon is dumping our senses. Planetary conditions are unknown. We're marooned. 20,000 souls adrift at sea. And when the power runs out and stays out, we need to know if that's safe harbor. And if it's not? As Pathfinder, it'll be my job to find an alternative. It's what we trained for. But if this goes well, we are already home. All right, just make it quick. Harper, the rest of the team should be awake by now. Have them spin up two shuttles. Planet Fallen 30. Yes, sir. A stubborn one, isn't he? No one ever said Dad was a diplomat. People's skills were never his strong suit. Just as long as he knows what he's doing. It's not like the cavalry's coming to save the day. I need an ETA on our sensor repairs. We're blind out here. My brother's going to hate that he missed this. Are all the riders adrenaline junkies? I guess it's in our blood. I was born a minute ahead of him. I never let him forget it. Don't worry. I'm sure Scott will pull through. Yeah, and when he does, he'll want to hear stories. So, let's get out there and find him one. Right, you'll want to get your helmet. And maybe stop at the good luck rock before we go. The what? It's an old superstition of your dad's. Hang in there, Scott. Looks like Dad's already suited up. Ryder? Hey, Fisher. How's it going? I heard a rumor from the bridge that your dad and the captain aren't seeing eye to eye on this. She wasn't thrilled with the idea of the expedition. My dad won her over. I heard you weren't a big fan of it either. It's her ship, her call. You got guts going against the old man. The way I see it, Pathfinder team answers to the Pathfinder. Besides, your dad's the N7 here. He's got the best aim. I go wherever he goes. Better not. No bathroom breaks on this trip. Got it. That should do it. The Pathfinder is now requiring sidearms. I've opened the armaments locker. Are we expecting trouble? Good luck, Rock, huh? Your dad was mountain climbing back on Earth. 
It caught him from falling. The way things are going today, we'll need any luck we can get. Yeah. Harper and Ryder, to the hangar. Better safe than sorry. You never know. Now let's get to the shuttles. Dr. Carlyle, with everything going on, I think the Ark needs you more than we do. Pathfinder wants a medic on hand, and if that is home down there, I'm happy to knock on the door. Yeah, we're just not sure what's on the other side of the door. No problem. If it has teeth, I brought the pliers. Yank them out myself. All right, team. Button it up. We leave in five. Sir, we broke out the weapons as requested. Anything we should know about? Seem prudent, given the situation. We'll be down a man with Scott out. I heard what happened. Your brother's strong. He'll make it. He better. 600-year nap and he oversleeps. You know him. Never was an early riser. Just don't let it get to you. I need you sharp. Yes, sir. Your mom would have been proud. Of both of you. Okay, team, listen up. I chose each of you for the Pathfinder team, not just because you're talented and passionate, but because you're dreamers, like me. We dream of exploring the unknown, of finding the edge of the map, and then discovering what lies beyond. When people look back on this, and they will, they'll remember we didn't give up, that we kept dreaming that our first few faltering steps in Andromeda were the beginning of everything they know. We only get one chance to be first. So, let's go make history. Been waiting 600 years for this. to be an unstable mass of dark energy. If you say so, steer clear of it. Gravity anomalies detected. Contact protocol. No use of deadly force unless. 
Come in. Hyperion! Sam! Anyone there? Save your breath, Ryder. Sam's offline. Comlink's trashed. I'm surprised we aren't too. Did the others make it? I don't know. It was all a blur. Shuttle split in two. This is like some nightmare. Yeah. No way this is home. Looks like we're gonna find some high ground. See if anyone else is alive. Come on! Ryder, how's your survival training? I've seen my share of troubles. Nothing crazy, but... Well, crazy just found us. Those rocks out there are floating. Terra Incognita. Oh, and safety tip? Don't breathe the air. Found that out the hard way. Got it. You think that energy cloud we saw could cause all this? Sam said it's dark energy, but that's in space. Yeah, hell of a cloud. A cloud that makes boulders float. Oh, uh, what the hell is this? Come on! We gotta get through it! This is crazy! Welcome to Habitat 7! Keep moving! Look safer under there! Is this for real? What the hell's going on with this place? How's your gun? Might want to see if it's working. Take a shot at that fuel cell. It's busted anyway. Look, something flying up. I'd say it's working! There! We get up that cliff, we find high ground. Come on! Not sure we want to be the tallest thing around here. I think I can see a path up. We'll use the jump jets if we have to. Into the breach! More glowing mushrooms. Are they making that noise? No. Coming from inside the mountain. Detecting a lot of energy. Can't make heads or tails of it, but it's powerful. In crisis response. Yeah? Tell you over a beer sometimes. That's it. We're getting there. I think I see the top. Mind making some room? 
Thanks. What the hell is that? Don't know, but it's our job to figure it out. That sounds like your old man talking. He was right. Something went wrong here. We have to find out what. One thing at a time. Ryder, it's Fisher. Wait, look. by aliens. Not letting that happen for anyone. <sighs> we still don't even know what they wanted. Nothing good the way they were armed. Who says we'd even understand? Or they'd understand us? It's a new galaxy. I guess it's too much to expect they'll play by Milky Way rules. Or any rules by the look of them. But what did we do to them? Only thing I know for sure, their guns hit just as hard as ours. Where are the others? Gone. Kirkland and Greer went looking for help. Come on. Ah, my leg! Can you move? I think it's broken. You guys push ahead and look for the others. You sure? Yeah. Just find us a ride out of here. And take a few more of them out while you're at it. Whoa. Take a look at these bodies. What are these things? Well, I don't have Sam here, but I can try to make sense of it. They're DNA-based, and their armor reads as some kind of bone. But the genetics are all over the map. Huh. I guess life took a different turn here, huh? I hope the other team's okay. We'll find them. But we might want to scout around first. You're the recon specialist. Point the way. Right. Looks like you knew how to handle the gun back there. Spent time with an Alliance peacekeeping force. Hear that? Is that Kirkland? What for the Please, I surrender. For the I said I surrender. They shot him! That's the last of them. I can't believe we're doing this. Did Kirkland make it? No vital signs. Just shot him in cold blood. He was trying to surrender. Why kill him? Would we treat them any different if they showed up on Earth, armed to the teeth? <sighs> Maybe not. Peace isn't going to be an option here. We'll come back for his body once we find the others. Hope Greer is still alive somewhere. Still, take a look at this architecture. This is really something. I've seen Prothean artifacts in my time, but nothing quite like this. It's at least three or four centuries old. The Arcs left 600 years ago, right? Yeah. Okay, now this is weird. Even with these readings, I have no idea what it does. Just imagine the mind that invented it. If that's even possible. Evolution separated from ours by two million light years. Spooky when you. Shit! Hey, watch out! 
Okay, it's dead. Whatever it was. How'd it cloak like that? It's organic. No sign of technology. Wow, so the cloaking is biological? Yeah, weird. Hey, look, where's going up over there? Could be our people. I'll mark the nav point. What do you suppose is down there? New and pink. Is that sound coming from below? Um, alien gods of the underworld? <laughs> Don't say that. I think it's machinery. You can feel the vibration. Oh, the scale of this. Who built it? Alien gods. we're doing here. Crash of some kind. It's not one of our ships. It's food, I think. Can't be local. Not growing anything on this planet. So maybe they're bringing it in from off-world? More of them in the cluster? Not loving that. more like the golden world my dad was expecting. Then, the long-range scans were right? This could have been home? 600 years ago, and then, who knows? If it's anything like plants back in the Milky Way, there are signs of cellular mutation. It's lasted this long. Guess that makes it the Alpha Tree, huh? Yeah, but what happened to all its friends outside? Dead animal in here, and some sort of trap. Pretty recent, too. You suppose those aliens sent it? If they did, they don't play nice with anyone. Well, maybe they're starving. A path off on the left. Tapping my mic, hoping someone would notice. You okay? Yeah. Where are the others? They killed Kirkland. But Fisher's alive back at the crash site. He's got a broken leg. Needs help. I'll check around for supplies. Then head back. Stay put when you get there. We'll look for my dad's shuttle. Good luck. Can't wait to get off this rock.
structure up that hill. This place is taking a beating from the storms. Along with everything else on this planet. Well, let's hope no one's home. Doesn't look like a home at all. Yeah, no one's living here. So what's it for? Doesn't look like the other structures we've seen. Different design. Must be a way to get some lights on. Why wouldn't it be? Maybe it did something. Huh. Who knows? Let's call it a weird alien machine. We sure could use Sam right about now. Research lab? Maybe. Then it got hit by a tornado. Weird. You hear that? Ah! Watch it! What is it? There. So now killer robots too? <laughs> the guests back home would love this place. Look like they're from an energy blast. Might have tangled with our robot friend there. What were they? Whatever this is, it scans as being old, centuries old. Wish we had Sam. I think it's older than this lab and the equipment. Some serious energy on the other side of that door. Maybe it's closed for a reason. These guys were poking around where they shouldn't have. Doesn't say much, other than it's not organic. And it's about the same age as that artifact. You suppose it was guarding it? Could be. Sure you don't want to look around in here? If that's poison, I know who to blame.
Weather's so crappy. Heads up! They were waiting for us! Oh, damn! They got a lighting rod up and running! Are these things stalking us? Three. Anyone there? Who are we, Read you? You're alive. Shuttle repairs are underway, but we're surrounded. They're not friendly. On our way. Nav point marked. Let's get in there. Cora, we got your back. They're trying to pin us down. Doing a good job of it, too. Ryder, light them up. I'm on it. Well, that settled that. Calvary to the rescue. Nice to see you guys. You too, Harry. How is everyone? Still in one piece. You got here just in time. Where's my dad? He went scouting ahead while we fixed the shuttle. Ryder, there's weapons and ammo at the shuttle. Stock up. Did these things try talking to you at all? Barely a word. Then started shooting. What about you? We didn't stop for a chat. wounded but sitting tight. Greer's with him. Though our shuttle's in pieces. Guys. She's been hit! Take cover! Take cover! I didn't know you were biotic. Don't worry, it's not contagious. Before they attacked, I... <clears throat> I managed to fix our comms. You're a lifesaver. Now just take it easy. Sam, are you there? QEC link established. Affirmative, Sarah. The Pathfinder needs to speak with you. Good to see you in one piece. What's our status? Liam and I are with Cora. We have wounded crew. The good news is our shuttle's been repaired. We can get back to the Ark. Not with these storms. It's too risky to fly. Our wounded can't wait much longer. Do you have something in mind? If the storm is the problem, then let's solve the problem. We're talking about weather. And I have an idea about that. Rendezvous with my coordinates will... Damn, they spotted me. Sir? Sir! Can you two manage alone? I can keep her stable. For a while. Let's move. Sam, do you have the Pathfinder's position? Marking the nav point on your map. Doesn't look far. Let's make this quick. We have to get there before the storm hits. No detours. What was my dad scouting for? He was trying to get readings on that tower. 
Well, the nap would put him near it. Exercise caution. The storm front is already gaining intensity. Nice to have you back, Sam. How about some good news next time? Sam's right. We don't have much time. Look, the rot. They're drawing the lightning away. If we hug that wall, they might keep us safe. Dead bodies here! Lightning didn't do this! Incendiary rounds! My dad's been busy. Close! The nav point shows my dad's up there. Sir! Stay low. found an abandoned lab, like they've been studying the place. Good work. You actually did some scouting. You didn't think I would. You never know what people are made of. Not until everything goes wrong. Plenty of that on this mission. Sir, you said you had an idea about the weather? It's the dark energy cloud the Hyperion hit. It's affecting the whole planet. Interfering with that. The tower is caught in a feedback loop with the cloud. Together they're disrupting the entire climate with undirected energy. It would explain a cave we found. Plant life sheltered from the storm. From that tower. It's a good bet. And I think if we can get in there and shut the tower down, the lightning goes away. And the shuttle can get us out of here, in theory. We just have to get past them. It's a hell of a gamble, but we won't know until we get in there and try. No illusions about this. It'll be a nasty fight the whole way. If Sarah's game, so am I. But we risk turning a skirmish with these guys into something worse. It's them or us. Oh, it's them. The problem is we're outnumbered. I've been working on that. We just need to change the math. Not over yet. 
I need to get through that door over there. Unusually complicated syntax. I can see that. Try a recursive search. I will need a moment to evaluate the pattern. We only have a moment. Do it. <laughs> I think I really pissed that one off. Maybe because I shot him in the face. Sir, any progress? Decryption is 75% complete. We've almost got it. for another push. Stay sharp. Decryption complete. That did it. It's a security override. I'll try to open the door from here. Ah, damn, it's jammed. I need to take a look at it. Sarah, I need your help over here. Go, it's okay. We'll keep a lookout. Put your back into it. You really think we can shut this thing down? I don't know yet. Sam's decoded part of the language. Now we'll see if I can have a conversation. Who do you plan on talking to? More like what? I think it's automated. Come on. These are the moments that make it all worthwhile. Sam, begin translating. A moment. Indexing. Translation complete. Let's see what we have. to a whole new galaxy and still make sense of things. Sam had a little something to do with it. It was simply a matter of linguistics, though I am pleased to have it. Extraction now! They're spinning up the shuttle. ETA is three, 
We don't have that long. is overloading. I suggest a hardwire connection. Do it! There! Welcome back, Sarah. What happened? You were clinically dead for 22 seconds. Did the rest of the team make it? Hey, you're still with us. Guys, get to Sam Node. Riders awake. Who are you talking to? Sam. I didn't hear him. You're up. Look here. And here. My father. Where? It was your life or his, and he chose you. I'm so sorry, Sarah. I know this must be a blow. I... I can't believe he's gone. One minute, everything was fine, and then... He... I know he could be distant, but he once said that when his time came, he wanted to go out among stars no one had seen before. What are we doing in Sam Node? Sam is now part of you. In a way we don't entirely understand. It played havoc with your brain. Sam? Your father authorized the transfer of Pathfinder authority to you. Shouldn't that be Cora? In theory. In reality, you're the new Pathfinder, Sarah. Whoa. Well, if that's how it has to be. Don't sell yourself short. I think you can do it. Cora? It's what he wanted. I won't stand in the way. But being Pathfinder is a serious job. You sure you're ready for this? Well, we know what my dad thought. He never was the kind of guy to ask permission. Now it's your turn to bark orders. <laughs> It's all academic anyway. Sam's linked to your mind on a deeper level now. Trying to untangle it could kill you. I know this is tough, but we need to start thinking about the next step. A lot of people are counting on us. Is the Ark still drifting? That's the thing. Whatever your dad did with that tower, it saved the day. Some sort of atmosphere scrubber. The energy cloud thinned out. We're on our way to the rally point now. Should be at the Nexus soon. She needs to rest first. She has two hours. We'll need our Pathfinder for this. Oh, I, uh, I checked on your brother. Still no change. But if you can pull through, so can he. A bit of your dad in both of you. 
Your father will be missed. What's going on, Sam? This is our private channel. I shared it with him. He never mentioned anything about that. It allowed me to know him better. Alec wouldn't want us to lose sight of the goal. He said pain emboldens our resolve. He'd insist we grow stronger from his passing. Ryder, good to see you on your feet. We're at the Nexus. It's the forward hub for the entire Andromeda Initiative. The Asari, Solarian, and Turian Arcs should be there too. Let's hope they've had better luck. Starting our approach now. It's almost as big as the Citadel back home. Nexus Control, this is Arc Hyperion requesting docking clearance. Captain, I'm only getting their automated approach channel. Not a live person. Well, like it or not, we're here. Take us in. Construction should have been finished by now. Could be worse. How? Habitat 7's a bust. We might have started a war with the first aliens we met, and our Pathfinder's dead. This better be rock bottom. Green across the board. Docking initiated. All right. I got us here. Good luck, Pathfinder. He gonna be okay, Ryder? The captain just called me Pathfinder. This is really happening. Just take a deep breath. I still can't believe Dad's dead. This should have been his moment. But now it's yours. You just need to decide what you're gonna do with it. Where do I start? I'm just not sure I'm ready. We weren't ready to fall out of the sky on Habitat 7. But we survived that. Right. So, always keep a jump jet handy. Okay, 
folks. This is what we've been waiting for. Let your teams know the docking procedures are now in effect. We've got 20,000 colonists still asleep, and we'll need somewhere to put them when the alarm clock goes off. As soon as we get clearance from the Nexus, we'll be following stasis revival protocols. We want to avoid any log jams, so it's vital your teams coordinate with each other and keep people moving. Any questions so far? Uh, how do we handle deaths that occurred in transit? Right. It's an unfortunate fact that not everyone will have survived the voyage. We've already got scattered reports of medical problems from that dark energy cloud we hit. If somebody didn't make it, check with the medical officer. We'll see about notifying their next of kin. I'm hoping it's a rare exception. Also, try to keep it quiet. Andromeda is all about new beginnings, not holding funerals. It'll be nice to see some friendly faces this time. The Nexus runs a support crew, just enough to finish building the station and provide safe harbor for the Arcs. It means we can start waking our people up. They built a bar, right? Gotta have champagne for the welcome party. You're expecting one. After what we've been through, I could use a buzz. We all could. Yeah. Rough ride so far. We'll bounce back. Real food and a shower are just ahead. Here we are. Uh, I don't see any champagne. Where is everybody? Well, this can't be right. It's like everything's on standby. If it's a surprise party, they're doing an awfully good job of it. Welcome to the Nexus, gateway to Andromeda. I'm Avina, a virtual intelligence designed to assist you with immigration. Uh, can you tell us where the welcome party is hiding? I'm sorry. My code is limited to information and simple interaction simulations. Please select from the following pre-programmed responses. What can you tell me about the Andromeda Galaxy? Here in Andromeda, you are over two million light years away from the Milky Way Galaxy. This is the furthest any life form has ever traveled outside our home system, making you a brave pioneer indeed. The Nexus itself is located in a region known as the Helios Cluster. Here, you and thousands of your fellow colonists will fulfill your dreams of settling a new home. Fortune awaits. What year is it? The current year is 2819. After spending over 600 years in stasis, it's normal to feel disoriented or confused upon arrival. Our helpful medical staff can assist with any physical or psychological after effects you may be experiencing. Well, she's got the date right, at least. So where is everyone? What is the Nexus? The Nexus serves as the central hub for the Andromeda Initiative's colonization effort. It is the first destination for all colonists upon their arrival in the new galaxy. Please enjoy the many venues the Nexus has to offer. As the station expands, it will one day serve as the seat of government for Milky Way colonists. Providing a safe, stable, and prosperous environment is our primary goal. Not from the looks of it. How does the immigration process work? We ask that you submit to a brief medical exam to ensure your health and well-being after making such a long journey. Once you've been cleared, our colonization experts will assist you in finding your new home. Please be mindful of the queue. Thousands of eager colonists like you are waiting to begin their new life in Andromeda. Uh, where? The place is deserted. That's all. It has been my pleasure. Please see one of our helpful immigration staff for further assistance. And welcome to your new home in Andromeda, where the brightest star is you. Current wait time for immigration processing is... Unknown error. Right. That was helpful. Plants are still alive. 
There's a guy. Maybe he's got champagne. Hi there. We're from Arc Hyperion, and wondering where everybody went. Did he hear you? Did you say an Ark? This is the Nexus, right? Pretty sure we parked in the right place. And for what it's worth, your VI over there could use an update. Of course, I'm sorry. It's just, we thought you were all dead. What? Or captured, or lost in dark space, or... But you're here. You have no idea how much this means. I don't believe it. I'm Tyrion Candros. I lead our militia on the Nexus. I'm Sarah Ryder. This is Cora Harper and Liam Costa, part of the Pathfinder team. I'm sorry for the confusion. Our sensors told us an arc had arrived, but Helios is notorious for scrambling equipment. We thought you were just another malfunction. But aren't you expecting us? You're the first arc we've seen. After a year of waiting and no sign of the others, we shuttered this area and stopped looking. You've been stranded for a whole year? Longer. I'll fill you in on the way to Op Center. Everything that could go wrong with our plan has. We arrived 14 months ago. Right away, we hit a band of dark energy that knocked us off course. We're familiar with it. Then you'll know why we call it the Scourge. We lost whole sections of the station. A lot of people died. No power, no food. The chaos went on for months. It finally led to armed rebellion. When order was restored, the insurgents were banished. Exiles, we call them. Are things back to normal? Not even close. But you're here now, so maybe the worst is over. No word from the other Pathfinders? No word from anyone, period. Any threats from the locals? So far, we've stayed hidden. We're in no shape to deal with an attack. We had a first contact situation on Habitat 7. Whole thing went south. We're here. You guys go ahead. I'll check out the security situation. You should know our command structure has been fractured. Some of us are filling in for leaders who died. Is it true? They said drop everything and report for duty. And no one was expecting an ARC to finally show up. Docking procedures are green across the board. Stand by to merge Hyperion power into the grid. The crew of the Hyperion. Good luck. I'm Jaren Tan, director of the initiative. You have no idea how much your arrival means to us. We've heard about what happened, and we're ready to help. We could use any supplies you have. Food, water, we're short on everything. This is Foster Addison. She oversees colonial affairs. Where's the Pathfinder? You're looking at her. You're not Alec Ryder. My father's dead. He made me his successor. Alec... is dead. Please understand, the entire initiative is at risk. None of the Golden Worlds panned out. They're a bust, and there's been no word from the other Arcs. What happened to them? Unknown. Our supplies are nearly depleted. Rationing bought us some time, but even that's running out. We need to find more resources. But that takes people, and we can't wake them up. Until they have somewhere to live. A golden world. Now more than ever, we need a Pathfinder. It now falls to you, Ryder. Are you up to the task? I'm ready to step up and do what needs to be done. I can handle it. Youthful enthusiasm will only get you so far in Andromeda. That's no way to treat a guest. I'm Nak Morkesh, superintendent of this station. I hope they haven't scared you off already. It's nothing personal, but now isn't the time for on-the-job training. At least the Pathfinder here seems willing to try. We could use a fresh perspective. You've heard my concerns. I'll leave you to it. We're all feeling the pressure. 
Let's have a private word in my office, Ryder. We'll discuss giving you a scout ship. I'm happy to work out the details with your associate. Welcome to the Nexus. Thank you for standing up for me there. Mm, hope's in short supply here. What little we can find should have a chance Ma'am, the Hyperion's core is now online. Let me show you something. An hour ago, that was all dark. But with the power from your ship, you're keeping the lights on. You have my vote. And when the power runs out? You'd best go talk to Director Tan. Make sure that doesn't happen. And don't be shy. Come see me when you have a chance. Control the Hyperion. No, it isn't it's what good we to have you here. What choice do we have? How the Excellent. hell should I know? Let's go over the docking checklist. Spender, shall we? you have a job. If you want to keep it, do it. God damn it. All right, what happened? To who? To whom? And your goddamn father. Sorry, my face is tired from dealing with everything. And right now, I just want to know what happened with Alec. In the moment, it saved my life. But it seems my father meant for me to get the role, eventually. It isn't hereditary. If we wanted an inbred monarchy, we could have left half our gene stock back home. <sighs> Not home. The Milky Way. This is home. This mess. We don't have a lot of options, Ryder. Maybe you'll prove your father right. After 14 months of failed colonization, forgive me if I don't hold my breath. There's also this strange technology. Has anyone studied that? We've tried. Not me. The brains in research. They're supposed to know their business. The current excuse? The tech we dug up on Mars was more advanced, but it was plug and go. The tech here... thinks different? I don't know. We've mostly avoided it. And from what the Hyperion logs say about Alec, maybe that's good. How do you fit into the Nexus leadership? I oversee the actual settlement effort. As the number of outposts is currently less than ideal, my influence is limited. As Tan is quick to remind me. Left a perfectly adequate career as a chief officer. Provincial capital, too. Only a new galaxy could pull me away. And here we are, idling. You called my father Alec. No one does that. A lot of us joined the initiative because of his vision. What he shared of it, anyway. Were you friends, or...? I'm not your new mother, if that's what you're asking. Or his friend. He hated that I didn't use his title. But no one's a pathfinder until they've path-found something. Much like a colonial director without colonies. There must be some kind of plan for encountering hostile aliens. We can't have been that naive. We expected life, not an enemy that refuses to talk. They don't attack. They disinfect. We're nothing until we're bacteria. Sorry, 14 months and you stoop to poetry. That's how bad it is. Not sure who started it, but we're calling them Ket. Kandros will know more. Maybe too much. You don't trust him? I trust him to defend us. I do not trust a rising military influence in a supposedly civilian initiative. We came here to make history, Ryder. Not repeat it. Ugh, oh, goddamn poetry. You've had no colony successes in over a year? How many tries is that? Less than you'd think. The Scourge, Spoiled Worlds, Exiles, Hostiles. We can't just plop down an outpost and expect picket fences. We need the Pathfinder and Sam to scout, evaluate, and inspire. The Initiative promised a goal. Andromeda has not cooperated. And if it had? Beautiful, utopian horseshit. Colonies that produce and support each other. The Nexus as Citadel, not headed by Tan, or even me. Excuse me, Director Addison. Ryder? It's Pathfinder. Ryder, we're starving here. 
If we don't get a foundation of outposts to feed the initiative, we might as well be 600 years dead. Alec promised a lot. None of it panned out. That's what you're up against. Why people won't trust you. Why I don't trust you. Prove me wrong. Hello, I'm Jean Garson, founder of the Initiative. It's through your hard work that the vision of the Nexus has come to life. You and all your colleagues bind our proud new colonies together. Look around at your achievements. And if you have any questions, my door is always open. Founder Garson's office is located at Workspace Not Allocated. Please select a topic. You are Sarah Ryder. Salary code 19B. Active Pathfinder. Your supervisor is Director Tan. Based on current staffing needs, you will be eligible for paid vacation time in 587 days. Seriously? Why not plan on which beautiful colony you'll vacation on while you wait? The selection process saw the Andromeda Initiative evaluate thousands of potential habitable planets within the galaxy. After discovering an unusually high ratio of potential candidates, or Golden Worlds, the Helios Cluster was selected as our destination. Even at a distance, studying the light from stars can reveal much about their planet's composition and atmosphere. Seven worlds, nicknamed Habitats, have the life-supporting environments and resources we need to start our new lives in Andromeda. What am I going to do? I know that look. The others bent your ear, did they? Something like that? You get used to it. Just focus on being a Pathfinder. Can't argue with results. Though they'll try. Anyway, welcome to Militia HQ. Excuse the mess. This office fields militia work, Nexus security, and looking for the Turian Ark. What's the word on the Turian Ark? Scattered readings. Some indicate the Natanus was destroyed, others that people are alive. Who knows? If you need anything, come see me, even if it's just a vent. What brought you out here to Andromeda? I was tired of being the good one. The good one? The Kandros family is old military. There were expectations, you know? Then my sister became a sculptor, and cousin Nyrene went pirate on Omega. Everyone was proud that I stayed in service. But I kept wondering, when do I get my adventure? Jen Garson's dream was so grand, so gutsy, I had to be part of it. What do you know about the enemies we've encountered? The Ket? We usually see them on worlds with those alien structures. The Ket don't take kindly to anyone studying them. Not sure why. They don't talk to us. Every time we cross paths, there's a fight or they take prisoners. Why? What do they want? No one knows. But I've seen their weaponry and what they do to those prisoners. I want them a long, long way from the Nexus. You talk like you weren't part of the leadership. How did you end up commanding the militia? I was escorting a prospecting team on some moon when those cat found us. They penned us like cattle for experiments. I managed to get loose, snatched a gun, and freed the others. By the time we killed the bastards and headed back to war in the Nexus, everyone looked at me like I was in charge. That sounds familiar. The militia grew from there. Funny, once the heat is on, all kinds of people rise to the top. It's rough out there. I might need backup if you can spare the people. I have strike teams specializing in assault and extraction. If you need serious firepower, my Apex teams have you covered. In fact, I could give you authority to dispatch them. It'll cut down their response time. Thank you. Our current ops are on the terminal. See if there's anything that could use a shot where it counts. Are the other Turians managing okay? So-so. We're not good at sitting around in a crisis. Service before self gets drummed into us at boot camp. That's probably why so many of us are in the militia. We like to earn our citizenship, whatever galaxy we're in. But it's hard to focus with our arc missing. Bye, Kandros. Duty calls. You and me both, Pathfinder. This is wrong. Just wrong. This is not. 
No, Pathfinder. No time for our beer yet. This place is a mess. Security is it. Let's call it strained. I can believe it. The Nexus is running on empty. Not just that. A lot of the exiles were security. Everyone was trained and armed for Frontier. We know Ket are dangerous, and now we have to worry about our people too. No idea where they went, but they left mad. They were frustrated. If they just wanted to kill, they could have fought to the last here. Apparently we're the big hope for everyone. Not the Hyperion showing. Just us. I'm with you. It's just... a lot. As long as the Nexus is here, as long as we're here, we have a job to do. Double down crisis mode. I can do that. We can do that. Ready and willing, Pathfinder. Tempest crew should report to the docking area at once. Weapons and stuff. I got you covered. Use the console to take a look through what I got. It'd be a lot easier if I weren't missing half my stock. Ouch! Why am I paying for these? Half the supplies are inaccessible, what with how we crash-landed and all. And I have to trade with the crooks out there for the rest, so... This is the planet where we landed. Habitat 7. It wasn't even close to livable. That's been true of every world we found. Ryder, we were discussing your next expedition. I thought I didn't measure up as Pathfinder. Director Addison keeps her own counsel. I keep mine. And when you disagree? I oversee the entire initiative, and I have decided to give you a chance to prove yourself. To that end, the Scourge dealt us a serious blow. Whatever it is, our scientists theorize it's not natural. An artificial energy cloud? It wasn't here when we left the Milky Way, yet it rendered all the Golden Worlds unlivable. Then there's the aliens you ran into, the Ket. They're obsessed with alien structures we found scattered around the cluster. They'll do anything to prevent others from accessing them. It seems murder isn't exclusive to the Milky Way. And now the challenge is to settle a world in spite of all that. This one here, Eos. How? You need to increase the viability of the planet so we can establish an outpost. Then we can bring more colonists out of stasis. The more colonists we have, the more resources we can gather to support the Nexus. Everything depends on it. There are six worlds we hope to settle. Okay, but you said every planet you found is unlivable, so how do I... A good Pathfinder would relish the challenge of solving it. Right. I think I should go check on things. And if I fail, I guess it's no sweat off your back, right? You'll just look for another Pathfinder? Placing bets on people is part of my job. Some of them pay off. Others... Just point me to my ship and I'll be out of here. They're prepping it now in the docking bay. The coordinates for EOS will be in the computer. And when you have a moment, we should discuss the missing arcs. I was wondering about that. <sighs> Something wrong? Ryder, King Simi and Sam Nude on the Hyperion. Your implant needs attention, and we need to discuss a confidential matter. No. I'm fine. Ryder, you have my condolences for your father. I appreciate it. I didn't know him very well, although I understand he played a key role in planning the initiative. I'm sure he'd be concerned that we still have several arcs missing. They're as much a part of the Initiative as the Human Ark. We'll find them. We have to. Tens of thousands of colonists are unaccounted for. It paints the Initiative in an unflattering light. Did you have some other business? Any more information you can give me on the missing Arcs? No. And that is the distressing part. The Asari, Turian, and Salarian Arcs are completely unaccounted for. 
If they had the same problems with the scourge that we did, I fear the worst. Should you find any clues, please investigate. Without the other arcs, the promise of the initiative can never be fulfilled. Are there any other arcs we should expect? We had hoped Quarians would be part of the first wave. But before departure in 2185, we got word they had technical problems with their ship. It seems they're also bringing along Drell, Hanar, and other species as well. Managing all of their biological needs caused complications. We won't see them for some time to come. Sounds like the Nexus has had a rough time of it. Publicly, I would say we're more than up for the challenge. Privately, I can tell you... It's been a disaster. The Scourge killed hundreds, many of them our senior leadership. Even the founder of the initiative, Gian Garson, is dead. How did Jean Garson die? With the rest of the leadership. When the Nexus hit the Scourge, a large wing of stasis pods was destroyed. They were killed instantly. These people traveled 600 years and died before they even woke up. Jean Garson never glimpsed Helios. She never saw her vision realized. Kandros mentioned something about hitting the Scourge. How did it play out? Criminal elements took advantage of the emergency and preyed on people's fears. An uprising followed. We had no choice but to turn to the Krogan to deal with them. They crushed the mutiny and the criminals were banished. Exiles, we called them. I doubt we've heard the last of them. They're led by an outlaw, Sloane Kelly. She used to be one of ours. Who is this Sloane Kelly? She was head of security on the Nexus. She opposed the uprising at first, but eventually turned traitor and joined them. Misguided sympathy for the plight of the common citizen? Nonsense. They posed a direct threat to our existence. There don't seem to be many Krogan around. Good riddance. The Krogan demanded a greater say in political matters. The last place you want them involved? Their muscle. Nothing more. Good for fighting and lifting heavy objects. When they didn't get what they wanted, they left. Why don't you like the Krogan? It's common knowledge that they are a violent, ignorant species. Long ago, they waged nuclear war on one another. Their planet was decimated. My people tried to uplift them, but the Krogan could never tame their worst instincts. What if they bring their tempers to Andromeda? We'll all be dead. What more can you tell me about the initiative? It represents the greatest migration ever attempted. No one had ventured beyond the Milky Way before. We've all left home in search of freedom, fortune, perhaps a new beginning. We are the bravest souls each species has to offer. I hope the Nexus will serve as the seat of government for us all. What do you know about the early days of the initiative? As most everyone knows, Jean Garson's vision made it happen. She was an entrepreneur on Earth. Wealthy. Young for a human. Garson had the idea for the initiative in the early 2170s, I believe. Many thought leaving the Milky Way was impossible. But she persevered. And as with most great ideas, the doubters were wrong. Why do you think most people came? There are thousands of reasons. One for every colonist here. What does any pilgrim seek? Usually, happiness. Finding the thing that eludes them. The thing to fulfill them. While we cannot promise they will find it, we can facilitate the search. It looks like a melting pot around here. The Nexus is home to several initiative species. Many came ahead of the Arcs. The hope is that this station will one day serve as the governing body in Andromeda. Though I'm not sure what they were thinking, lumping Krogan into the mix. As a Salarian, my kind tend to have a low opinion of them. Nothing I've seen here has changed that. That's all. Thanks for your time. I'm happy to help. You will find our futures depend on each other's success. Good luck.
but the planet was toxic. What if they store oxygen in porous tissue, like Quiro's rockfish? I still reckon they had breather gear stowed in that armor. Perhaps both. Life is infinitely adaptable, as our expedition proves. All person. You must be the Pathfinder. Wonderful. You and your Sam are exactly what we need. Thanks, Mr... Professor Herrick. My colleagues and I will work with your Sam and the data you gather to solve Andromeda's scientific mysteries. What fields do you study? Herrick's into life sciences. I do planetary geology, oceanography, rocks and runoff. Our Adana's the space and math ways. Not that we've had much to study, with everyone cooped up for 14 months. But your data on the Scourge flows like poetry. Now we can better advise on repairing the damage it caused. And maybe Addison will give us a real workspace. Who can think with all this racket? Technicians, please report to the Pathfinder, we've had some trouble. Anything I can help with? Perhaps. I discharged an away team to get readings from a section of the Scourge that was behaving anomalously. They haven't reported in for some time, and sensors can't locate their shuttle. I sent them out there. Good, dedicated people. I fear what might have happened to them. Don't give up hope. When I'm out there, I'll see if I can find them. Their friends and family will want to know what's happened. And I... I need to know. Hi, Pathfinder. Want to hit some rocks for science? Now's not a good time. Sure. The rocks ain't going anywhere. Yes, I know the Hyperion docking unannounced caused some switches to blow. That's fine. I don't care. We know the problem is more widespread than we thought. We're working to fix it. That's all. There you are. Hope the others haven't been giving you a hard time. There's a lot that needs doing. At least with the Hyperion hooked up and feeding us power, my team and I can get more work done. I notice there aren't a lot of Krogan around. Tan. Ask him why most of my people left. He'll have opinions. I can tell you this much. When the mutiny happened, a deal was made. My clan were supposed to settle matters and in return, get more say in the initiative. Did the deal go through? The clan held up their part, but Tan had a meltdown when he found out we wanted more say around here. Then Addison's assistant, Spender, pretended he never made the deal in the first place. It was a mess, but I don't blame my people for walking out. We're done being used. With your clan gone, why did you stay? It's... complicated. The station and my clan both need me here. What sort of problems have you seen on the Nexus? Situations gone to shit pretty much sums it up. There's arcs missing. Some idiots tried to mutiny and take over, then more idiots offended my clan, so they left. And to top it all off, the founder of the Initiative, Gian Garson, was killed. What happened to Gian Garson? Killed in the Scourge disaster. Her and a bunch of the other leaders. Tan might know more. And I thought the Hyperion had it bad when we arrived. Anything else? The outposts aren't happening because we don't have resources or people, so Addison's more uptight than ever. And let's not forget how badly the station was damaged on arrival. But that's a detail, according to some. My team and I are repairing what we can. If we don't get materials soon, things will go downhill. Fast. When we left the Milky Way, the Krogan were still dealing with a genophage. Right. The genophage. 
a little gift to our people from the Solarians thousands of years ago. That sterility virus they infected us with left most of our children stillborn. Only one in a thousand survive. No wonder your people have such a problem with Solarians. Some wounds never heal. Not that my ancestors didn't provoke it. They did try to conquer the galaxy. The Solarians were forced to respond. And it's not fair to blame it all on them, either. The Solarians developed the virus, but it was the Turians who deployed it. I'm hoping that's all in the past. Plenty of blame to go around, but Andromeda is about new beginnings. My people need that more than most. What about the Krogan here in Andromeda? There's no cure for it. But my clan was starting to show a mutation against the virus. A natural defense. During the trip to get here, Krogan underwent gene therapies to enhance the mutation while we were in stasis. So you used those 600 years to your advantage? Give the adaptation more time to develop? Yeah. It's still early, but I think we made a dent. Our scientists say we've improved viability to almost 4% which is a lot better than what we had. Beyond all the statistics, it means more Krogan children will live. It's the only way my people have a future out here. Nothing more for now. See you later. Hey there. You okay? Those guys really grilled you. And Addison. First Pathfinder they've seen in over a year. All she can do is question your competence? <laughs> Which one was Addison again? All politicians look the same to me. <laughs> same here. Next time we'll ask for a seating chart. I worked out logistics with Director Tan. They're giving us a ship and crew. He said their best is taking care of it. I still need to head back to the Ark and check in with Sam. Sounds good. While you're there, maybe see how your brother's doing. Pathfinder, it's good to see you. Word is, there's been trouble on the station. We're here now. It'll get better. That's what I've been telling people. You're here now. As soon as we establish outposts, everything will even out. I'm sure of it. The captain. Stasis revival team should hold and await what about your family? Action. I'm an orphan. My parents died on the Mindoir colony when it was attacked years ago. No siblings. I left some friends and distant relatives behind, but I have friends here too. I love piloting, but I like the idea of going back to my roots and farming like my parents did. Someday. Why did you join the initiative? Ah, the most popular question on the station. Honestly, I wouldn't have known about this project if Nozomi hadn't reached out to me. Nozomi? To Captain Dunn. Of all the captains I've piloted for, She's the best. I've always been a wanderer at heart. When she asked me to be her pilot, how could I say no to the adventure of a lifetime? How do you feel about all this now that we're here? Hopeful. I know, it's a rose-colored outlook, but someone's gotta keep the positivity coming, right? Have to go now. See you later. Later. Ryder. You're not on the bridge, Captain? We powered it down. Can't afford to waste energy. Though Cryo Bay and Sam Note are exempt. 
And I told them to keep their hands off Alex quarters. You have access now. Thanks. Hey, sorry about your father. He was really good at what he did. Just not so good at working with people. He was right about going planetside, though. As long as they did their jobs, he didn't care what people thought of him. I noticed that. If there's anything else I can help with, let me know. If someone had told you that you'd be in the Andromeda Cluster even five years ago... Are you kidding me? I'd have laughed them out of the Quadrant. Although, the way things are now isn't exactly what I was hoping for, either. We all knew there was a possibility on arrival of less than ideal circumstances. When you sign up, you hope for the best, and plan for the worst. Thanks for the talk. All right. I have requests to submit, administrators to harass, and people to wake up. I'd better get to it. Good luck out there. Hello, Sarah. Welcome back to Samnode. I've adjusted my connection to your implant. The headache you experienced before shouldn't reoccur. Yeah, what was that about? You said we need to discuss something confidential? You should know certain facts before you leave on your expedition. It seemed best we speak alone. Sam, if we're going to work together, you can't keep hiding things from me. Apologies. I am simply following your father's wishes. What was he keeping secret? My true capabilities. Alec overrode the implant safety protocols. It allows me unrestricted access to the Pathfinder's physiology. And that's... me, now. And only you. I can act as a force multiplier, dramatically enhancing your motor and neural skills when required. Alec called them profiles. They provide unique, tactical augmentation during combat. Your father preferred to keep this fact to himself. Keeping things like this secret just makes everyone suspicious, like you're up to something. Alec didn't think others would understand. He viewed it as a symbiotic relationship, benefiting us both. What do you get out of this? Though I'm artificial in design, I am fully sentient. Far beyond what even the initiative understands. I don't follow. You're an AI, so what's different? I am a new form of AI, drawing directly from the human experience. Your implant is my window into the world. That's... pretty amazing. But beyond what many people will accept, your father knew some would fear it. Yeah, he's got a point. So, what does this mean for the two of us? I find myself in an unusual position. Though I had access to your father's experiences, there is a gap in my understanding. How so? He placed a block on portions of my memory array. Why? Perhaps so when you asked me what his plan was, I wouldn't know. <sighs> And Dad strikes again. But not without recourse. The further you explore as a Pathfinder, the more blocks will be removed. Perhaps you should begin in your father's quarters. In the meantime, unless you have more questions, your new ship awaits. Thanks. Your father's first sidearm, a memento of his early Alliance service. I bet that saw plenty of action. Alex's first kill occurred in combat during the First Contact War. Back when Turians were the enemy. Crazy times. What's on here, Sam? Your father's personal logs. Several of them are encrypted. That log is not currently accessible. Unlocking my memory array may enable it. The day is finally here. We're pushing off from Earth. We'll jump through a few relays first, and then we hunker down for the long trip across dark space. It's daunting thinking about all the hopes and dreams aboard the Hyperion. I certainly have my own. I wasn't the husband or father I should have been. Here's hoping 600 years can change a man.
<laughs> the coffee machine mom got for dad. He was so busy designing you. Needed the caffeine. I did not realize I owed my existence to a bean. And now you know what humility feels like. Sam? What was that? An eidetic trigger, related to your father, and the portions of my memory array he locked. What triggered it? Alec tied it to your progression as Pathfinder, not to a location. Puzzling as it may be, my programming is clear. Locating more of these triggers will unlock the memories. One of your father's memories is now accessible. Return to Samnoad on the Hyperion to investigate further. Printed books? Reproductions of Lewis and Clark's journals, detailing their expedition in the 19th century. Explains Dad's interest. They were Pathfinders too. Good to see you. Damn shame about your dad, though. I'm sorry we couldn't save him. I haven't heard how he died. Like a hero. That's how. That's the only part that matters. I've met one Pathfinder. Well, two with you. But I figure that's the way to go. Taking your last breath on an uncharted world. Yeah. Sounds about right. Now I just need to make sure your brother here pulls through. How's Scott doing? His condition's stable. I see signs of REM activity in the brain, so he's dreaming. Means all the wiring still works. How did this happen? It was dumb luck, really. We hit the scourge at the worst possible moment, just as the stasis revival was kicking in. It's a vulnerable moment coming out of a 600-year nap, then wham! The circuits fried and overloaded the neural pathways. Don't worry, I'm on it. We're not losing another rider. Are you staying here in the Hyperion? You know that moment when you realize you're just getting too old? Uh... Ha, <laughs> right, look who I'm talking to. Trust me, it happens. For me, it was Habitat 7. Watching you guys running around, dodging lightning and the cat, it's a young man's game. Pains me to admit it, but it's passed me by. We'll miss you, Harry. Just make sure to raise some hell once in a while, will you? I'm living vicariously through you. <laughs> Deal. That's all, Harry. Thanks. Don't be a stranger. If anything changes with Scott, I'll let you know. Fisher, glad to see you're doing better. That was some expedition, hey? Captain said I'm going in the log as the first human to make contact with the cat. Then Kirkland's the first casualty. Wish it could have gone differently. I'm sure there are decent aliens here in Andromeda, too. We just have to find them. Well, I heard you're Pathfinder now. The sooner you figure out where they're hiding, the better. Will do. Chin up. Ryder. Hayes, how's the wound? Doc says I'll live. 
So this goes from a life-threatening gunshot to a story I'll tell my grandkids someday. With no need to exaggerate, that was a tough fight on Habitat 7. <laughs> Just glad to be on the other side of it. Ready to see what Tan gave us? I hear it's something special. Pathfinder en route. How's the ship? And final checks looking great. We won't be long. The way things are going, we'll be on our own out there. In other words, we're making this up as we go. <laughs> we used to call that tactical improvisation. But at least we'll be doing it in style. They call her the Tempest. Let's go take a closer look. Let's pick it up a bit, people. We're 14 months late. So you're the one who's making everything happen. Vetra. Vetra Nix. Initiative Wrangler, Provisioner, Gunner, and everything in between. Are we ready? The sooner we get out of here, the better. You're coming with us? Yes. Otherwise, there's no way they're letting this ship off the station. What's the rush? Just don't want to waste any more time. Hold it, hold it! You're not going anywhere. Damn it. Whatever happened, it wasn't me. I just got here. Director Addison wants to see a complete report of the Tempest's supplies, munitions, and crew. Director Tan overruled Addison. The ship's loaded out with equipment for outpost discovery, squarely under Director Addison's purview. Seen you around. Ben, right? Came here with the family, didn't you? Son still in cryo? I could pull some strings, get him to the front of the line. Really? Yeah, really. They told me he wasn't essential. But I miss him. I know. I got family too, Ben. It's done. <sighs> Addison's gonna kill me. Nicely done. Part of the job, Pathfinder. All things considered, it was an easy ask. And right now, you need people tearing down obstacles, not putting up more. Finally, someone who cares about doing stuff and not just talking about it. Everything's state of the art. Labs, sensors, exploration gear. Lesser crew, of course. The best in their field. Good to see you're looking so well, Sarah. The engine core is based on the Ark's Odyssey drive. It runs a hell of a lot quieter. That's Gil Brody. Engineer, mechanic, all-around wrench jockey. We call this the research room. There's space for upgrading equipment, gathering intel. Router engaged. Securing connection to Tempest. Welcome aboard, Sam. And Ryder, of course. All run by Suvi Anwar, our science officer. Your quarters are below. Plenty of space up here to get everyone together. It's all yours. She's light, stealthy, and the fastest ship in her class. <sighs> it's really going to be something, isn't it? 
I haven't even shown you the best part. When you're ready to fly, head over to the bridge. Our pilot should have everything good to go. Better head to the bridge when we're ready to go. The meeting room. You can make vid calls from the central table or just get the crew together. We call this the research room. You can run research projects and coordinate with the Nexus from here. Most of the crew bunks in here. Cozy, huh? But your room's got more of a view. These are the Pathfinder's quarters. Your quarters. Sam's router is down there, too. Rider. Finalizing orders, flight plan, command access. Ready when you are. Everything's still got the factory stickers. Hi there. Can we talk and stuff later? I've got some last minute adjustments. She'll be ready to go when you are. Right. Right. We're almost out there. Hello. Finally. I've just got to finish this download from the Nexus. We'll be ready for launch. Pathfinder, check this toy. Seems like we're forever racing, but there's always time to check out new toys. Useful ones. I'm all about what's useful. Oh, this is. Especially if you grabbed anything from Habitat 7. <laughs> Raw minerals, tech, doesn't matter. The research station will strip that stuff down, give you options. We can craft our way through. Turn the junk we find into an advantage. Hey, with tech like this, it won't be junk for long. Not after we're through. If the best we get is what we make, still the best. Check it out.
Departure trajectory locked, Nexus Control. Ah, time for introductions. You must be Ryder, Gallo Jath. A pleasure to be here, and to meet you, of course. I'll be piloting the Tempest at your word. Quite the ship, but it'll take a Pathfinder's guidance to see us through Helios. Plenty of dangers out there, but I'll do my best to avoid them. That's reassuring. Wouldn't want to lose my finest work to that angry cloud. I was test pilot for the Tempest's early prototypes. I admit, I'm itching to see how she performs out here. So, how do I... The console syncs with your implant. Just swipe, touch a destination here, and the nav system calculates everything. Very efficient. It was optimized for a Pathfinder. Everything's secure, if you're ready. Is anyone ready for something this big? We signed on for the big stuff when we came to Andromeda. All right. Excuse me. Excuse me. Command access is transferring successfully. Uh, science and monitoring stations look fine. Lexi's reporting in. Helm is green. Gil reports the drive core is online. This is it, Ryder. The Tempest is yours. Unless you've got something to say for the log. I never planned to be Pathfinder. I don't know what's out there. But we're the Milky Way's best and brightest. We can do this. Nexus Control, this is the Tempest. Ident 2527, prepping to depart. Departure vector verified, Tempest. Godspeed, Pathfinder. To Eos, then. What would have been our Habitat 1? Two failed outposts put an end to that idea. Maybe we can turn things around. Callo, take us in. System, Pythias. Andromeda Initiative Habitat 1. Designated Eos. It was supposed to be an easy first step. Until no one else showed and we got clobbered. Twice. Why has Sam altered frequency detection? What are we hearing, Sam? There is a signal, Pathfinder. I recommend an immediate examination of Eos. up something. Probes launched. Tracking a huge mineral deposit. I'm picking up something. I'm 
anomaly detected. A mirror of the signal on Habitat 7. Possible atmospheric manipulation. Is that possible? We'll find out. If it is like Habitat 7, no doubt we'll run into the CAD. Suiting up. Ready, Freddy. Hope we're all that ready. Callow? All right. Integrating search area from Sam. How he pulled that mystery signal through the storms, I have no idea. Multisensory neural collation. Amazing. Factory fresh across the board. Spinning up the compensators. You're already tuning the displays. We'll get a better read on this pass than the Nexus has had in months. <laughs> People have their hopes pinned on us. They gave up on Eos. I can't blame them. Expected a golden world, instead they saw their friends die. Never know how that'll affect. Oh, sorry. You okay? This is exactly why we came. A new galaxy, a new ship. I can't wait to get both a little dirty. Pathfinder? The Tempest checks out. We're good. Take us down. You have no idea how long I've wanted a Pathfinder to say that. Core is hot. Shields holding, adjusting entry. We got this, right? Hell. There. Set us down at this nav point. How to even start? Reports state this planet suffers deadly storms that are contaminated by radiation from the Scourge. EO's deployment was incomplete due to environmental hazards and ultimately hostile encounters. Plus no Pathfinder. If EOS is like Habitat 7, that signal we scan must be connected with the atmosphere. We could use the outpost antenna to track it down. Let's get the power back on. They must have known these wouldn't last in these conditions. But they didn't have a Pathfinder. They do now. We'll make Eos a home. Door's getting emergency power, but it's code locked. Site 1 issued individual security codes. Each outpost self-organizes and sets its own protocol. Just say we can't open it without codes. We can't open it without codes.
Got a code lock key. Gives us access if we need it. We suffered our first death today. Storm came out of nowhere. Lockley tried to cover our crops. Lost his footing. Got swept away. His wife is still in cryo. Maybe by the time they wake her up, I'll know what to say. Got a partial lock, but I can't turn on the antenna. Something's blocking the power. A remote lock is active. The interference originates from a nearby power relay tower. So we're not the only ones interested in what happened here. Let's check out this relay tower. door had power, but not the interior doors? Full functionality would require an active power relay station. That means the antenna's out of power, too. Like the console said, let's head to the relay station. Look at this place. It's a wasteland. The radiation in Eos's atmosphere makes it difficult to cultivate life. Radiation? Our suits protect against that, right? Site 1 contains shield masts to dampen the brunt of contamination. But if we went outside Site 1's perimeter, that would not be advised. It's inoperable, Pathfinder. Too long in this environment without power. We didn't expect this kind of environment. Who could? Structure up ahead. Sam? It fits the profile of a power relay station, Pathfinder. Right. We get it running, maybe buildings get power. And we get a line on that signal. There are people here. We thought everyone left was gone. Of course you did. Now shove off. Find your own salvage. This spot's taken. So you're a salvager? Got a name? I'm Ryder. Clancy. Making an honest living by... Wait, Ryder? As in Pathfinder? The Nexus just can't let Eos go, can it? However much it fails down here. I'm tracking a signal that will help Eos. I only need power for the antenna. Look. I cut the power for a reason. The Ket are patrolling today. You turn the power relay back on, they'll know there's a juicy target alive down here. Help me with the power relay, and I'll take care of the Ket. You're crazy. Well, maybe it's a good crazy. Okay, I'll enable the generators out there. You want to poke the tiger, it's on you. Yeah. Expect trouble when we start the generators. There's an error in the startup sequence. Manual input required. Damn it. Please scan one of the pylons to determine a hackable input location. Generator interface possible. Location marked. Generator is active. Sam, our friend Clancy, was he part of the outpost team here? No, Pathfinder. According to Nexus records, he's stationed in the hangar bay. So he's what? Playing hooky? Or he's a part-time salvager. We've 
got company. You took down all those cat? Sure, use the power relay. Hell, take whatever you like. Word of advice, though. If that signal of yours is out past the perimeter, you'll need a ride. A ride? Shuttles aren't fun in these winds. You need wheels. I think they kept a little something in storage. Didn't get around to salvaging it yet? I tried. It ain't that simple. Might be easier for a Pathfinder, though. We're heading to our shuttle. Keep this up. Maybe next time we'll find more than just salvage around here. Don't suppose you've got anything we can use. Power restored. We should have access to everything in Site 1 now. Right, Sam? Correct. Plus, I've located the source of the signal we detected in orbit. It's coming from the large alien structure just beyond Site-1. The structure appears almost identical to the one your father used to adjust the atmosphere on the previous planet. It's worth investigation. That almost feels like a lead. Damn right that's worth investigating. Here, here. A warning. Radiation levels beyond the perimeter of Site-1 are well above acceptable limits. You cannot proceed without additional protection. All the more reason to see if that alien structure can make a difference to this planet. Come on, you better find that vehicle Clancy mentioned. Now the power is restored, we can investigate the nearby build buildings. What do you know? The Outpost Research Center is still intact. Updating the Tempest on this critical recovery. Research was always key to the initiative. We'll need it here too. We're not scavenging anymore. This is how we rebuild. Someone else agrees. This research center was used recently to monitor the alien signal. This gives us the tools to find the source, and maybe whoever else is looking. The research station is back online. I've provided a list of weapons we can build by gathering the required components. Special requisition, all-terrain scout rover. A nomad, six-wheel drive, jump jets, just what you need. I might be drooling a little bit. This must be what Clancy meant. The crate requires an access code from a forward station. Forward stations act as emergency resupply checkpoints. Several are currently in orbit. I can call one down. Let's find a good spot. Activating automated forward station deployment. Looks 
like the forward station supplies are intact. Downloading Nomad Crate access code. should handle pretty smooth. Check both forward and reverse, would you? It's too steep. Switch to six-wheel drive. It'll get you up there in a snap. jump jets. They'll get you over most obstacles. If you need more juice, the... Got it. Signal's coming from that structure up ahead. Ascent is go. Leaving Atmo. All clear. Ryder, Liam's looking for you. The scent is green. Coordinating, path is calm.
picking up initiative tech nearby from above us. I see it. Up on that piece with the scaffolding. It's working, but I'm just getting random symbols. Glyphs. With more glyphs to expand my database from Habitat 7, I could interface fully with the console. And hopefully start up whatever helps the atmosphere. I could provide analysis via the scanner, Pathfinder. It's slippery, but there's a great view! Who'd be... Okay, let's solve this thing. Building connection. I apologize for any discomfort. The system seems unstable. This would happen when my dad tried doing this? Your father interfaced directly with the atmosphere processor. That proved extremely hazardous. These structures could reveal its control center. System remains unstable. Doubling our power input might accelerate the process. I'll give it a shot. Off, or I will push you down! Whoa! Easy. You've come this far. Just let it ride. I've been studying this tech for months. I don't know how you activated those glyphs, but you have to let them cycle through their channels. It's going to be all right. Trust me, okay? I know, I know. Who am I? I mean, it's obvious who you are. I saw the ship swoop in. You're a Pathfinder. I was beginning to think the initiative just made you guys up so the rest of us wouldn't lose hope, but you're for real, huh? Are you for real? You were going to tell me who you are. I might just be the solution to all your problems. Well, look at that. System has stabilized. I'm establishing a connection. Oh, crap. I know these things! From Habitat 7! Later! Just take them out! Keep targeting that one! They make little bots! My first tangle with the Remnant was a lot messier. The Remnant? These monoliths, the Observer and Assembler bots, they're all the remnants of something much bigger. But that's too long. Ugh, I hate long. So, the Remnant. Like, my name's better as PB. Thanks for helping with those things. I'm Ryder. You're a mystery. I've been studying those glyphs for months, and then you arrive and... Pff, solved. I saw this tech clear the skies on Habitat 7. We're hoping I could do the same for Eos. Huh. Atmosphere manipulation? Maybe. Fits the model. All remnant tech is connected. You interfaced with this monolith somehow, and now it's pinging the others. If you wake them up too, they must lead to whatever master switch might fix the radiation. Interface with the monoliths, follow the connection to the source. Easy enough. Sure. Just don't piss off too many observers. Here, take my nav points. I'll be... I've got to figure this interfacing out. Just be careful. This planet's all kinds of strange. Imagine leaving all the craziness on the Nexus to be the first settlers here. So much riding on you, and then... This time will be different. Right. This is our element. 
Let's do this! I think that's it. Shelter, water, stable ground. It was initially overlooked due to the site one folks were interested in the monoliths too. levels with an acceptable limit. More remnant bots. These ones don't seem hostile. Hmm. I detect a high level. interface that controls this. Nice work. Interface failed, Pathfinder. Defense systems engaging.
good at this. That did... whatever that did. I see pathways lighting up all over. The monoliths are resonating. QEC contact? Well, whatever's happening, they're definitely connecting. You did good. Keep doing more. Kent dropped you. Seriously? Can't catch a break. Same thing. Radiation levels increasing. the early data on EOS back home? When everywhere was labeled H with a bunch of numbers? <laughs> Your dad put those readings up in his office. Knew them all by heart. Wonder what those worlds really looked like then. And now. of some kind. Those assholes took over my best research site. They won't let you near the monolith without a fight. of some kind. Those assholes took over my best research site. They won't let you near the monolith without a fight. Ted, incoming! Hostile shuttle incoming. Well protected. We'll need to cut that shield's power supply. <laughs> Let's get to it before there's any more cat. Andromeda Initiative. We're not here to cause trouble. So you say. Still haven't told me who you are. I'm the Pathfinder. Are you now? My name's Sarah Ryder. I'm Drac, Clan Nackmore. You'll forgive me if I didn't just trust a stranger from the Nexus. They haven't exactly treated us Krogan well. What are you doing out here? 
Checking out these monoliths. The Kets seem pretty interested in this one. Looks like you cleared it out for us, though. You sad I didn't save any for you? Nexus knows shit about the Ket. They think they're safe. <laughs> but they're just waiting to die out there in space. I've been quads deep on a couple of planets for a while now. Taking out Ket bases, fighting ground troops. <laughs> I know what they can do. It's not pretty. You know, we could use a Krogan like you, Drek. I'm flattered, but do you have any idea how many humans I've watched die? Your meat is spoiled. Besides, the day I help the Nexus again is the day the clouds part and the Ket keel over. No offense. None taken. Good, because I'm getting bored and the Ket are getting stronger. Seem particularly interested in this alien tech. Remnant? Yeah, that. I'm gonna go find more to shoot. Try to keep your head out there. Translation to know when I'm hearing a monster. Adding to language database. This component was security tagged for Site 2. Looks like they had some sort of special project going. Let's find the rest. He seems fun. Detecting above normal radiation levels. Radiation. That should complete the glyphs, Pathfinder. Hey, I'm getting better at this. Done. The monoliths are online and connected to. Something in the lake. This could be the master switch we're looking for. I'll meet you there. Don't do anything without me. Detecting above normal radiation levels. So whatever tech we found on Habitat 7 is the same as what's here? That's what the scan suggests. Two planets now. What does that mean? You know what it means. Suit up and find out. Got it. Mining zones have been added to your nav system, Pathfinder.
tanks underground, too? Let's see. It's opening up. I see a door. Come on! Whoa. It's... forming a bridge. Let's find out how solid it is. levels within acceptable limits. No. No, this can't be right. All that fanfare for an empty room? There's some secret here. There must be. Do your... Pathfinder thing. Oh, you're good. And I make it look so easy. How far down do you think it goes? Electrostatic? Ah, uh, gravitation. Oh, you idiot, PB. That wasn't the front door. This is. I'll let you know. Hey! like a gravity well. But where's it taking us? Embrace the unknown, Ryder. Now this is more like... Looks like a bunker. Or a vault. Whatever you call it. The controls for that atmosphere processor might be down here somewhere. Let's find out. Anything could be important. Let's be thorough. Ready, are you? Not until we find those processor controls. Only minimal power. I don't think it triggered the atmosphere processor, but. Pathfinder, a conduit beneath the floor just activated. Fluid is running through it. It could be generating emergency power. Your scanner will have more details. No signs of any cat. Maybe they can't get into the vault? But you can. That'll get their attention. Lucky me. This door should be working. It's got power, right? Do we need a password? What about these holographic patterns? Can you scan one? I see the conduit, Sam. Whatever it is, it leads out of the room. These data pattern things are incredible. If I'm right, each one can hold hundreds of zettabytes. There are whole species who get by with less. Uh-huh. What have we here? Minor corruption detected. The pattern suggests significant data present, but it cannot be accessed. Shouldn't it be warmer this deep underground? Huh. Well, if the remnant aren't using it. Now that's interesting. Ah, here's the rock you kicked down here. Safe and sound. There. You see that? It's like a broken information display. Phrase recovered. Must read to access. This console links to surface facilities. Then it must control the atmosphere processor. No glyphs. 
It looks dead. Or locked down, like most of this place. The fluid conduit leads to this console and further into the vault. So if we follow that conduit, it might lead to the system lockdown. Open. We read it. We get access. Another gravity well. And that's new. What is it? A symbol of authority? A key? It's easy to speculate with Remnant, but we need more facts. I'll see what I can find on this beauty. Maybe over this way. Whatever has this place on lockdown is that way. I do my best work solo. You fix up the vault, I'll investigate the relic, and together we'll figure this place out. You don't watch many horror vids, do you? We have no idea what's down there. And we never will, if we miss something because we're huddled in a group. I'll be careful. Just stay on the radio. I'm on frequency 145.8. Stay safe. Ten credits say she ends up in a pit of spikes. This gravity well is sealed off. No way through. Incidentally, a gravity well is the gravitational effect of a large mass in space. This is more accurately a well with variable gravity. Keep a note for our sorry friend. For when we try to explain all this. Com check. It's... well, you know who. We read you, PB. Stay in touch. They dug this place through solid rock. Look up there. Must be how they kept it from collapsing. Whoa. What's that liquid? Unable to classify. The only way through is down towards it. There's a low hum through every thing here. Can you feel it? Let's stay focused. One thing, I'm probably missing three more. What is this place? Another aqueduct. How many do they need? Are those roads down there? I can't even see where they end.
Nothing ventured, nothing gained. One way to light a room. The atmosphere processor we found before didn't need all these steps. Dad just interfaced with it directly. And it didn't work out so great. Direct intervention was necessary in that case, but clearly unwise. Look how high it is. Might be another gravity well. Well sealed. Damn. Maybe we can use the conduit for emergency power, same as before. Better safe than sorry! is defensive in nature. You're sure this well isn't gonna open up under us? Wonder if I'd get anything on the scanner. Device is online and makes a shield? At least it's friendly. Layers and layers of defenses. If they're defenses. Conduit splits and goes through each of those devices. Interfacing may complete the circuit and allow the world to open. If it gets us to the system lockdown, let's try. Power restored to the gravity well. The conduit leads down. Conduit fluid pressure is variable. There could be activity below. Then let's dig deeper. No. Radiation counts indicate the vault has been offline for several hundred years. Around the time the Scourge appeared? That can't be a coincidence. Maybe the Scourge is why all this tech was abandoned? Crap. The conduit sprang a leak. Careful. No way you can interface with the console like that. And no fluid means no power. Damn it. Maybe that's why those devices up above were turned off. We're not turning back now. There has to be some way to fix the leak. Ryder! Up here! What happened? I can't get indoors to work. The conduit's breached! Hey, wait! The observers were using weird laser frequencies to fix a broken wall back there. I can send the frequencies to your Omni tool. Maybe they can patch up the conduit? And... received! I'll give them a shot! Dead. Without the conduit, there's not even enough power for the door. door working too. Will you look at that? How do we get across? That did it. Watch your step. It's still a long drop. Wait, plants? All the way down here? You see them too? I thought all the gravity fun had messed up my eyes. No sunlight, no water. They should all be dead. The source of the system lockdown may yield more information. We appear to be close. I'm starting to get 
the hang of this. Company! Hydraulics compensating. Oh, no, I'm okay. Two gravity wells down already, and this place goes even deeper. What's at the bottom? Let's not find out the hard. We've got a path to. Whoa! Jump jets. resonating with something. It must be close. No question. This is the heart of the vault. I've never seen anything like it. All conduits converge here, Pathfinder. That must be the lockdown console. Any thoughts, Sam? Unknown. Though it appears related to the lockdown, an in-depth study may reveal its purpose. The system lockdown is disabled. The vault and the atmosphere processor should return to full operation. Ryder, you fixed the lockdown, didn't you? The whole place is lighting up. Power readings are off the chart. Really, really off the chart. But if it's back online, we should be good to... Should we? Go! Just go! 
ways to escape Ryder. I know, Sam! Another gravity well! It could go anywhere. It goes away from here. We're taking it. It's still coming! It's sweeping the whole vault! Kills anything in its way! Yeah, like us! that field might have been sweeping the vault or chasing us an immune response maybe one last scrub for startup this place is full of surprises nothing like outrunning death or reactivating a huge mysterious vault nice going atmosphere processor is online recovering last console activity is that the helios cluster yeah there we are that's Eos. Whoa. Did restarting the system do that? If that light is us, then all these points could be vaults on other worlds. Dormant like this one. Maybe. But why is there a whole network of them? What's all this for? This tech can create observers from nowhere or ravage a whole planet. And that's just what we've seen. The bots, those plants back there, the atmosphere processors. Back home, some corporation hit a desert world with an ice comet. They changed the atmosphere to bring rain. To help it support life. That first processor we saw was making things worse, but maybe it malfunctioned. Is that what these builders were trying to do? Make worlds habitable? Even terraform a whole cluster? Hey, look there. That's different. Maybe it's active? We've got to go see. Sam? Extrapolating. These coordinates lie beyond the space we have currently surveyed, Pathfinder. Mark it on our charts. We need more to go on. Let's head up to the surface. I could use some fresh air. Look at that sky. How? No atmosphere processor works that fast. If this effect is representative, Pathfinder, air and moisture patterns will show noticeable improvement. EOS could support an outpost. A foothold. That's all we need. Just enough to begin. This remnant technology could be the key to our survival, if we can control it. You can. Kind of. Still. Wouldn't hurt to find a manual. We've got a lead. Sam marked it on the charts down there. That site is active, whatever it is. Who knows what we'll find there. We? You want to come along? I want to know what makes the Remnant tick. You've got a key to their technology. Or a crowbar, at least. Welcome aboard. We'll get you a fancy job title to go over your bunk. I only need a footlocker. Data pad, toothbrush, clean underwear, that'll do. I'll catch up with you. Well, this will be interesting. Now 
for our new outpost. You have already logged an ideal site. Nav point noted. Updating Tempest. The Nexus is on pins and needles, Ryder. Pods are inbound and ready. Let's go make it happen. So, Kura. Asari commandos. I hear a lot of things. You hear, or you watch low-budget action vids. Either way, Huntresses hunt. They sabotage. They do assassinations. All officially sanctioned. And that was all fine with you? Yeah. Hunt down anti-Citadel fanatics, or let Crisis Response mop up the blood later. That's not a choice. Thank for clearing up the sky. Had your number all wrong. So, the clouds parted. These cat look pretty keeled over. Maybe us humans can pull our weight after all. Well, you can, clearly. But there's a lot to do before I'd be that smug about it. You know what? I'm gonna ignore my gut and join up. This fight was good, and we can do it again. And before you go saying you don't need a Krogan, believe me, you do. That's what I said. The first colonists sent audio logs about these regions back to the Nexus. And? Fairwinds Basin. Lowest radiation count in the area. A little bit of hope. It is karma. Notice that? This is where we'll build our new outpost. A real beginning. Prepping deployment order. You must choose what purpose this new outpost will serve. The Nexus doesn't get a say? Resources are at a crisis point. Protocol states this judgment call falls to the Pathfinder. With current supplies, you could build a military outpost focusing on defense and militia training. Alternatively, a scientific outpost could advance the initiative's research and discoveries. What do you think? Military outpost or scientific? Pathfinder's call, but research is no good if we're dead. Military. It's got to be science. Our colonists need to understand their home. Be advised that the first outpost placed by a Pathfinder will be a statement in itself. Fair or not, your choice will represent the initiative and its intentions in Andromeda. Consider carefully. Prioritize research and discovery. That's our foundation and our future. Orders prepped. Ready on your signal. Andromeda Initiative. This is Ryder. Pathfinder. EOS is ready for deployment. Copy that. Outpost blocked inbound. And ready as hell. August Bradley, operational head for this block. 
mayor now, I suppose. We're ready to make the most of what you delivered. I feel like I should toss you the keys. Be nice. It's been through a lot. Understood. Brodromos. That's what we're calling her. They're eager. I haven't seen eager for months. Eos is far from golden. But now it's a producer. A real and reasonable first step. They think you did the impossible. The Nexus. I warned them, hoping was... irresponsible. You proved me wrong, Pathfinder. I appreciate your candor. We're all on the same side. I wouldn't go that far. The Reality Rider? You brought us time. But one outpost on a long-shot planet won't stop us from starving. You already have a lead on... something else? The nav point... from the vault. Now it gets complicated. The others are ready to officially sanction your efforts, to be a part of your success. We all want the initiative to succeed, but after failing for so long, no one agrees on how to do it. Be aware, that's all. I don't care why anyone helps, so long as they do. I've heard that before. Talk to Bradley. Later, we'll go over the extended job of Pathfinder. Until then. Tan's waiting on the Nexus. Radiation levels have spiked, Pathfinder. levels within acceptable limits. Life support at 100%. Pathfinder. Jacob Mitney, Research and Development. My team's just getting set up here, but we've made a discovery you might want to check out. All ears. We've put together a blueprint for augmenting your armor plating. Uploading it now. If you can collect the necessary resources from around EOS, it should work. Sounds useful. Good thinking, Mitney. This could form the basis for armor production across the initiative. Scrounge safely, Pathfinder. Ascent is go. Leaving at home. All clear. Before the meeting gets started, I have bunk assignments for PB and Drac. Already put my rucksack in the kitchen. I'll hang out there if that's okay. And I'm in one of the escape pods. More my speed. That's fantastic. Welcome aboard. Any thoughts, Ryder? I don't care where anyone sleeps, as long as we realize what a kick-ass team we have. Let's talk about our success on EOS. 
Besides establishing our first viable outpost, we did some amazing things. We discovered the Remnant and breached their vault. And didn't get killed. Overcame radiation poisoning a number of times. And didn't die. Confronted by Ket at every turn. Once again, did not get killed. You guys really need to raise the bar on what you call success. <laughs> yeah, should we use the Krogan definition of success that got your homeworld nuked by your own people? <laughs> Fair enough. Let's focus. Back to the task at hand. Looking forward. Exactly. Here's my only question. When do we hit that next vault? It looked active. We have to get on that. Hang on, hang on. We need to not go off half-cocked. There are initiative priorities. The team calls the shots. Actually, the Pathfinder calls the shots. Just to be clear. So what do you need from us, Ryder? Let's be kind and give each other the benefit of the doubt. Finding a home for tens of thousands in this hellscape is stressful enough without adding dysfunction. You got it, boss. If Krogan are known for one thing, it's getting along. But not humility or self-awareness. Okay, let's head back to the Nexus. PB, Drac, see Lexi for a physical? Good meeting, everyone. Ryder, when you've got a minute, stop by the med bay. Our tech lab is an engineer's dream. It's perfect for any delicate technical work. Nice place you found. Clean air, plants, helps me think. Something on your mind? <sighs> maybe. Your biotics always do that when you're maybe stressed? I got it. I'm good. I don't normally lose it like that. A Huntress should have better control. Huntress? Another term for an Asari commando. I was one, before the initiative. Some things stick, though. Like losing the old man. How does a human soldier get to serve with Asari? Prove your biotics can rip an APC apart, and people get nervous. Funny that. The Alliance found me a cross-species military initiative in a hurry. Sent me to Thessia to serve with the Huntress unit. One of the few places where my powers were welcomed. Your father made another one. I know it's not the same, but I'm a good listener. I hope you're as good at being Pathfinder. I said I wouldn't get in the way. And I meant it. But... I prepped for years as your father's second. Then he chooses you? An untrained Pathfinder and all this mess to fix? The hell was he thinking? Is this going to be a problem, Cora? I don't want a rival. Just answers. It, it's done. Best I can do now is be your second. Keep your father's mission alive. Then maybe we'll all get what we came out here for. You, me, side by side? I like the sound of that. A commando friend said something like that once. I explained I wasn't into women, however admirable they might be. So... So I said I'd still take a bullet for her. We were a team. Look, there's still the mission. A lot of dreams to fulfill. So what brought you out to Andromeda? Biotics like this. Thinking like an Asari huntress. I never had a place. Best I could be was a useful freak. The initiative was meant to be different. Will be different if this mission succeeds. So I'm seeing it through. It's quiet in here. I can keep the plants watered while I work. First job, see if there's any news on the Asari Ark. If they made it, we could use some Asari expertise. If you want to talk, I'll be here. Hi there. How's the search for the Asari Ark going? The Lucinia? Checking every comm that's coming in. Nothing concrete yet. You were in the Alliance before you became a Huntress, right? 
What made you join up? My biotics. I was still living on my parents' cargo freighter when they manifested. Untrained biotic power on a starship means accidents. But we couldn't afford a tutor. The Alliance had implants, the training, everything. Old history now. Your turn. Remind me why you came to Andromeda. The Prothean digs woke us up to how much we don't know, and to what humanity's next leap might be. Then Dad's career collapsed. His AI research made him too toxic. I heard. Must have changed everything for your family. I wanted to find worlds and secrets no one had ever seen, and Scott was itching for adventure. So, Andromeda. None of you writers ever think small, do you? Did you come out here with anyone? Maybe someone you served with? I had my fun on shore leave. <laughs> Nothing serious, though. Asari huntresses figure things out, but I was there for soldiering, not romance. Does that mean fraternization is okay for Asari commandos? It'll happen, but usually only for one deployment. Asari don't usually stay with each other long term. After your 500th birthday, you learn some self-control. See you later, Cora. I'll be here. Don't give the Pathfinder too much trouble. Oh, Rushan. Who are you talking to? Kesh, Nexus Superintendent, thinks she can boss me around just because she's my granddaughter. I like the no trouble plan. How about we stick with that? <laughs> Kesh said not too much trouble, kid. Not no trouble. The cat makes sure some trouble's always coming for you. That's not reassuring. Life out here ain't reassuring. You'll get used to it. Is that all you brought? You travel lean when supplies are tight and you're on your own. Your people had to know what it'd be like when you left the Nexus. We did, but there weren't a lot of options. After the mutiny happened, it was either buckle under Tan's rules or start our own colony. Easy choice. Bad consequences all around. Not all Krogan left. Your granddaughter stayed. Good thing she did. Without my Rushan, you wouldn't have had much of a station to tie your ship to. As for me, I'm way more useful out here. Lots to shoot at, for one. Your people come first. Keeping Cash and our colony safe will always be my top priority. That's why I'm happy to tag along, help make this galaxy a little more hospitable. Can't argue with that. You're not Harry. The blue give it away? Habitat 7 was a little more action-packed than Harry bargained for. He decided to spend his retirement years in the Hyperion looking after your brother. Happy to have you, Dr. Tapero. I'll do my best. Now, hold still. Ow! Sorry. I remember you having a gentler touch. Still trying to get my bearings. Thought I'd be waking up colonists, not taking care of the Pathfinder. I couldn't be in better hands. I just stabbed you. We all have off days. I always hoped to work in the field, but everything's happening so quickly. Focus on the positive. It helps. I guess this is my opportunity to study alien species firsthand. Getting a cat specimen aboard the Hyperion would be difficult, but here... Uh, what? A cat corpse. 
for autopsy. I'm, a live subject would be better, but I'm not greedy. Why do you care about the cat? Harry didn't tell you? I'm a specialist in alien anatomy. My thesis on Krogan virility and aggression is what got me in the initiative. I had no idea. I'd love to hear more. Over dinner, maybe? Oh. Um... Thing is, Ryder, you're not my type. What's your type? Not a patient. I need to be able to look at you clinically, without distractions. Am I distracting? Not nearly as much as you think you are. But we were discussing the cat. An autopsy could teach us potential weaknesses, average lifespan... Right. Just something to think about. Sam, make sure the Pathfinder eats her vegetables. Pathfinder Rider to Engineering. Repeat, Rider to Engineering. <laughs> Pathfinder, help me with something? I know, not exactly standard. Gotta make the space comfortable. Plus, the fabric diffuses the charge from an overclocked omni blade. Not giving up a 6% boost, right? Someone brought this to Andromeda? It was new when we left. It's been a hard year. So, finally time for that beer? And after two years and a dozen suspensions, I took a lateral promotion out of the force. Being a cop just didn't fit. The crisis response? Digging people out of trouble? That worked. I bet Hustle followed you into a few peace actions. Think about your alliance days much? Tell me about your group. Heavy urban search terrain one? Yeah. Earth's contribution to a multi-species disaster response unit. HUST-1, but Hustle looks much better on the patch. <laughs> All civilians, retired vets, or shits like me. I was fiercely bearded. Tastes better just thinking about those days. I wanted exploration, to chase the cutting edge of Prothean research. I thought I'd found my calling. Seems like a long time ago. 600 years, give or take. So, Pathfinder. Why Andromeda? That blunt, huh? That blunt. I'm looking for moments like this with people like you. <laughs> you don't know me yet. Still an answer, though. Something far from home. I get it. Back at you, Costa. Why do you come? I want to say I'm running from my past, but really running from myself. That'd be a great story. But it's bullshit. I had family, friends, a good enough job. Nothing was wrong. I just heard about the initiative and... I believed in it. I believed in a new beginning. Still do. I have to. We're in it. We can't go back, but we're not trapped by decisions a galaxy behind us. I don't feel trapped. We came from a good place for good reasons. We keep that in mind or steer us right, just like back in Crisis Response. Remember the essentials. A new start guided by the Pathfinder. And team. I'll bust my tail to make that a good story. Prodromos. Prodromos. Sounds good, doesn't it? We started, Pathfinder. A new life. That is goddamn brilliant. You barely covered how you joined. Tell me something about yourself. All right. I was a bad student. Piss poor cop. Great responder. Had a good life. But it all been done. I wasn't looking to start over. I wanted to start big. You were a cop, then crisis response? Couldn't have been long in either. Didn't have the patience for law, so I figured enforcement. Dad knew it didn't fit before I did. But it got me into hustle. They mostly take vets and retired service. Best years of my life. An impatient rookie, frustrated by procedure. That's overdone. <laughs> I know, right? I wanted new, and I got it. And that led me here. Tell me about your family. I missed the hell out of them. Some nights you just cry, right? That's the thing everyone does. Mom, Joel, Dad, Calvin. 
Both lawyers. Met on the Citadel, settled on Earth. No brothers or sisters. That... might have been too much to leave. It was traditional. How about you? Life with my family was not typical, on a number of fronts. You may do though, right? Family has to. I know mine did. I said goodbye to my mom and dad, and got on a ship to Andromeda. We'll talk later. I know it. Yes? Just wondering what you think of how I'm doing at the job. I'm committed to the initiative. Your Pathfinder. It's as simple as it gets. Just stopping by for... not much. Just... showing some interest? Ugh. <laughs> Bad opening, Pathfinder. <laughs> You're better than that. Yes, well... screw it. I'm owning it. See, I knew it. <laughs> All right, interest returned. Let's bank that for another day. We'll talk later. I know it. Oh, hey, Pathfinder. <gasps> the Pathfinder's there? Let me say hi. Fine, but don't embarrass me. Ryder, this is Sid, my sister. Sid, Ryder. Let me guess. Little sister? Who are you calling little? Look, kiddo. Gotta go. Wait, Ryder, I just wanted to know if... So I know it feels like I just jumped aboard your ship without explanation? I would have done the same just to get off the Nexus. That's not why I came. Sure, I want to explore the galaxy, but I'm really here to work. I know everyone on the crew, even the actuators Gil prefers for the ship. Better, I know how to get my hands on them. With me around, your crew's going to be at their best. We've been failing for months, Ryder. Now that we have you, we have a chance out here. Wow, that's some laser focus. Yeah? Was it too much? Some people get intimidated. I'm not just some people. I really like the intensity. That's good. It's nice to feel... appreciated. I should track down a lead for Gil's actuators. Back channels, you know. We'll chat later. Pathfinder, making the rounds. Slumming it, huh? Want to see how the riffraff are making out? Hey, this is the most important part of the ship. Whoa, don't tell me they put someone smart in charge for a change. I am at your command. Just want to see how things are going with the ship. I can coax more out of this baby than some might think, but we shouldn't go too far or push too hard between Nexus stops. For now. It just feels good to be stretching our wings, you know? Locked in idle too long, you start to drift. People, same as ships. Stuck on the Nexus, gotta say, I was regretting joining the Initiative. Seems like life back there was pretty bleak. Not gonna lie, it sucked. I tend to live the way I work. Kinda feel it, do it. Not a lot of close ties, no real sense of purpose. Figured maybe I'd find my true calling in Andromeda. Then I got here and, oops, I just made a decision there's no turning back from. I was going nuts on that station. You can't know how jazzed I was when you showed up. Happy to be of service. I think you'll see that showing up is only one of my many talents. Oh yeah? Um, you're not hitting on me, are you? Thought I was. Is it not one of my many talents? I'm just not susceptible, if you know what I mean. Liam's more my speed. Well, if he wasn't such a tool. Got it. Sorry. No sweat at all. You just keep pointing this ship wherever you want it to go, and I'll make sure she can get there. Deal? Deal.
This console reports on the militia's current strike team missions, Pathfinder. Please speak with Tyrion Candros for authorization to participate. We haven't really spoken since orientation, have we? It's all been so hectic, but I'm sure things will quiet down soon. Can't be worse than the Nexus. You're setting up in here, huh? Yeah, I'm going through what we got out of that vault. If I can crack this data storage box, it'll help with a personal project back on the Nexus. This is a nice, out-of-the-way place where I can tinker, and I can sleep anywhere. It's not exactly homey, but I like that about it. Not really looking for a home. Oh, but I will help you find everyone a home. While I'm with you, at least. Does your brain ever take a breath? <laughs> Sorry, not really. Even my dreams are in time-lapse. I get it. You want to know who's on your ship, so you're here to figure out what makes me tick, right? Something like that? Sure. Well, I was born in a log cabin on rural Haitiana, to simple but loving parents, just trying to... I look forward, not back, Ryder. Why snooze through my life story? Get to know me out in the field, while we're uncovering the mysteries of this galaxy. That's why I'm here. Got tired of yawning back home. Tackling complete strangers in the Milky Way wasn't doing it for you? I think tackling you anywhere would be fun. <sighs> Did I say that out loud? Life won't be boring with you around. I may never yawn again. You left everything and everyone you knew because you were bored? No. I came with someone I knew. Then she got bored with me. <laughs> Ryder, the Milky Way was so... Been there, done that. Even if I hadn't done it, someone had. If there's one thing you should know about me, it's that I live for the unknown. For the never been done. That's just the one thing you want me to know about you. Let's start with that then. Buy me a drink sometime. Who knows what will spill out of my mouth. <sighs> Tell you what. I need remnant scrap. Remtech, I call it. For projects like the one I mentioned. Which you're gonna love, by the by. Promise to bring me what you scrounge, and I'll submit to all your questions. Remtech, huh? You got it. Scans of the Scourge. All that dark energy twisting and turning on itself. It's splendid. I suppose it is a rather darkly beautiful phenomenon. Darkly beautiful. I like that. Helios is incredible, isn't it? Not just constructs like the Scourge and the Remnant Vaults. Just all of it. So alien. A constant reminder of the divine intelligence behind all creation. You mean... a god? Yes. I believe in a higher power. I know it's a little odd. But I am a scientist because science brings me closer to something greater than myself. There's something about coming face to face with something wondrous that makes you want to believe. Wow. It's wonderful to meet someone who understands. I've had to justify myself so often. As if having faith in the divine invalidated my work as a scientist. As if this sacred could be diminished by the search for truth. You definitely have an interesting perspective on the interplay between faith and science. I'd really like to pick your brain on that sometime. Maybe over drinks? The Nexus? I, uh... I'd like that. Now I should probably update the rest of the team with my latest reports. We'll talk later. I saw pictures of the vault. Astounding how big it is. And how much of it didn't you see? What if it's way bigger? What's all that space for? Wild remnant parties? What else would you use it for? Oh, Ryder, you're adorable. I know. When did you start believing in a god? My parents were both scientists. My home was ruled by rationality. So when I became a teenager... Let's just say that while other kids found Batarian music, I found God. But your work as a scientist... Convinced me even more. Especially when I got into molecular biology, physics. The patterns I kept seeing over and over again. 
They were like an artist's watermarks. God, to me, is an artist. An inventor, not someone checking to see if I brush my teeth. I'm really glad you volunteered to join our crew, by the way. I am too. New galaxy and all. I'm honored to be here. No, I mean... I think you're cute and I like seeing you up here. Oh my goodness, writer! Also, the accent. The accent is... I mean, it's not the only thing, but... Uh... Okay, I should just go over there to the piloting thing. Kill. Me. Now. Writer, thank you. And so you know, the feeling's mutual. Yes! I mean, time to pathfind. Serious business. Saving everyone. <laughs> Pathfinder. What do you know about the Remnant's terraforming network? From what I can tell, the vault is designed to adjust almost everything about a planet. Climate, pH of the soil, atmosphere composition. There's even evidence that it can propagate life. If we can figure out how to control the vaults, we could turn these worlds into perfect habitats. I take it you work closely with the Nexus science team? I try to keep in contact with them. We discuss anything and everything we discover out here. After all, many brains are better than one. And Dr. Aridana is worth two or three at least. I work best when I have other people to bounce ideas off of. I should get back to things. Sounds good. Glad you stopped by. You'll pardon me if I keep an eye on our vector? That's probably smart. Ah, uh, nothing like being on the bridge of your very own ship, is there? I could stand here and drink in that view all day. When I was test piloting the ship back home, I often did. Of course, it took a whole team to build the Tempest. I was the only one to come to Helios, though. Why did you? What can I say? We poured our hearts into a ship that wouldn't realize her potential until Andromeda. I could have stood on the shore and waved goodbye, or took the leap to see how it all turned out. I get it. Like leaving a good story half finished. The team liked that one of us was going. It felt right after all we went through. I remember Serena debugging line 2281 over and over, chewing that green pencil. Tion and O'Connell arguing equations tapping on the console, three drips of coffee on the corner. You remember all that? Hmm? Oh, yes. Solarians have photographic memories, and apparently mine's unusually sharp. Like my past is still happening. Though I suppose with the Solarian arc missing, you might not get many chances to compare. Did you hear anything about the arc back on the Nexus? Not a peep. Isn't that strange? You'd think there'd be something. Not that I dislike your company, but it's lonely without other Solarians. Cheer up, Callow. We'll always have Director Tan. That snide little bureaucrat? All the more reason to find the others. I should get back to it, but thank you. I was afraid the Tempest would be mothballed after we lost your father. We built her for this. She deserves to be in a Pathfinder's hands. Please, come by any time. What can I do for you? You know, I haven't actually met many Solarians. Careful. Depending who you ask, we're conniving spies, genius researchers, or meddling scientists. We have to pack a lot of living into forty-odd years. Everything gets accelerated. Lines blur. I just hope we don't repeat our old mistakes out here. What do you think of the rest of the crew? Well... I can't talk about Suvi. She's sitting right there. I'm not listening. You can say whatever you like. Oh no. I'm not falling for that again. I'll let you concentrate. You know where I'll be. Anomaly detected. Anomaly detected. Deploying probe. Satellite detected. I'm picking up something.
Your territory. The Nexus has been here for months. Still not enough time to survey it all. Anomaly detected. Anomaly detected. Probe away. Detecting what's left of a ship. Pathfinder, is it true? We're settling Eos. We've thought that before. But Eos is different now, right? Pathfinder. All right, settle down. Give him space. Lieutenant Syax, Kendros's aide. They all wanted to see you. Real hope again. It's been a while. Relax, Lieutenant. If there was ever a day to pop some champagne? Certainly. The initiative's finally back on track. Professor Herrick, right? What you achieve with that remnant vault is unprecedented, Pathfinder. Impossible. But with new scientific talent waking up, we'll unravel those mysteries. The whole Nexus will benefit. We've taken some hard knocks, but this proves we'll always get up again. Always. Well, what are you waiting for? There's a new world out there. Thank you, Ryder. Should I apply for an outpost? Don't. Don't show. Let me know what to do. That's your flag, everyone. That's Podromos. Things are shaping up, Pathfinder. Resources flowing in, sleep is ready to head out. It's starting to feel like the initiative. Not quite up to the sales pitch, but getting there. It feels good, right? I feel it, Liam. Finally getting our start. There we go. Getting our shit together. Showing the new galaxy that we have it sorted. If I keep saying it, it's true, right? Take a break, Pathfinder. Everyone needs it. Free drinks for Pathfinders. I'll make sure of it. Oh, another one! Damn it! This is supposed to be the chemistry lab. My chemistry lab. You all keep crawling out of the woodwork like space cockroaches. You say that, Dutch, but here you are, pouring people drinks. Uh, hi. I'm standing right here. They're guinea pigs, damn it. 
Chemists should have guinea pigs. Not have their labs taken over by people giving them things and... and being nice. Aren't bartenders usually friendly? You're kind of hostile. I'm not supposed to be a bartender. I'm supposed to be a chemist. Don't let Dutch put you off. He's a sweetie, really. I'm not. And the drinks are good. Damn right they are. Uh, I mean... Yeah. I'm a dirty squirrel. things go. to Eos in the Pythia system has discovered a mysterious facility that authorities are calling a vault. Though not much yet is known about the underground structure, it's believed to be remnant in origin. Noted the sorry scientist, Helisaria Basale. What we activated in the vault drastically improved the atmosphere on Eos. This is HNS. Pathfinder, do you have just a minute? Ryder, isn't it? Kerry Tvesa, freelance fit maker. This is Hakim, my producer. I could use your help. What are you looking for? Director Tans asked for an uplifting documentary on the initiative. Translation, paint rainbows over our problems. But our problems are history. People deserve the truth, not propaganda. Nice to see someone so devoted to her work. That's kind. Sometimes the camera makes people shy away from me. That's a shame. <laughs> So that's what I need. The truth, I mean. Someone needs to record the history we're making. Maybe a crisis is the time for hope, rather than hard truths. That was Tan's angle. But if we pretend everything's fine, who does that truly serve? The heart of my documentary will be an interview series. I was hoping you'd take part. I want the dirt and blood of our story, not the convenient fairy tale Tan's looking for. Interested? He don't mind treading on the initiative director's toes? What would he do? Pull funding we don't have? I'm game if you are. Okay, interview away. Let's start at home. 14 months and the Nexus still isn't finished. Arcs are missing, we have people in exile. By any standard, this wasn't the plan. 
Our leadership describes these as anticipated issues. Would you agree? All expeditions have to deal with supplies, enemies, or, hell, just getting lost. We'll deal with all of them. We just need time. Tan will love that. But if that's your take, that's what goes in. Bandwidth means I'm transmitting in short bursts, so that's all for now. But you can bet I'll have more questions later. This was more fun than I expected. You were great. I'll get to work editing. Hi there. Hello again. Hello. Director Tan is expecting you. Last time I was here, this was a storage closet. Pathfinder Hall just needed a Pathfinder to open. We're still getting the commons area ready. Hydroponics is only at partial capacity. Not good enough. We don't have enough people. My workers need a break, Tan. I sympathize, but not until our survival is no longer at risk. Now please excuse me while I meet with our Pathfinder. Hey, Ryder. Addison told me about the outpost. You're the hero of the hour. I guess this is one bet that paid off. Point taken. Always revel in your victories. That's why I'm standing here. Oh, I never doubted you. It was the others. They don't share our vision, Ryder. Of a prosperous future in Andromeda. I suppose we agree on that much. I knew that given a chance, your talents would emerge. Deciphering the vault, alien terraforming. It's not how we imagined all this, but a good Pathfinder improvises. And a great one hangs it on the wall. Yours are the first trophies to grace Pathfinder Hall. You're a symbol now, Ryder. A reason for people to believe. I plan on doing a lot more than that. That's the confidence we need. Take charge and ignore your critics. Careful. You'll end up adopting you, Ryder. Ah, my staff. Colleagues, you wouldn't be looking to cut us out, would you, Tan? I remind you, I am the director of the initiative. Acting director. This isn't the time for arguing over who gets to be king. Too much is at stake. We should be cooperating. That's what I've been saying since we arrived. Then I look forward to winning our Pathfinder support. I have concerns about your decision on Eos Rider. An outpost full of scientists won't do as much good if the Ket attack. But it will help support the Nexus. Improved research could help feed our people. And we could argue about it all day long, as we always do. The decision was made. Now we move on. What is your plan for moving on, Ryder? We have a lead on the terraforming network. I need to take the Tempest deeper into the sector to investigate. If the other Golden Worlds are where they should be, this could get us closer to them. Careful. The Ket are scouring the cluster for remnant technology. You'll end up in a fight, for sure. You might also run into exiles. They didn't leave the Nexus on good terms. And we still need more outposts. They're important to expanding the station. Though with Ark still missing, this could be a chance for Ryder to search for them. Yes, I think that's best. You have my permission. Thank you, Director. I'll get on it. May you light the torch that finds the path. Pathfinder... Ugh. Right. Ryder, this is Harry, back on the Ark. Go ahead. We may have found a way to talk to your brother, sort of. Drop by when you can, Hyperion Medbay. Will do. This is Addison. Pathfinder, we are to contact Director Addison as soon as possible. Right. She had something that could help with our job. We expect the colony to be fully done. Self-supporting soon and able to send us supplies. The whole mood of the Nexus has changed since Eos. You really can feel it. New outpost, a Pathfinder's help, people waking up. It's a fresh start. Can't relax yet. The Initiative still has a lot of promises to keep. And that's on us. But it's damn good to know we're on the right track. You've 
had a year to think about it. It's the Scourge, Director Tan. Its origin defies all known explanation. How? We've brought all that equipment along. And the Tempest's readings are helping, but we've just scratched the surface. The history of the Initiative cannot show that we were defeated by a space cloud. Some things are bigger than we are. I will not accept that excuse. This is science, and your merry band over there are scientists, aren't they? Figure it out. Goodbye, Director. Ryder, you're off to a promising start. I meant what I said. You are a symbol now of hope that things will get better. Though I worry about this terraforming network. What do we really know about it? It's like nothing we've ever seen. It's clear somebody had big plans for this cluster. But who? Not sure yet, but at least we're on the trail. Did you have some other business? As director of the initiative, are you in charge around here or what? If the others would allow me, they don't see me as the rightful successor. What's their problem with you? I am not Gian Garson. Our founder was charismatic, eccentric, larger than life. Traits I cannot hope to mimic. She and her inner circle perished in the Scourge, some at the hands of the Exiles, some never made it out of stasis. I was deputy assistant for revenue management, then all seven leaders above me died. I was next in line for the role. So, you're an accountant? Don't let that fool you. We are all capable of more than we know. When I was young, I was fascinated by the idea of exploring space. Life had its detours and I went a different direction. Then I heard about the initiative and saw my chance to try the path not taken. While I may not be setting foot on new worlds, my authority can ensure that you do. Right. Sorry. That's all. Thanks for your time. Of course. You've shaken things up, Pathfinder. My department actually has colonial affairs to direct. And you have new tools to help grow the initiative. AVP, ready for spending. Sam said there was new functionality to discuss. It's how the initiative was designed to support the Pathfinder. You and your team are out there making Andromeda viable. That empowers all of us. Hit a threshold. A new cryogroup can be brought out. Want more focus on research, like on Prodromos? That's your call. Brecker will introduce the interface and handle minutia. All you need to do is decide what life in Andromeda means. No pressure. Maintenance crews, please report to the comments area. Hello, Pathfinder. I am Cryo Deployment Administrator Vladimir Breka, C63 Galati. Your first task is to decide irrevocably the course of every life in the initiative. <laughs> You're kidding? Yes, of course. But now you respect what we're doing. Andromeda viability and the Nexus thresholds are your tools, your reward, and our future. How can I help? What's the rundown on AVP? Much of the preparation in the Milky Way was determining how to measure success. Thresholds are about capacity, but this is about cost, what we can actually afford to support. Points aren't the most elegant system, but it makes it clear. The more you earn, the more we can deploy. How are you measuring thresholds? It's based on resource estimates and the general stability, a metric of acceptable scope and risk. The more you achieve, the greater capacity we can accommodate, the more the initiative can do for you. Simplest explanation? The more you do, the more room we have to grow. All right, Brecca. Where do I start? The interface is active and will respond only to a Pathfinder. 
It's ready for your first selection. You may begin shaping the initiative at your leisure. rookies with your gut, not some... That's the console for our strike teams. What are they? Assault and extraction squads. When we need the best, I have Apex, combat experts who've signed up to defend us. Since you have a front row view of the cluster, I can give you authority to dispatch them. I'll deploy your people carefully, Kandros. Appreciate that, Ryder. But trust me, Apex can handle themselves. Authorization complete. Good luck out there. Supply request is in. Replacement armor's out. Top scientists have a few answers, and the dark energy anomaly known as the Scourge limits travel and communication in the cluster. This is HNS. Harry, what's happening with Scott? Well, we got him out of the pod. I don't want to get your hopes up, but Sam managed to, uh, find him, you might say. I don't follow. Well, he's still in a coma, but he also has an implant like yours, and Sam managed to access it. He's made contact. That's incredible. He's okay? Vitals are steady. But I'm letting Sam take the lead on this one. Though in a coma, Scott's mental processes remain intact. So is he okay? You can ask him yourself. A moment while I establish a link with his implant. Proceed. Scott? Can you hear me? Is that you, Sarah? I don't understand. What's happening? There was a problem with your stasis pod. You're in a coma, on the Hyperion. Do you understand? Wow, really? How are we talking? Sam linked into your implant, but they say you're stable. You're safe and sound in the med bay. Guess I'll take your word for it. I can't feel anything, but I still hear you. Is Dad okay? He's... Away on a mission right now. I know he's worried about you, though. Yeah, sure he is. I'm probably just lost luggage to him by now. <laughs> You're wrong. He cares. Well, at least he's barking orders at you and not me. Yeah. So, how's our new home? Does Habitat 7 live up to the hype? There's been some complications. Golden Worlds didn't exactly deliver. Well, that's rough. But we knew it could happen. That's why we brought Dad, right? Find us a place to live? He's on it. Damn, I need to be there helping you guys. 
You were never one to quit, little brother. A nap won't hold you back. Someone has to keep an eye on Dad. He doesn't mind snow. No way I'm living on some North Pole. I'm sure we can arrange for a desert. Tell Dad. What happened? The connection was only temporary. His condition remains stable. Sorry, it seemed better than nothing. I'll keep you posted, promise. Thanks, Harry. Offered to put me on the transfer list for now. wanted to check in with you. Anomaly on sensors. Anomaly detected. We're on a collision course with unknown objects. Make corrections. Sam, are you on this? Collision is imminent. All stop now! Catch it. 
times. A dozen. No, more. They've got us pinned against the Scourge. They are scanning us, Pathfinder. We'll scan them back! Where is the one who activated the remnant? Their DNA signature is there. Answer me. I'm Ryder, captain of the ship and Pathfinder with the initiative. You come with me. They've lost navigation. We're being steered into their ship. Just tell me what you want. I won't explain what you can't understand. Ryder, I have almost regained control of the ship. I need a few more seconds. I actually know a lot about the Remnant. We should compare notes. Enough! Your defiance is naive and reckless. This day marks the beginning of your greatness. Sam? I have plotted a potential course through the Scourge. Do it! Report! Enemy destroyed! Damage to aft sensors. Scourge got it? Yes. Get us out of here! It will be tight. Hello? Yes! <laughs> nice work, kid. Yeah, but who the hell was that guy? Ryder, we've got trouble down here. You need to find us a port now. Great. Where'd we end up, anyway? Sensors are damaged, but I think we're at the vault's coordinates. You think? Kill, give it what you can. We're setting down. We're being contacted. We have to land. Open a comm. Oh, Jagalesto. Oh, Jagalesto. We're visitors from another galaxy. Our intentions are peaceful. Pav Naleseto. They've sent us a nav point. Set us down. Look at that. It's beautiful. We need in that vault. Please, you're not really going out there on your own. We can't afford a repeat of last time. I'm the Pathfinder. First contact is on me. Most important thing ever. <laughs> no pressure. This is what it's all about, right? New worlds, new aliens. Wish me luck. Thank you. Hey, I'm Dogos. Mason Roa. I'm Paran Shai, Governor of Aya. We are the Angara. Hello. I'm a Pathfinder with the Initiative. Yes. 
You crossed dark space. I've heard of your journey. Joel, I have this in hand. Ephra saw this ship come in and sent me to find out what's going on. She's a human from another galaxy. A pathfinder. Hmm. Aya is hidden. Protected. What do you want? Our intentions are simple. He'd like to look in your vault and then we're out of here. You think that's simple? <laughs> you don't know anything. I'll inform Ephra. He'll be waiting for you in his office at the Resistance headquarters. I'll meet you there. I will accompany you through our city. Your crew will stay on your ship. Follow me. Follow closely. Do not try to explore the city or interact with anyone. Ephra's guards will use force if necessary. Understood. Is it okay to ask you questions? I suppose. If you're the governor, why do I need to see this Ephra? He's leader of the Resistance. What's that? They fight the Ket and protect us. I detect unusual levels of electrostatic energy in the Angara. This is insane. It belongs in a containment cell. We're going to shy in this. You don't know what you're doing. Am I that intimidating? You're an outsider who invaded our home. We know nothing about you. I'm not here to cause trouble. Then keep moving. None of the local flora register in my data files. We've encountered an undiscovered ecosystem. Your city is beautiful. Thank you. You're the first outsider to see it. I'm honored. What happens if Ephra doesn't like me? He won't. But you need to earn his trust. He's responsible for everyone's safety. I know what that's like. You're a leader. Trying to be. This is the Resistance Headquarters. Ephra is waiting inside. They are bullies, but this situation is now your fault. Don't get kicked out, Moran, not because of them. But you're telling me to be weak? No. I am telling you to be strong, through your cunning and heart. Okay? Hey. It really is the best one in the Resistance. I know. Our experience with the Ket makes us naturally distrustful of all aliens. We're nothing like them. In fact, maybe we can help each other out. We made that mistake when the Ket arrived. When the Archon came to Helios, he demolished our sovereign state. Took what he wanted, as if we were nothing. Now, the Ket mercilessly abduct Angara. Often, we never see our people again. Come this way. Ephra is waiting. Wait, the Ket kidnap you? Steal your people? And the Resistance fights them every day. With everything we can. Is it attrition? What are they after? You should save your questions for Ephra. Kadara be damned. I won't lose Vold. Ephra, this is one of the aliens from the Milky Way. A Pathfinder. Pathfinder. It's an aggressive move coming to Aya. It wasn't meant that way. I have an arc full of desperate people counting on me to find them a home before they starve. 
Of course, I feel for you and your people. So, Pathfinder, never mind how you even found us. Why are you here? On a hostile planet we call Eos, I explored an ancient structure, a vault, and brought it back online. It stabilized that planet's environment. Remnant. Recent intelligence supports that claim. If I'm right, there's a vault on Aya that's different. I need to look inside. You're right. There's a vault out there, but it was shut years ago and the entrance hidden. We... can't help you. The Moshai could. She's our most revered scientist and elder. She knows this vault. But now the Ket have her, and our rescue attempts failed. She's lost to us. And you. There must be another way. How can I convince you? Can I offer help? Arrogant. I don't know you, let alone trust you. Why would I want your help? Of course. Ephra. I feel... Ephra, what this alien says is extraordinary. The Moshai would want us to be brave and not let this chance pass. Joel, you talk too much. Let me assess this alien. I'll be your eyes. I know you can spare me. Go if you want, but when she tries to kill you, be prepared to strike first. I'm Jal Amadarov. I'll be your envoy through Angaran space. Thank you for trusting me. I don't. But I can always kill you in your sleep. Good to know. I've organized my analysis of Aya. Shall I relay it to the Nexus? Definitely. Be careful out there. You know I will. You really think the motion is alive? Ryder, ship's fixed up and ready to fly. Don't kill yourself, bring you home. No promises. I'm just saying, as far as first contact goes, at least that went better than the last one. Only slightly. Yeah, what happened? I wanted to look around. And now we have another mouth to feed, whatever he eats. Did the translators not work? They work. Come on, everyone. Can we just all please try to... Just listen up! Begging. Interesting strategy. Ryder, we followed our best lead here, and now we don't even have that. Jal has offered to do what he can to help us access the vault on Aya. How do we do that when we're leaving the planet it's on? That's... a fair point. Jal? Seriously? Settle down! Ryder's right. There's an Angara right here. Let's hear from the new guy. One day, about 80 years ago, the Archon and the Ket arrived in Helios, and the horror began. They declared war? Nothing so easy to define or fight. The Ket kidnap Angara. Their people disappear without a trace. What if they were us? Sure, I'll fight Ket all day long, but that's no plan. I agree. We need to get into that vault, Rider. Surprisingly, I'm with PB. Our own mission has to take priority. We have a plan. Kind of. Pretty solid. Joel? The resistance is stretched thin. I was tasked with traveling to two of our worlds at our briefing this morning. And you'll accompany me. Because? 
Because then, Ephra will see you as trustworthy. You want that. Jals told me about these two worlds, Havarl and Vold. Before the Scourge disaster, Vold was a thriving planet of billions. A shining center of technology and life. And now? It's the center of our ground war against the Ket. Our resistance base is fighting Ket Command for control of the planet. What about the other? Aval is the birthplace of the Angara. It's started to degrade, to become wild and dangerous. We suspect Remnant. Now we're talking. We've recently lost contact with our scientists. Still don't get how any of this helps us. I do. Help us, or rather help me, and I'll vouch for you, right? Because Jal wants inside Aya's vault, too. Pathfinder, it's your call. Wait, what? Kidding. Just... be ready. What have you gotten yourself into? Jal, give Kalo the nav points for both planets. Let's... do this. One hell of a trip this is turning out to be. Hostiles, ruined worlds, no home in sight. Everyone's getting toasty. There was a two hour argument yesterday and no one even knew how it started. That's not good. Luckily, I have the perfect way for people to unwind. Movie night. Taking a breather for a good movie? I could get behind that. Best part is, it doesn't need to be good. You still get mileage out of the bad ones. It's worth it to jumpstart everyone's pioneer spirit and all that. The Tempest database is pretty dry. Could you download a movie library from Nexus Ops to see what I've got to work with? Five time. Thanks. Everyone will appreciate it. Pathfinder. Hey, I was wondering, could you put your stamp on a project? It's for me and Jarl to work on. Call it diplomacy if you have to put it in a budget bucket. Greenlight that research and it's all good. What's your read on the people we're working with? The squad and crew? They're all fine. You must have opinions. Your opinion's more important. What do you think of your people? We're all struggling with a job that just landed in our laps. It's a blur sometimes. I bet Lexi's flagging all kinds of psych warnings. Up to us to figure it out. That's why this is our ship. So we own it. Want to make it work. We'll talk later. I know it.
Gaia has so much biodiversity and the waterfalls. Just like Sir Kesh. We might have a problem. I was running some numbers, mass balances and such. The Tempest is carrying about 70 kilos of extra mass. I think something's aboard that doesn't belong. Is it a problem that we're carrying extra mass? Not mechanically, but, but something heavy and unexplained? That's not good. Our internal sensors aren't getting anything, but they're not as powerful as a Pathfinder's scanner. Can you take a look? All right, I'll look around the ship and see what I can find. Pathfinder. I should get back to things. Sounds good. Anomaly detected. up something. was lost to space during repairs on the Nexus Hall. The victim's name has been withheld until next of kin in the Milky Way is notified. This is HNS. So, okay. Once I hit the colony, this set should be good for protection. If we get attacked by Ket, It'll work against lighter weapons fire, but heavy grade weapons? An expedition. Not make them hear. Make them know. Make them lead or make them go. I know. This isn't what I signed up for either. Hey, Pathfinder. You're with the militia, right? What's going on in there? A crowd of people in hydroponics and they won't leave. They're disrupting operations, might get nasty. Can you talk to them? Hey, Plan what's going on? Chrome. That's your new galaxy. Making speeches about some fresh start while your kids stay frozen. And it's all thanks to your Pathfinder. Excuse me? We've waited months for our families to come out of stasis. They should have gone to your outpost. 
But since you think research is so important, military personnel got bumped down the list. Like my clan, brothers. All the reassignments mean they're in ten different colony blocks now. And my mother just got caught in the middle. I founded the outpost. I didn't decide who would stay in stasis. You don't care that you've torn families apart? That's not what I said. Maybe you could still make this right. I just want Mom out of stasis. That's all anyone here wants. You do stasis revivals. You can tell our leaders you're opening those pods. Today. I authorize whole colony blocks or a few emergency revivals. I can't wake dozens of random people. We don't care whose finger pushes the button. If you can't, our leaders can. And if you tell them, they will. This is a big issue. Bigger than just my say-so. Bullshit. You're the hero right now. They'll do anything you say. We tried petitioning Addison. She ignored us. Screw her! Start with Kandros. He sent those ten soldiers over there. Maybe he'll take us seriously. Free our families! Any word? Pathfinder, are we going to Vold or Havarl? Should have seen it. Perfect drift. I got a copy of the Nexus's movie library. Thanks. I'll look through it. It's probably all agricultural learning vids, but there might be something good. I'll keep you posted. Just waiting on that armor requisition slash project. No pressure. We'll talk later. I know it. So, Jal. So? We haven't had a chance to talk alone. You comfortable in here? I took it. It feels strange to stay with the others. They are... you are... Aliens. And you're alien to us, so there, we have something in common. Uh, we can look at it as a place to start. Got it. Perhaps then, if we're all aliens, it's about what kind of alien we are. You had no idea about us, but you signed up to help us anyway. Perhaps it had nothing to do with you. Care to elaborate? I do not. How do you know Moshe Sefa? She's our greatest mind on the Remnant. I was his student. You studied the Remnant too? <laughs> A little. I was terrible. I quit. Or she threw me out. One of those. We're still very close. So, is that your rifle? It is now. It's Ket. With my own modifications. I like to tinker, to get my hands on something and take it apart. That's a skill I know we can use. But I have one request. Please don't take apart my ship. <laughs> You're right. I signed up. Uh, volunteered for this. It's uh, exciting. There's something unique about you. Uneasy. 
raw, but somehow profound. Base value? That sounds like a compliment. A nice one. It is. Angara feel deeply. We have <laughs> more trouble hiding our emotions than showing them. I should get back to my work. When we have downtime, I'd love to watch you work. Sure. I could show everyone. Um, no. Just us. So we can get to know each other better, or just share a hobby. Oh. Mm. Of course. Good. Good. Yes? What's your story, Joel? Tell me about yourself. Why? Well, why wouldn't you? You hiding something? Maybe. That would only make sense. I was born on Earth, third planet of the Soul System in the Milky Way. Hmm. That's interesting. Thank you. That's enough. Until we've established a better trust with each other. Again. I'll lend you 30 if you pay me back by tomorrow. Done. Thank you, Suvi. Someday I'll find out why you're always strapped for credits. Anomaly on sensors. Anomaly detected. Mineral deposit. I'm picking up something.
changing the nav point for Darpalev. That's where the Moshe's team should be. It used to be an Angaran town. There'll be landing pads and good sightlines for a safe approach. Anomaly on the sensors. Something big, possibly hostile, taking evasive action. Wait, I don't think it's... Something you don't see back home. Bringing us in. Maybe there are golden worlds out here after all. There's a vault here and it's working. I wonder why it didn't show up on the map in Eos. I don't know about... This is them. The ones from the other galaxy. Yes. Ryder, Kiran Dals, lead scientist at Darpanev. I just have to say, Havarl is beautiful. The planet's beauty is the least of my current concerns. Where's the rest of the team? Ryder has experience with Remnant. We might be able to help their investigations. You haven't heard? While the team was exploring the monolith, something went terribly wrong. They were caught in some kind of remnant stasis field, frozen in place, unresponsive. I know how to work remnant tech. I can help you. Ryder has seen a vault and apparently reset it. Somehow. Ocean of fish, one will have gems in its mouth. But if you think the alien can help, I'll set skepticism aside. The monolith is not far from here. See what you can do, but be careful. We don't know what triggered the stasis and it may happen again. Emergency support for cat attacks. All of them. What? Is everything all right? You seem distressed. Oh, uh, would you like a reward for that astute observation? <sighs> You're that alien visitor that came to Aya asking about our vault. You've heard of me. Who hasn't? When strange new species turn up, reports spread fast. After the cat, can't be too careful. Luge Anson, historian with the repository of history, Aya. Listen, if there's nothing you need, could you go away? I'm busy trying to get transport off this cursed planet. Why did you come here from Aya? Kieran's team found some remnant relics while digging around the old ruins. I was sent to collect them for the repository. It shouldn't have taken more than a day. But things never go according to schedule, do they? You mentioned remnant ruins. Are there lots of remnant here? Yes. If you've been out in the jungle, you might have seen some of it. We think the ruins were part of a vast remnant complex. 
We've seen evidence of hallways that wound through the area, both above and below the ground. Generations ago, our people took shelter in what we found here. That's how Palev was established. Were there no hostile remnant machines? None, according to the histories. We found artifacts, of course. Bits of things that we could study. But they say it was like moving into an empty home. You don't seem to like Havarl very much. Havarl's other regions suit me just fine. But here... Oh no. I don't do well in this fierce wilderness. <clears throat> you think these shelters keep you safe? They don't. Woke up this morning and found a thorny vine wormed its way into my bunk. I'm stranded here because a branch pierced my shuttle's power core. I won't bother you further. Very well. Watch out for plants while you're out there. Vicious things. I'm gonna guess those mushrooms aren't edible. Let's be careful around the native flora, okay, everyone? Glow in the dark fungus. School age Liam would have been so excited. in the stasis field, exactly where Kieran said they would be. I think we need more glyphs. Should be enough glyphs. Interface failed, Pathfinder. It appears that was incorrect. Reading of the monitors and... Scat! Scatting stars! 
What? Who are you? How did... Pathfinder Rider with the Andromeda Initiative. I'm... from another galaxy. Take a moment. Find your bearings. More aliens appearing out of nowhere. What's going on? The remnant tech around here had you frozen in some kind of stasis. I don't know who you are. Just stay back. I don't think he remembers being frozen. Pack your equipment. We're leaving. And let Pelev that there's an alien presence by the monolith. That went well. What's your status, Ryder? Did you figure out what happened to the research team? We deactivated the stasis field. They're safe and making their way back. That's good news. You should come too. Kiran looks like she wants to talk to you. Cause that fire, but let's be careful. You don't feel any different? Any news of the motion? I don't think so. I'm afraid not, what? Kieran. Do you? What do you mean, grey spiky aliens? Cat? No. These were different. We were doing a survey of the area and saw them. Before the freeze. You mean Turians? You saw Turians? Why don't you and Torvar talk about that later? Right now, I want to thank you for saving my team. You weren't lying. Kieran told us everything. She even had pictures. I apologize for the indifferent welcome you received from me earlier. Don't worry about it. You had no reason to trust me. The last aliens you met were Ket. Ryder, what you have done here, your remnant understanding and your Sam should convince Ephra you're an asset. We should speak to him as soon as we can. Perhaps on the Tempest? Kieran, I've been thinking, if Ryder can use remnant, couldn't we fix the monoliths? Stop Haval's decline. Haval's decline? This will take time to explain. We can discuss it further when you have time. And don't forget to talk to Torvar about those. What did you call them? Turians? You were saying something about the planet being in decline? It doesn't look like it, but Haval is sick. It started here, uncontrolled mutations in organic life, killing some, turning others into poison. We're starting to see the same elsewhere. The planet's ecosystem is crumbling, slowly but surely. It's the monoliths. There are only two of them when there should be three. So I go to the third monolith, turn it on, reset the vault, and voila! That is just the thing, Pathfinder Rider. There is no third monolith. It's lost. How do you lose an entire monolith? It could be destroyed, for all we know. We've never tried asking the sages. There could be something in their oral history. Stars, those superstitious hermits don't care about modern Angara. You know that. You saw the projections for the planet's survival. What do we have to lose? Sages, 
Oral histories? On Mithrada. That old remnant edifice over there. They trace their families back to a time just after the Scourge. They believe isolation will maintain the purity of the histories by preventing contamination by modern thought. Basic sense. They probably don't even understand or care that Havaral's dying. If asking your stages doesn't work, we'll be back here. So, what's the harm in it? The trek up Mithrather's teeming with Remnant. Most of us don't attempt it, but maybe you could do it. Follow the Remnant River, and keep your head. I'd hate to hear something terrible happened in pursuit of some ancient legend. Yours, Pathfinder. Jal says Ephra is waiting for your call, Pathfinder. Pathfinder, you have new email. Trade his swear words. Really? That's what you asked him about? A completely different tech base and you start there. Just waiting on that armor requisition slash project. No pressure. We'll talk later. I know it. Pathfinder, you have pending vid calls. Commander? Pathfinder, Joel's been keeping me updated on your adventures, your good deeds on our behalf. I meant them. I want you to know you can trust me. You went out of your way to free that side sting. A selfless act. But your true agenda is clear. To explore Aya's vault. Jarl says you want to help find the Moshai. Why should I let you? I'd like this to be the beginning of a strong relationship. Keep your promises and little by little our bond might grow. We've managed to trace the Moshai to a special camp facility on Vold. Why special? These facilities are protected by a dynamic shield tech we haven't been able to crack. We're close, but its ability to adapt outstrips the speed of our current processors. Pathfinder, adding my processor to their program would no doubt make the difference. Ephra, I can help. Respectfully, this time you need my help. Respectfully, the Angara don't need anything from you. We take care of our own. What I meant was, let our scientists help with your program. Let my team join your effort. Hmm. <sighs> 
Let's up the chance for success. I'm offering. You should accept. Very well. I'm not stupid, and I love the Moshai. You're welcome on the mission. Thank you. The team will meet you at our base on Vold. They'll take you to the Get facility. Stay strong and clear. Goodbye. Jal said he wanted to see you. So, you've gained Ephra's trust. No easy feat. Yeah, but at a price. Mm. You mean the Rokar? <laughs> Don't take it personally. They hate all aliens. Ephra made it seem like you had experience with them. I know their leader, Aksul. We studied together under the Moshai, <laughs> but unlike me, he was a good student. The best, actually. Then he knows about Remnant? He did. <sighs> it's a long story. Give me the short version. Aksul was captured by the Ket. He spent a year in a forced labor camp before he managed to escape. I can't imagine what he must have gone through. He has scars that would give you an idea. When Axul returned, he no longer cared about the Remnant, or anything, except destroying the Ket. Why not join the Resistance? Axul's not the type to follow orders. And I think he was bitter we weren't able to rescue him. So he formed the Rokar. We didn't give them much thought. But since your people arrived, his cause has grown. I convinced Ephra I'm not a threat. Maybe I can do the same with Axul. <laughs> I admire your courage. But Axul's dangerous. And he lacks Ephra's pragmatism. He'll make you want to kill him. I have to try. If Helios is to be your home... <sighs> I guess you'll have to deal with the Rokar one way or another. There's a recluse on Havarol, who escaped with Axul from the Ket. Her name is Tholdir. She might know how to contact him. I'll send you the nerve point. Take on the Angara, old man. Strong. Everything here looks Honorable normal. No survivors. stowaways, no extra mass. It's been a while since I encountered a new friendly species. Last no extra mass in the years. bathroom. Phew. Oh, yeah. 70 kilos you is a lot to flush away. Them, didn't you? If I recall, my exact words were they're bold from being so squishy, do they know they're mostly water? Harsh. Don't let Ryder hear you.
Got it. Suvi, that extra mass is behind the storage room bulkhead. Behind it? It looks like a construction mech welded right into the hull. Scanning the parts has activated an audio log. I think I know what that's about, Ryder. Come up to the bridge. Parts you found welded in the storage room. I recognize them. From where? They belong to the ship's lead designer, Lucille Diawara. She broke her back during construction. But Lucille wouldn't abandon her ship. She converted a construction mech into a rig she could wear. She must have welded it into the hull. Her artist's signature. Not even a broken back could stop her dream. Sam, didn't you find an audio log with Lucille's rig? C can you play it? Uh, Sam found my construction gear then. Well done. One of you Pathfinders got the Tempest. Mason Barrow, Zevin Reka, Matriarch Ishara, Alec Ryder. You were the best of us. Dad's gone. Makes you wonder how many other Pathfinders made it. We'll find out. It's what you do. Take care of my ship and each other. Whatever is in Andromeda, you're the Milky Way to them. We are such stuff as dreams are made on, and our little life is rounded with a sleep. I never thought I'd hear Lucille's voice again. She really cared about the Pathfinders. Enough to give them her rig. For luck. It's part of initiative history. It should go to the Nexus for everyone to see. And maybe help someone else. I'll see to it, Ryder. Thanks. Now let's go make her proud. Entering atmosphere, LZ in sight. forward station deployment. Be more comfortable if Jal was with us. Cat! What are they doing here? Locked. Overrided. 
come any closer. Don't touch me. You need medical attention. <laughs> it's too late for that. I made sure of it. You did this to yourself? The cat. I can't go back. I won't. Oh. Don't push yourself. You'll make it worse. I've never met a human before. You're not like he described. You mean Axul? He saved me. Gave me a chance to live. And die on my own terms. I need to find him. I wanted to see him. One more. Hope she finds peace. Even in the end, she was devoted to him. Better update Jal. Jal, a cat raiding party attacked Thaldir. She took her own life instead of being captured. I'm sorry. I'm the cat. The only other person who might be able to reach Aksul is the Moshai. Another reason to rescue her. Stuff like this is that makes everything worthwhile. Stay alert. We don't know what's down there. 
Oh, that's a long way to fall. been used, but not recently. I see tracks. Give this a try. to a great height to speak to some wise old hermits. It's like we're in a vid or something. If they hand us a magical artifact, I'm going to eat my helmet. 
Gonna hold you to that, Costa. What, like it's hard? Even we have trouble understanding Raymond Tech. Only a handful here can operate our own gates. It doesn't matter. You must leave. We do not entertain guests here. Havarl's in decline. If you tell me about the lost monolith, I can help fix it. Reset the vault. It's lost. The memories of its location haven't been reclaimed. On Mithrava, we have accepted Haval's eventual ruin. You're just giving up on your planet? Isn't this your birthplace? Don't you want to save it? A chasm separates want from can. What you ask, no one can give. The memory of the monolith resides within a thread that has slipped from our grasp. I'm not sure I follow. Reincarnation. The soul that's returned time and again. An unbroken thread. There was one, long ago, who had knowledge of the third monolith. Zorai, a champion of the Angara from before the Scourge. Zorai's soul has returned and could be made to remember what it knew. But we have no contact with it. So you're saying there's some way we can make people remember their past lives? Souls retain within families. An object heirloom tied closely to that bloodline could cause memories to resurface. But it's not guaranteed. It has been known to happen on rare occasions in the past, with other souls. The only known heirloom of Zarai's family rests in an area with active remnant. No one has survived the journey. But perhaps you, 
Zorai Sol was reborn in Tavos, who is now a rocker. He recently returned to Haval on a mission. I'll look into this. What have we got to lose anyway? I will send you the relevant coordinates. We considered Haval a lost cause. But perhaps now, there is hope. You have questions? You mentioned an heirloom, an object you think will bring Zorai's memories back? Souls return within families. Sometimes the memories of the past can be recalled by an object meaningful to that family. We do not understand why or how this happens, and it has only happened on rare occasions. In all cases, the heirloom was ancient. Old Ankara tech from before the Scourge. Tell me more about your belief in reincarnation. The soul grows through many lifetimes. By seeing through different eyes, it gains wisdom. How do you grow if you don't remember? The growth of the soul is not like the growth of the mind. Memories are not required for the soul to develop. Some even argue that old memories are an unwelcome distraction. A person may become fixated on what was, and their soul consequently stagnates. Tell me more about Zorai. The histories describe him as both scholar and soldier. He traveled the stars and gained knowledge from far off places. There are even accounts of him having knowledge of the remnant builders and their machines. And the third monolith? Our legends say that Zorai sought out the monoliths after the Scourge came. He died. And it is unclear if he accomplished what he set out to do. I'll go. Thank you for speaking to me. Of course. As death nears, it's harder to face the possibility that I might never see Amara again. Sorry to interrupt, but what's happened? Ahmad is ill. He hasn't got much time left. Ahmad, perhaps this stranger can help. If they've been to Palev, maybe they've seen something. I came from Palev, actually. The little research station. Research station? It used to be a large settlement. Adar. Amara moved them when she left Mithrava. Her love was overtaken by the jungle, remember? A few cycles ago, everyone left. Oh, yes. I, I remember now. But that means Amara's gone. There might still be a way to track her down. All Dara keep records, don't they? If there was an organized evacuation, they would have documented the process. And the records would stake where she went. Uh, Pala, that's genius. Where would they keep those records? Likely some kind of administrative building. If it still stands, and the machines still work, it's a slim hope. I don't want to impose, stranger, but I would welcome any news of my sister.
Another eidetic trigger, Sam? One of your father's memories is now accessible. Return to Samnode on the Hyperion to investigate further. to talk with you. How are you able to use the remnant? With an artificial intelligence that helps with analysis and translation. So that's the trick. I wouldn't have guessed. Angara, who live close to remnant technology, sometimes learn how to use specific tech. It requires intense concentration, and even if we can make it work, we've never understood how it works. So some of you can use remnant tech, but you don't know how it works? Not all remnant tech, no. Like I said, specific pieces. Take Mithrava, for example. Some of us can operate the security that protects the Sanctuary. The knowledge was passed down through generations. In my case, it took a year to learn how to open a simple door. The difference between knowing you can eat a tree's fruit and understanding why that tree bears fruit. I should be going. Suit yourself.
Pathfinder, we are approaching the location provided by Esmus. Stay sharp, everybody. There's supposed to be a remnant crawling all over this place. special object that's meant to jog someone's past life memories. Is this really happening? Genetic memory, maybe? Doesn't their reincarnation only happen within families? Nice work. Some kind of glove. 
gauntlet. Smashed, though. Inside, studded with contacts. Could have been used for some kind of input. Sure. Now let's make someone touch it.
Two of them! Here they come! Activating automated forward station deployment. charge and now you crown that achievement by killing me too does that please you savage i had to defend myself your men didn't stop to let me speak shooting first has saved us from countless encounters with ket i think it's pretty obvious i'm not ket you're an alien you cannot be trusted tell me why you come here so i know why i've died really can we take the drama down a notch Two notches. I don't even have a gun up. I have an artifact or heirloom or something. I'm going to set it down, and I need you to take hold of it. What? And? Ryder, I don't think it's working. Wait. There are things like this in the museum on Aya. Ancient Angaran tech. This fits over a hand. Contacts on the inside for my electric control of... <gasps> what did you do to me? The third monolith. Do you know where it is? I... Uh, yes. Yes. But I don't understand how. 
I need you to take me there. Please. If you do this, we can save Havarl. Together. You... You're an alien. I can't trust... Then let me try to earn your trust. Please. Deep beneath the surface, but... But not far. Meet me here. These coordinates. I will guide you the rest of the way. Just... Let me compose myself first. One of these buildings contains records of Palev's evacuation. We could figure out where Mert's sister went. Let's take a look. Activating automated forward station deployment. close to the others and no one ever found it. The rest of the remnant in the area may have prevented scans from detecting it. There were remnant machines here. Zorai was able to make them stop. How did he learn to use remnant tech? It's not like there's a manual. Zorai watched the watchers. That's all I'm getting. I'm not sure what it means. 
The others slept, but Zorai, but I, stayed awake, unmoving, but seeing, learning. Sounds like the stasis field around the first monolith. Maybe Zorai was able to shake off the effects. Maybe that changed him. I remember. Builder machines exhaust me. Mind and body must be engaged wholly or the attempt fails. I can't stop. Without the monoliths, the vault fails. Without the vault, the planet dies. I'm close. Just one more. The sages got it wrong. Zorai was a woman. That... that was a voice. M my voice. May I have this, Pathfinder? It's yours. It's always been yours. I could provide analysis via the scanner, Pathfinder. Organic matter. Ancient. Reads as Angara. It's Zorai. She died here before she could get to the third monolith. This... this was me. I would like to spend some time here. But not now. The third monolith can't be far. Come on. This way? Yes. This is all feeling familiar. At least I think it is. How far down does that go? Done. You finished what Zorai could not so long ago. I'm sorry, Tavos. No. There's nothing to be sorry about. She didn't complete what she set out to do, but she didn't fail. The two monoliths she reactivated kept her vow going. Without them, the planet would have died. Go on to the vault, Pathfinder. I think I'll stay here a moment. I have a lot to think about. Another memory trigger. One of your father's memories is now accessible. Return to Samnode on the Hyperion to investigate further.
remnant vault. Let's get this place up and running. Well, we turned the power on. You'll need to locate the console to activate the purification field off my deck. Nearby, Pathfinder. So much better when they're on our side. Several interface connections converge here. I will highlight the ones you need. There must be a trick to this. Let's give it a try. field. You may want to sweep the area. Boy, this place tries to kill us, you mean. Okay, get ready to run. Here I come! Go, go! They're not happy with us.
An alien, able to use remnants. Coming to you. Never thought I'd see no such memories. a thing. What? My aunt had a remnant artifact she learned to open and close. Pathfinder Rider, you have done something remarkable here today. Succeeded where Zorai failed. Esmos, what are you doing down here? Renewing old bonds. Talking to you was enlightening. I saw an alien working for us when we had given up. We have isolated ourselves for too long. Perhaps there is a balance we can find. We all need to find balance, I think. Tavos, I wasn't expecting to see you, but I'm pleasantly surprised. I've learned a lot in a short time. The Rokar wants simple solutions, but nothing is ever simple or certain, is it? I wish those that were killed could have realized this. But after everything I've seen, I have to hope that they aren't lost forever. This curious memory transfer. Reincarnation. Whatever it might be, I aim to devote resources to studying it. Maybe one day we'll find the truth buried deep within our superstitions. What do your projections say? Is Havaral going to be safe? We've already seen improvements. They're small, but statistically significant. In time, the planet will heal. There is some space here at Dar Pelev, and we'll need extra hands to monitor Havaral's situation. Will you extend an invitation to your people? We'd welcome anyone who can help. I'll pass it along. Then I'll leave you. I have some numbers to analyze. Can you believe it? For the first time in years, they excite me. Are you sure you don't want me to come with you? I don't think it's wise for you to be in Angaran territory without an Angaran escort. I know Haval. That, and you're already in danger of being shot on sight by Rokar. He's got a point. I'll give it more thought and let you know if I change my mind. Thank you. Tell me more about Havaral. Our histories point to Havaral being the homeworld of the Angara. We built a civilization here, and then spread throughout the cluster. Then the Scourge came and destroyed it all. It took time, but we recovered. Did you know about Havaral's decline? Most Angara say that ruin is a long way off. There are Dara on the other side of the planet, where it's still safe to live. But maybe not for much longer. You said something about Angaran fanatics here? Yes. Aval is home to the Rokar. They are... hardliners. The Ket invasion has made them hostile to all aliens. Be prepared to defend yourself. I have to go. We'll speak again later. Of course. I'll be here. We 
Briefing of Arl. Bridge is yours, Pathfinder. Ryder, could we chat? Anomaly on sensors. Sam's been compiling our star charts. The other pilots on the Nexus will have plenty of new trails to follow. You can drop the charts off the next time we're there. Funny. A few months ago, that station was like a war zone. Flying was my only way to escape the chaos. Now it's become a haven, just as it was meant to be. Every good space station needs a big lake. Maybe some fountains? Indeed. Even non-amphibians need a little water. Regardless, the worst threat to the whole initiative is still that monstrosity. You mean the Scourge? I still see it crippling the Nexus in my memories. I had to train other pilots in hazardous flight techniques just to look for food and water. It's a cage that eats good ships and good people. Helios won't be home so long as it's a threat. The Angara live with it, and so can we. And if every one of our colonists was an ace pilot, I wouldn't be worried. If we could... somehow neutralize it, or if our ships had defenses against it. Still, that's what we do, isn't it? Find a way where there is none. Just see the Nexus for proof of that. Picking up something. Anomaly detected. Anomaly detected. Deploying probe. Detecting what's left of a ship. Anomaly on sensors. Okay, bundle up, people. I'll stay on my nice warm ship. Take her down, Callow. We designated this planet Habitat 6. Original readings suggest that it had a breathable, nitrogen-rich atmosphere and oceans of H2O. I take it that's no longer the case. All H2O in Habitat 6, vold to the Angarai, is ice. And those oceans? Frozen over completely. There goes the dream of a seaside property. That's a pretty intense blizzard. LZ is on the windward side of the mountain. Conditions are bad. I'm tracking gale force squalls. We're good. We're good. You sure? Want us to get out and push? 
very funny, Ryder. Sylvie wasn't kidding about the cold. Damn, this place is well hidden. Where are we meeting the resistance team? Sent you the nav point. Good luck, Pathfinder. Almost at the base now. Make sure you talk to Commander Anyek when you arrive. to breach the facility with you. Hopefully rescue Moshai Sefa. I'm your pilot. The Ket facility is on the other side of the planet. Ready to head out? No time to waste. You can fill me in on the shuttle. Okay. Everybody in. So, no one has ever seen the inside of one of these places. Really? None who lived to tell. Prisoners who go in are never seen again. They have disappeared. That's grim. No one's escaped? Sure, we've liberated cat work camps, but never these facilities. We lost so many fighters trying. The price was too high. I like to believe that the cat take important Angara from here to their home cluster. What? As slaves? I guess. Death is better. Jal, we can't just give in to blanket despair. We gotta have hope. It's why they fight. It's why we're here. It's why we're excited to be part of this mission. We're here. And let's be quick, this storm's getting worse. Once we're through the shield, you take point, we'll look for Moshe Sefa. Let's just try to stay safe, okay? But Pathfinder, no one joins the Resistance to stay safe. Good luck. Radio me when you're ready to go. Do we even know what kind of force we can expect? Not a clue. Stay close. Don't draw attention until we have to. They won't expect us to disable that shield. Might give us an edge. Our intel says there's a system node to hack on an interface point near here. Somewhere. Scale's our top cat hacker.
Run and guard and shield disable program. Adding my process accelerator. Stand by. Continue to stand by. Please don't embarrass me in front of our new friends. I have created a small hole in the shield. Look, it worked. Oh, oh. Celebrate when we're out. Exactly. Come on, team. Focus. Cat creatures incoming. My favorite. Sam, by the time we leave, I want to know everything about this place. Yes, Pathfinder. All right, let's go. Owen, Skeld, you're on me. Away into the heart of this place. On it! Huddle up. If we were a surprise, I doubt we're one anymore. You have the best chance of finding Moshe Sefer. We'll attack head on and provide a distraction. Good plan. This is going to be fun. This is the main entrance. We'll go this way. Kick in the front door. Stay in radio contact. And good luck. Cause enough trouble to keep the cat occupied? Count on it. Pathfinder, it seems the program I used to breach the shield could overload it and destroy this facility. However, the pulse would be lethal to Angaran physiology. That's not ideal. Until we're clear. Whoa. Sam, what is this? A decontamination protocol. The chamber is sealed until the cycle runs its course. So, we're trapped. I hate that. Noted. Break the window? No, the seal is invulnerable. Decontamination? For what? Good question. Not sure I want to know. Germaphobes? Pathfinder, come in. How's it going? We're undetected, but from where we're hiding, we can see some of our people. We seem to be in a kid only area. No more shy yet. Understood. We'll just discuss one next bit. We'll be in touch. Welcome. Step forward. 
I am humbled before you. You who are the Chosen. Chosen by the Archon. Chosen to be exalted. Chosen to be exalted. What? Why aren't they resisting? That's some crazy cult shit down there. Those Angara look like they're in some sort of trance. I know the Moshai. She's not down there. But maybe in one of those pods. It's as good a lead as any. You wanted a distraction? We just set our plan on fire. Then proceed immediately and bring it to me. Final exaltation? What's final? What are they doing? We have to save all the Angara. We came here for the Moshai. She's our first priority. Your priority. My ship, my team, my priorities. Chosen? Chosen for what exactly? Jal, could they actually want this? No, of course not. I don't know what's going on either. Whatever it is, we need to get the Moshai out of it. Watch your flank! How did they get in? Protect the Chosen! You motherless! The Resistance couldn't wait to get started. Come in, Pathfinder. Go ahead. We contacted Commander Dozeal. More fighters are on their way. Send scientists to prepare the stickers. Put together all the intel. We'll do. No, our objective is still the Moshai. Of course. But we can't waste this opportunity. We've got a visual on the pod. Above us! They go behind that wall. Must be another way. Could ask these guys for directions. Who's in? Cora? I'm feeling shoot first, ask later. Pathfinder, come in. You holding up? So far, we're beyond the main chamber now and continuing our infiltration. This place is crazy. What are you seeing? It's like a... Church? So strange. We found a room of prisoners who were entranced or something. Couldn't convince them to evacuate. Maintenance tunnel. Should take us the right way. We're getting close. I feel it. That also is a similar. How many pods? All this time. All those prisoners. We can try scanning. And fast. Angaran female. Healthy. 176 centimeters. Never given birth. Angaran male. Estimate 35. 191 centimeters. Scar tissue. Lower right abdomen. Not the Moshai. Haven't found anyone yet with her vitals. Ryder. If you find a console, I will try to access it. Terminal. Let's see what you've got hiding in here. Sam? Searching. The Chosen are locked by genetic information. Hurry, please. I am working at top velocity with an alien language and an alien technology, checking against Angaran databases. The Moshai was here, but her pod was pulled out of line moments ago. Pulled out to where? Pods travel from here to rooms that encircle this core. Right then, let's go.
Pathfinder, come in. Go ahead. Our reinforcements are arriving. We're doubling back to rendezvous. We have a lead on the Moshai. Decontamination protocol? Get down! Sam, can you do anything about this yet? Working on it. all that that is not okay not okay I've seen some serious crap but this is straight-up evil Joel I'll keep scanning for her. We'd better find her fast. They are us. Yeah. How many have I killed? Not knowing. Right ahead, I did not know. How can I help? What do you need? That is kind. I don't know. Well, then let's start by finding the Moshai. If anyone can figure out what this means for the Angara, I'm guessing it's her. You are probably right. Ryder! Joel! I found her! Down here! Go! Go! Sam! Get me into that room! Initiation now! Initiation contamination bypass hack. <laughs> I was able to access the facility plans at the last terminal. A best guess would be the shuttle launch area above.
You will not take her! No, you will not take her! My power comes from the gift of the Archon! I will not yield! My own exhortation shields and protects me! You flawed ignorant! Gotcha. We're getting you out of here. No one has ever returned from behind Ket walls. I don't know the rules yet. Anyway, this place is on alert. We have to get out of here. Now. I'm not the only one here. They took the entire cell. Vitals are bad. The immune system's been decimated. <sighs> you will not take it. It is meant for the Archon himself. She's coming with us. Wait. I want to know why the Archon. Arrogant simpletons. This is a gift. Who are you to deny it? You turn them into monsters that fight their own people. These Chosen join with us to become great beyond your ability to understand. Like them. I was once wretched, and the exalted DNA of our great Archon entwines with mine. I stand on the shoulders of his greatness, as they do, as one day, you will. We didn't cross dark space to be made great. Pathfinder, I am tracking multiple inbound Ket cruisers. You will all be exalted. Sam, is there an off switch to this horror palace? I've accessed the EM field. I can overload at your command. We must get all our people out first. There's no time to open hundreds of pods, let alone help the Angara inside. Wait! Leave my sacred temple intact, and I will open the pods of the Chosen. Take them. Just leave this holy place standing. No. Even if I die here, this place must be destroyed. We can come back to destroy it. Let's free these here now. If your plan fails, the cat will simply fill this place again. With respect, our compatriots are also here. Our fighters, our scientists, our strength! All right. Release the Angara below. Enact emergency shutdown. Release all the Chosen. Jal, have the Resistance free as many as they can before the Ket arrive. I will. And thank you. I thank you too. I see you begin to understand the gift that the Ket bring to all Andromeda. Not likely. She deserved much worse. We have the Moshai. Heading to the roof for extraction. Come the cat. Not gonna let us go without a fight. I don't know how this is going to end. I will help. Come, stand near me. No, Osha. Save your strength. That's my decision to make. I'm moving forward. Follow me. No cat can stop us. Head to that platform. Yeah! Good idea! Better position! Pathfinder, come in. You have the most shy. Hecht, get our people out. As many as you can, before reinforcements arrive. I will, but I think we should destroy this place while we're here. Whoa! Heads up! Shuttle, we're overrun. Get down here! 
here or we're coming back in long bags. Sorry, I can't land. We're up to the edge of the roof. We'll figure it out from there. Saw will set our cause on fire. Yes. My broken heart can't even process it. Lexi, can you give us a minute? Sure thing. But go gentle. She's in a fragile state. Did she just call me frail? Fragile. <laughs> Jal says you're a pathfinder from the Milky Way. Do you feel up for a talk? Ah, so now you value what I have to say. I feel for you, but I don't regret my decision. Then your sympathy is empty. So, the facility, what's the purpose of all that? They call it exaltation. They believe that those they exalt are given a great gift. Gift? They snatch us, defile and shatter us. All the ones we love, I, I... I can't. It's a complex genetic construct, an interchange of traits that the Ket use to advance their species. So they steal genes, but why? Reproduction. Domination. Tyranny. Annihilation. Yes, and yet, the Archon didn't take me to his ship to transform me. I hung immobile, tormented, never sleeping, brought to him on a whim. He showed me Remnant tech and beat me when I wouldn't speak. Oh no. Remnant, of course. He's obsessed. Like you are. Yes, Jal told me. You rescued me hoping to get into Aya's vault. My people have traveled so far. We'll die without a place to settle. These remnant vaults may be the key. A key to help both our species prosper. I feel for your people in a way that you clearly do not for mine. But emotion must never get in the way of science. I'll take you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you, Moshe Sefa. I'm happy to answer any other questions for you, Pathfinder. Anytime. like pictures of the exaltation chamber. Yeah, the Ket are using some Angaran-made medical equipment. Could be a lead. I just want an edge on those Ket bastards. If they ever got their hands on Sid, I'd... Well, imagine if it was Scott. 
I don't know what I'd do. We're all that's left of our family. Same here. Sid was so little when our father left, and I was, well, her age now. I know what it's like to lose a parent. I've lost both now. Mom died before we left. Our father didn't die. Or maybe he did. We don't really know. He just didn't come home. He was involved with some bad things. Bad people. Eventually it caught up to him. There was nowhere to run. Not like a whole new galaxy. Is that why you came here? When you're young and stupid, you make bad decisions. Piss off the wrong people. That sort of thing never goes away. Not for you, not for the ones you care about. I don't want to not come home one day. Come on, you're strong, smart. It'll take a lot to keep you from coming home. Strong, smart, but maybe just lucky. Luck runs out on you. I won't. I have a good feeling about you, Ryder. I should get back to work. Talk to my people, see if they've heard anything. Chat later? You have AVP outstanding, Pathfinder. I can see it. The cat take other species' genes. Asari take other species' traits. PB, don't tell me we actually agree on something. Changed my mind. They're nothing alike. Hello. Settle down. If this isn't a good reason to get excited. What's up? You guys aren't fighting, are you? Why would I fight with my best friend? Best friend? Oh, Callow. Callow's very excited about a report I received from EOS. It's good news. The radiation levels are steadily dropping. Your outpost Prodromos is really going to make it. When do you want to head back? We could go, but we need to balance our priorities. Why? Just saying, if I created a thriving community in a brand new galaxy, I'd want to visit. Just wait till they put in the beach and the water slides. Now you're just playing with me. So, radiation levels are down. More to explore? I yes, but there's been a rise in cat activity as well. Figures that we're not the only ones to benefit from the planet's improvement. Might be nice to see how it's doing. Almost like a vacation. Almost. Maybe we'll head back at some point. Well, you're the boss. Just say the word. At least we managed to save the Moshai. I only wish we could have saved more. Joel? Thank you for checking. But I'm all right. Don't know if I would be. I have to be. How else do we go on? You know? I may seem tough, but I have a good shoulder. That's kind. You're kind. I really miss my family at times like these. 
Are you close to your family? You talk about family a lot. <laughs> really? I guess it's just part of our culture. Our families are large, and we share our parents with the community. We all have many mothers. My family's small. And are you close? I was. Am. My mom and dad are dead. My brother's in a medically induced coma. I'm kind of an orphan at the moment. I'm sorry. Yeah, well, this random collection of Tempest oddballs can feel like family sometimes. Yeah. I never really felt I had a purpose. But here, I do. What about the Resistance? My place in the Resistance is not what I'd like. But that kid on Aya looked up to you. Sure. But you are going to do something important, Ryder. I feel it. This is where I should be. I like having you around. Specifically you. Because of my skill and knowledge? Not really. Because you enjoy spending time with me as much as I do with you. You do? Yes. You're fascinating. And special. And strange. Oh, thanks. And I mean it. There's always more to say and to learn, isn't there? Can I ask you a few more questions? Of course. If I can answer them, I will. Do Angara plan their futures? Do you dream about what you want to accomplish? <laughs> you put plan and dream in the same question. Uh, yeah. Oh, I see. You meant to do that. Angara thirst for now. We don't strive to make the future better. We strive because the present is lacking. Can you tell me about your family? Uh, assuming you have one. Sit down. This will take time. Is someone bringing us snacks and drinks? Whoa, your family's that big? I have one true mother, Sahuna. And more than five additional mothers. And many, many, many siblings. <laughs> and cousins, all raised together. Our families constantly change and evolve. Relationships come and they go. My father is gone, taken, or killed by the cat. We never found his body. My dad died on our first mission here. I didn't know him as well as I could have, I guess. I think I was close to mine, yet maybe close has a different meaning for humans. Something to learn, I guess. Anything else you want to ask? Well, enough about that. I want to learn more about your species. What would you like to know? How long have you had electromagnetic capabilities? How did they evolve? No idea. Biology doesn't interest me, but I'm sure you can easily read up on it. That's disappointing. No biology at all? How do your eyeballs work? An internal lens focuses an image onto the retina where it becomes electrical impulses that are deciphered by the brain. You took my sarcasm as an invitation to show off. Pitiful. The Angara seem so open and free with their feelings. Are we? Hmm. We're certainly not ashamed of our feelings. We're taught that feelings and beliefs should live on the outside, where they can be dealt with, honestly and openly. Don't people get hurt? Of course. Then everyone deals with it. That's the point. The Angara seems so open. Ah. Don't pe- Of course. Then everyone- How many colonies do you have? On what planets? Since the Scourge, we've managed to survive on a small number of planets. What we know from before the Scourge is mostly oral history. 
We did have space flight, and the stories tell of five original colonies. Well, enough about that. I'll see you later, Jal. Stay strong and clear. There much to say about that facility on Vault. There will be. But maybe not right now. I get you, pal. Inane chatter about nothing coming up. Just waiting on that armor requisition slash project. No pressure. We'll talk later. I know it. Swelling has gone down significantly, and I seem to be able to talk normally again. Good. Keep me updated. And remember, cool food and liquid only. Nothing spicy. Thank you, Lexi. Is there something wrong? Did you hurt yourself? Oh, it's nothing. I'm just getting over some inflammation of the soft tissues of the mouth. It was dramatic, but ultimately non-threatening. I... What? Have you ever heard of the Lick test? Back before scanners were portable, Earth scientists would employ this test in the field. They used it to tell rocks from fossils and get a basic idea of their mineral composition. <laughs> you licked a rock, didn't you? <sighs> I was distracted and forgot it was a Helios rock. I do it unconsciously. When I was little, my father and I would go on expeditions. The Lick test was a huge part of it. He made science fun for me. Your mother was something of a scientist, wasn't she? She specialized in biotics research. Got her start in medicine. I read all about her research and your father's. AI and implants. They achieved so much in so little time. Sam is an astounding achievement. I left my parents back home. They told me they were proud of me. And then lived out their lives while I slept. If you think that means you're alone, you're wrong. Thank you. You saying that means the world to me. I'll take comfort in the people I've met here. And if you ever need me, I'm here for you too. The discovery of Aya was just what we needed, Ryder. The Angaran scientists have been so generous in sharing their wisdom. It, it's been amazing. And Garan expertise will be a tremendous help to the initiative. We were certainly hurting for it. I'm thankful the Angara were willing to risk working with us. I'm afraid not all of them are quite so friendly. Some give trust easily. From others, you have to earn it. I'm confident we'll get there. I should get back to things. Sounds good? Not really a holiday destination. I'm picking up something.
Did you hear the news from Eos? Asari refugees showed up at the outpost. Only a few, but that's better than none. Bradley says there's an officer in charge, Hidaria. She could know where the Ark is. We'll head to Eos and see what she knows. Good. Rumor says Sarissa Theris was on the Asari Ark. Exactly who we need. Who's she? Probably the best commando strategist alive. Her biotic shields saved hundreds at the Battle of Kirkus. Apparently, Sarissa's acting as bodyguard to the Asari Pathfinder. She's probably got a plan out of this mess already. Well, someone's a fan. No, I... I just like... Look, we need someone with her experience, that's all. I'll take someone with that much experience. Another reason to find the Ark. When you're ready to look, we can catch Hidari at Prodromos. Wouldn't mind tagging along. Orbit is steady. Approaching the LZ. I'm reading a severe temperature drop. Temperatures back to normal. Incoming. Cat, coming this way! Quickly, before they find the resistance!
Pathfinder. I detect a cat camp ahead. Life support failure is imminent, Pathfinder. Old orbit is steady. below freezing and continue.
environmental temperatures are within acceptable limits. I'm reading a normal temperature range, Pathfinder. Life support is back online. Got a message. Good to see you again, Commander Dozil. And you, Jal. You must be the Pathfinder who saved the Moshai. I'm Anyik Dozil, commander of this encampment. You're welcome here as an ally of the Angara. Thank you for allowing us into your base, Commander. Your actions display your soul's intentions. I hope you will join the fight against the Ket. We've held the Ket at bay, but have been unable to deal a decisive blow. The longer things drag on, the greater our disadvantage. That's why I came here. To help. If you want to know where you can make a difference, go to the post that overlooks the valley. Nothing happens on Vold without our lookouts knowing about it. Before you go, is there anything else I can help you with? How are you holding up against the Ket? It hasn't been easy. We've had our victories, but we're a small force. Too small. Didn't Ephra send recruits? Most of them are young, untrained. If we want to beat the Ket, we need medics, technicians, and skilled fighters. Then Ryder and I will help. We will? If the Commander needs recruits, we'll find them. Jal's right. We can find the people you need. I'd be happy to take anyone you send my way. You have my gratitude. Both of you. I've met Ephra. He's... interesting. He's never been good at first impressions. He can be stern, but he's exactly what the Resistance needs. Ephra took a scattered band of civilian fighters and molded them into an effective army. What success we've had against the Ket is entirely due to his leadership. Most people seem to really respect him. Because he would do anything for his people, he inspires the same in us. We may not always agree with Ephra, but we'd follow him to the end of the stars. That's it for now. I'll be here if you have any questions. Hold. Hostile will cloak their gimme. From this room, we, we keep track of our brothers and sisters in the field. Don't, like don't win a war without good organization. Feeling kind of honored we get to see all this. Rylas? That's me, yes. I'm Rylis. Wow. You really showed up. You said you had intel. I can't ignore that. I just didn't think you'd come yourself. Anyway, I should get to the point. Your raid on the Exaltation facility sent the Kets scrambling. They're trying to get their operations in order. Our scouts report increased Ket movement through certain areas of Vold. Not military, though. Science and research vessels. Doesn't matter if they're science cat, warrior cat, janitorial cat, they're all bad news. Some of us were concerned they might be planning more exultation, or putting more of our people through torturous study. We don't have the tech to break into their bases, but someone has to stop them. You're talking to the right person. We always help our friends and allies. I knew you'd help. I'll send the nav point immediately. Guilting me, Zeke. Whoa, didn't mean to sneak up on you. Squinting stars. It's the Pathfinder. We heard about how you punched the cat. Punched them right in the exaltation. <laughs> so amazing. Shut up, Beniska. You're embarrassing. You shut up. I'm being charming, right? The Angara have been wonderful to us including yourself, so thank you. See? 
We're building bonds here to seek. So, what's out there? Any tips? As a start, you could join our fight in Hajara, where those red lights are. I hear someone's looking for help. Or you could just go there and kill some cat. They're everywhere. Anything else you need to know? We've been stationed here forever, so we're experts. Those red lights, you said that's Hajara? Yes, Hajara Station, one of the Dar in the valley. It's a small community, mostly scientists. There's people there that might need help, if you haven't checked it out already. Why does anyone live out here? Why so surprised? We've adapted to this weather. Those lights are conspicuous. Don't the cat attack? We've adapted to that, too. The cat want to take us alive, so we fight to the death. It seems to deter them. What's that alien facility on that mountain over there? That's the Ket Command Center. We have constant eyes on it. What's its purpose? It controls Ket operations on the entire planet. There's always ships coming and going. I came face to face with the Prefect there. Meanest, motherless Visan I ever saw. Even the Ket seemed afraid. We don't have much intel on her, though. Do you know of any remnant sites or ruins? Uh, I think so. Actually, I don't know. Seek, do you ever read the dailies? No, you'll tell me if I need to know something. So, where is it? Tall lights, over on your right somewhere. I'll let you get back to your work. Take care, stay safe. You be safe too, Jala Madarov. As your sister recovered from her mission, she was brave. So brave. She is. Both recovered and brave. Thank you for asking. Tempest, we're going to need the Nomad. My position. Deploying forward station. Good luck, Ryder. Automated protocols activated. Deploying forward station. Extreme cold is detected, Pathfinder. Mining zones have been added to your nav system, Pathfinder. I'm reading a normal temperature range, Pathfinder. Okay, Sam, what's Volt got for us? Cat activity appears to be centered around this large central command post. According to Resistance Intelligence, the base coordinates all Cat military efforts on Vold. And taking it down will cripple their operations. In theory. However, given the trouble the Angara Resistance has had infiltrating the base, it will not be a simple task. I recommend a more cautious approach that starts with the investigation of smaller Cat installations. What about the Angara, the Resistance? What's their status? Resistance dispatches indicate there is someone in Hojara who needs help. We could visit Tekix, a larger and more established Angara Dar that is nearby. Sounds good. Thanks, Sam. Pathfinder, Vold's temperature range is fixed well below freezing, with pockets of even more severe conditions. This necessitates the use of the Nomad. I advise against prolonged exposure to the cold. Got it? Don't crash the car. Our scans have detected remnant monoliths which suggests the presence of a vault. And that means we might be able to melt this ice cube. All right, we've got our work cut out for us. Let's get going. Your people have plans to settle here? You seem easily affected by the cold. Uh... So, if we start an outpost here, would we all live in slow forts? Favorite planet? Havar. Because of family? Because of family. Why else? Jara is a research station, mostly focusing on Vold's geology. Let's see if someone here needs help. I hear the researchers here drill into the ice in order to study it. Someone around here probably knows what the that ice is for. Stop again. 
What's causing it? Reminds me of a snooty Probably bar in London that only served drinks over I'll fancy off-world ice. I saw your ship land earlier. Impressive vehicle. I was about to say the same to you. Is that thing Ket? Sure is. On our last dig, the Ket destroyed our land cruiser. So I decided to repurpose one of theirs. It's only fair. You stole from the Ket? You're my hero. From what I hear, you're doing a lot more than just stealing from them. Is using Ket machinery common out here? Only if we stumble on it, or steal it. Mostly we stay away from their stuff, in case it's a trap. They set traps? Sometimes they rig their machines to explode and lay them out for us. I'd say they're clever, but they learned it from us. What do you do here, besides jacking vehicles? I was a civil engineer on Aya. Now I'm a mechanic for the research equipment here. One minute you're designing an aqueduct, the next you're elbow deep in an ice drill. That's a big change. I wouldn't trade it for anything. It's tough out here, but... Every day is exciting. Besides, I can get on without me. The Jara Station needs me. Do you work with Remnant Tech? Not really. I can't activate it, so there's no point. Those tall structures with the lights are fascinating, though. I'd love to get inside one and tinker around. If you're interested, they're north of here. I'll get going. Stay warm. We can't Omnian just attack an entire Ket Ket's base. Stars. It's you. You're the one who saved the Moshai. We've all heard. Hitting the Ket where it counts has really helped our morale. Finding allies in the Angara has been a great boost for us. We are united by our struggle against the Ket. My grandmother used to say that the mingling of shed blood makes family as surely as birth. Want to kill more cat? I need someone to rescue my uncle Nilch. I'm not a fighter yet, or I go myself. If the cat move him from the labor camp, we'll lose him forever. What's a cat labor camp for? Different things. They put people in cages there. Sometimes they make them work. Sometimes they collect Angara and. Once they have enough, they move them. And sometimes they just kill them. My father died that way. That's rough. I'm sorry. Don't be sorry. Make sure I don't lose more family. I'll get your uncle. Here's the nav point of the labor camp. Please hurry. Nilge may not have much time. Life support is stable. The temperature is falling, Pathfinder. What is it now, Liam? I'm not a cultural test bed. Who else do I ask? I'm making contacts with Angara, but you're right here. The answer, 90% of the time, is the same as you. We're not mystical others. Shit, we pissed in your cereal. Your doctor. I had a voluntary physical. We've got targets!
I'm reading a temperature decrease. Environment check. Temperature are within acceptable parameters. I tangled with and uh, what's the story? I'm very interested. I just realized how much history I'd have to cover before you'd get how amazing it was. I'll get back to you. Yacht talked about. Let's find Nears. You here to rescue us? The control panel is right there. Shut this down. Once I have a weapon, I'm going to destroy these cats. Life support is stable. Skiat was trying to get you rescued. Good boy. He's got potential, Nild. So you've said before. The resistance needs to be debriefed. We'll head back to base as soon as possible. What about the data drive? We have to deliver it to Buxil so she can start the analysis. Interesting. It seems we have to depend on our rescuer for more than a rescue. Can you deliver this drive to Tetrix? If we work together, no time will be wasted. I'll go there as soon as I can. Perfect. Buxil will be in her workshop. I hope we meet again, under better circumstances.
long? I'm 27 arbitrary years. Depends which planet we're on. Is age a big deal to the initiative species? Only in extremes, and maybe when they mix. I mean, PB acts 12, but she's probably 400. Where can I get one of those resistance patches? Trade you a hustle? It's a Kari, and we don't just hand them out. I own mine so I can share it. I own mine so I could keep it. That's Tetrix, according to my map. That's where Nilja's sister lives, isn't it? Hey, can you help me with something? There's a wraith cloaked near you. I lost its movement. You scan for it, let me know where it's hiding. Buxel, I have something for you. From my brother who can't stop being a hero? Yes, Anyuk told me to expect you. My son Skiot said he'd send people after Nilge. I thought more lives lost. Nice to see I was wrong. Thanks for getting him out. Losing him would have set our efforts back months. Losing family is hard. I'm glad I could spare you that pain. Thank you. They talked about your abilities. But no one said anything about your kindness. Oh. Now, let's see what we have here. Stars and skies. This is... This is a layout of the Ket Command Center. Entrances, exits, security. We'll be able to cripple their operations. Wait, there's something else here. Oh, that's not good. What? The base entrances are shielded and locked with a code which changes often. Metadata tells me they downloaded this weeks ago. The code is about to change again. If an attack is going to happen, it needs to happen now. Let me help. Tell me what to do. The code to disable the security shields is encrypted, but I'll keep working on it. I've sent you the map and a nav point for a side entrance that won't have as many guards. Go quickly. We'll be in touch. They know we're not kidding. There's a dar up ahead. They no probably got in word that How we're coming. You accuse me this I don't think they'll shoot. You're a coward. Call to the side and you...
You're the human who came from Aya. Is it still beautiful there? The most beautiful world I've seen in the cluster, by a long shot. I miss it terribly. I was born there. Spent my childhood in warm air and sunlight. I'll never forget how that felt. What do you sell? I trade with those who have things they don't need anymore, but who need things I have. Small comforts. Nothing of value to you. What's a small comfort on Volt? Clothing. Tools, art, toys, anything to remind them of happier times. Things they can hold in the dark. What do you mean, people with things they don't need? Refugees carrying whatever they grabbed as they fled. The lighter their load, the easier their journey. I pay well. Thanks for talking with me. Thank you for reminding me of Aya. It's a bed. Better than sleeping in the ice in the dark. It is dark out there, isn't it? All the way out here. You must have guts. If anyone can help my people, it's you. Help with what? The cat destroyed Adar not far from here. Retaliation after the resistance pushed them out. The people were either killed or driven off. They left everything behind. I'll make those monsters pay for what they did to your people. Which we appreciate. But I need your help with something else. I'm a historian. That Dar was home to a priceless Angaran artifact. A map of ancient fold. I sent two of my colleagues to retrieve it, but they run into trouble out there. The cat came back to finish the job. I need someone to help my people fight their way out. Don't worry. I'll dig them out of trouble. You're a lifesaver. I'll give you the nav point for the Dar. Please hurry. I'm reading a temperature decrease. Environmental temperatures are within acceptable limits. Detected below normal temperatures. So you came all this way after two years of training. It felt longer at the time. Sure as hell didn't cover all this. I'm amazed you assumed a new galaxy would simply accommodate you. How often does that plain spoken and garn honesty get you punched?
ones we're looking for. Find some tech for PP. symbols. You should be able to locate these glyphs, Pathfinder. Wonder if I'd get anything on the scanner. Okay, let's find these glyphs. That should complete the glyphs, Pathfinder. Interface failed, Pathfinder. It appears that was incorrect. Successful! 
This must be the piece of Remtech PB needs. Uh, Remtech? PB's term. Anytime we come across ruins like this, let's ground what we can. I'll deliver this piece, and hopefully find out what her secret project is. Intense catch shield for the middle of nowhere. That's Janu. The Ken think they'll find some remnant thing there. Our people can't break through that shield. It's controlled from the main command base. <laughs> Temperatures are within acceptable parameters. Life support restored. I wouldn't mind hanging out with the resistance at some point. Learn some new things. Make some new friends. They're a tough bunch. I. Thanks. I think. It's about tactical risks. Had some vets spell that out. enough glyphs. Detecting below normal temperatures. You are in law enforcement? Not for long. Or long enough. 
depending on who you are. So, you were bad at it? No. I wanted to make things better for people. And there were too many obstacles. You wanted to make things better, so you left. That sounds like you were bad at it. Thank you for following Rylus's tip, Ryder. Taking out these kids will mean a lot to my people. I think that's it. Cross the saved on this device, Pathfinder. Cat? Let's get a translation, Sam. Processing. The Adon genetic code expresses his projection of a bite. Element of field has been isolated. The process to integrate this into our own genome is ongoing. Early success is documented. Once complete, adaptation is projected into all the system of the Ability may also prove useful as part of base soldier configuration. All research has been transmitted to the Exaltation is not just about making more cat. It's an exchange. An exchange requires consenting parties. There's bound to be more here. Let's keep moving. Another audio log detected. Let's hear it. Transmissions unacknowledged by whom? Possible breakdown in connection and information mishandled. Investigation ongoing. Logs to be updated shortly. Anything that delays or stops the cat is a blessing. I wonder if we can find the follow-up logs. The ambient temperature is normal. All transmissions appear to have failed. Some of the team has suggested that this research is prevented from leaving humans. Troubling implications. Set aside for now. Taking steps to verify that primary communications are still active. I'm picking up the nav point for another cat station. Probably their primary communications. Taking it down will hinder the cat. I say we head there. Environmental temperatures are within acceptable limits. Life support at 100%.
that wire may connect to a point on the surface, Pathfinder. I think it leads to the base of the monolith. We should check. Interface failed, Pathfinder. Defense systems engaging. was pretty secular. No ritual. It was just about being together. Hmm. Odd. Sounds like our most important ones. That's the part of the Ken Command Center.
blizzard's cutting right through my suit. But it provides cover for the resistance. And the cold doesn't bother us. Automated protocols activated. Deploying forward station. Mining zones in this region are available, Pathfinder. I've added them to your nav system. The ambient temperature is normal. Pathfinder, this area can be mined for resources. You can extract minerals via your mining interface. Hand on the wheel, Ryder. Relax, I got this. I have always liked Vold. It is harsh, but beautiful. Outside temperature is in free fall. Gorgeous and deadly. My favorite combo. Environment check. Temperatures are within acceptable parameters. Detecting below normal temperatures. Reloading! This appears to be a cat secure storage building. The entry is locked out by a defense matrix. Damn, whatever they're protecting must be important. We should find that defense matrix and shut it down. The command base is just ahead. I know it's already pretty cold here, but stay extra frosty. Pathfinder, I recommend you head toward the primary tower. It appears to be the core of the base.
down. One to go. The temperature is falling, Pathfinder. All generators have been disabled. I have marked the coordinates of the security terminal. Destroy it to unlock access to the Kent Tower. the hangar platforms has an automated fueling system. If you can access the controls, I can overload the system. Damn, the controls are locked. Pathfinder. I have located several override terminals in the vicinity. Shut down the cat base are located at the top of the tower in the observation room. There is an elevator access nearby that you can take.
We're in the clear. That stops them. Damn, that's a view. We tried to take down this place for months, and you made it look so easy. Destroying their command structure and systems leaves the rest of the kept vulnerable. Remember Jarnik? The shield around it's come down. The frozen city? That's the one. This is the perfect opportunity for a final push, while they're still dealing with the chaos. I'll deal with it. In the meantime, I'll see if there's anything I can find here. Be careful, Ryder. Did you have a favorite world? I'm genetically conditioned to think Earth was beautiful. Earth? You're a very literal species. Like it's just us. Find one species whose name doesn't mean the people. Annoying, but fair. Resources. You can extract minerals via your mining into. That's a signal beacon. Used by Angaran civilians. It's a distress call. Got it. We should see if we can lend a hand. could support an outpost, but the planet is not yet viable. How are we gonna live here? Maybe you'll have to find somewhere else. Many would prefer it. We're running out of somewhere else's. Heads up! 
Remnant sight ahead. Pathfinder. Those pictures are forwarded. They don't do Earth justice. Cities far as you can see, blue skies to bluer oceans. Blue on blue. How do you know where one ends and the other begins? You get wet. Ah. Hmm. Uh, we have people who aren't funny too. Thank <laughs> you. 
corners a little poorly, doesn't it? Your vehicle? I swear I will turn this car around. to activate the purification field, Pathfinder. Pathfinder, that will affect your shield. Activate the purification field. You may want to sweep the area. Before this place tries to kill us, you mean? Okay, get ready to run. Here it comes! Go, go! More incoming! Get out of here. 
air temperature has increased by 13 degrees since activating the vault. With a reduced cloud cover, solar energy will escalate dramatically. Her people can start a life here. Have some unusual readings from the nearby remnant site. You may wish to investigate. We have similar variations in our species. Spiritual, political, and physical adaptation has always been a strength of ours. Hmm. For us, it depends on who and when you ask. Ah, then we've had similar problems too. There's a test device for the Pathfinder. Shooting the device will destroy it. for an initiative outpost pathfinder. Conf Congratulations, Pathfinder. This Thanks was a real challenge. To himself. And bad bad attitude. Director Addison? No personal appearance? Placing an outpost is a big deal. Thank you, but no. I prefer climate control to these extremes. Real talk, Pathfinder. I as Governor Shai is already up my ass about this outpost. If local Angara weren't on board, we'd have a problem. We are good, right? As much as you've brought us, we can't afford to anger the neighbors. It's fine, Director. I ticked three or four of the necessary boxes. You enjoy testing me. But results are what matter, and I respect it. Vol helps. Cold as it is, it changes estimates in our favor. But the initiative needs you to find more. We're never really done, of course. Survival isn't something that just... ends. And there's another matter, a ceremonial one. A statement for the Archives. Is this really the time? Pathfinder was always a symbol. Like outpost flags hanging in the commons, the people need a connection to reality on the ground. Address them, Pathfinder. What did this mean? Vold was... is... a hard world. But it's not without life. It has history, people. It was worth fighting for. We're not walking into the unknown. We're joining something. And that is better than we hoped for. Recorded, Pathfinder. Addison out. Pleasure to meet you, Pathfinder. Priya Blake. Captain of Outpost Taravuni. I'm glad you're here. I thought we'd have to deal with this on our own. What's the problem? Is it the cat? No. At least I don't think so. A few of my drill technicians went missing on a research expedition west of here. We've tried their comms, but get nothing but static. Do you know where they were headed? I know the route, but we lost their tracking signal halfway through. I don't know how far they got. We tried to look at their research notes, but the data is corrupted. We have zero leads. I was supposed to keep these people safe. I've already failed them. Don't lose hope. I'll find your people. Coming from you, I believe it. Their research log is in the lab. Maybe your AI can piece together the corrupted data and get a nav point. We're staking a claim, but what does the initiative want with Fold? Look at the landscape. What do you see? Ice. A lot of ice. Water. Fold is a massive, endless source of it. We're proud to serve as the Initiative's first ice runners. We mine the ice here and haul it to colonies where water is scarce. Like Eos. Even the Nexus. The more people we wake from Cryo, the more resources we'll need. Our ice runners make sure water is never a problem. You picked a mouthful of a name for the outpost. It's Shalesh. Angaran language means forward together. It represents the close relationship we have with the Angara here on Bold. Glad to hear you're working together. This is their world. Because of you, they trusted us enough to give us a place in it. Now it's my job to cement that bond. We'll do our best to earn what they've given us. I have to say, I'm surprised the Angara let us put an outpost here. A portion of the ice we mine goes to their blockade runners, who take it to resistance bases all over the cluster. Water for their soldiers. 
It feels good to do our part against the Ket, however small. I should head out. Come back if you need anything. How far did the drill techs have to dig? Already 30 meters. Pathfinder, welcome to Scenic Vold. Hope you're enjoying the view. To the east, ice. To the west, more ice. At least you're not in cryo anymore, right? Look around. This is cryo. But I'll endure this frozen hell if it means completing my research. You know, it was even worse here before I activated the vault. So I heard. Glad I wasn't around for that. Makes me wonder what this place will look like in ten years, once the vault's had time to really work. Think it'll be up to your standards? My standards involve a beach and a healthy amount of sun, but we'll see. What are you researching? I'm studying ways we can harness geothermal activity as a source of energy. Believe it or not, below Vold's surface is a maze of heated geothermal vents. Keeps the planet from becoming completely inhospitable, but just barely. And you can use it as a power source. That's the hope. I hear the Angara are doing something similar, but they won't let me get close. So I'm determined to find the solution on my own. I'm good for now. Don't freeze to death out there. anything from this mess? Analyzing. It seems most of their data comes from a single nav point. Updating now. Time to rescue a few human popsicles. Koro wanted to check in with you. You have AVP outstanding, Pathfinder. Why can't you just ask her yourself? Report from the Nexus. Population's growing as people wake up. Lots of hopefuls waiting for a home. With all our outposts, they're spoiled for choice. They might arrive in time to help with the first harvest. Can't tell if they have enough water or too much. I grew up on a little cargo freighter. Only saw gardens and vids, but I always loved them. 
I daydreamed about planting a big rose garden when we got here and still imagine it sometimes. Roses in Helios. Let's get everyone fed before we start flower gardens. Fair. But everyone around here has dreams. I didn't for a while. After I left the Asari commandos, well, I didn't leave. My mentor, Nasira, said I should go. Why? The initiative would suit you better, was all she said. Being a huntress suited me fine, but she insisted. Wow, you fight side by side, then she gives you the brush off? It hurt. One big kick out of the nest. Still, that's familiar. When your biotics are honed into huntress-grade weapons, people can be weird about it. The initiative seemed better. Just didn't see how I'd fit into their brave new galaxy. I never fit anywhere before. Then I met some jerk named Ryder. Talked about traveling to Andromeda like he was teaching you how to see it. What part of that vision made you want to take the plunge? A civilization where everyone had a place. Even AI. Or an overpowered human biotic. Your father said, I get being different. Now imagine being welcome and making others like you welcome too. When I was 13, I could warp a steel girder. He made me wonder, what if someone had told me, that's okay? He gave you a dream to work toward. He was good at that. Who doesn't want to belong? Especially somewhere like the Initiative. So I gave the Initiative my all. Kept thinking of the niche I wanted. My rose garden. I thought I knew what I was going to be. This is about not taking over as Pathfinder? Didn't think it would still sting. Nasira, your father, even my parents. They leave, I'm left without answers. Nowhere to stand. It sucks, but it happened. We need your mind on the mission. Always is. But I'm human too. Need time to find a way through. And if that remnant tech pays off, Maybe someday I'll have roses, too. How you feeling? Naxul is very cunning. We can't underestimate him. <sighs> My mothers are worried sick about the cousins that joined him. I'll see you later, Jal. Stay strong and clear. Just waiting on that armor requisition slash project. No pressure. We'll talk later. I know it. Hello. Who's that woman I keep seeing you with on the Nexus? What? Whom? You're always short of credits after we come back. Is it because of her? It's... complicated, Subi. Fold orbit is steady. I'm picking up something.
Ascent is green. Coordinating. Path is calm. Back where we really started. What's new on our first home? The cats still maintain a presence. Skirmishes are frequent, and travel requires caution. They never learn. What else? The atmosphere continues to clear, but radioactive hazards pool in some areas. Study is ongoing. And remnants remain active on the surface, but also as detected by seismic readings. Point of contact for all this? Your people, Pathfinder. Prodromos is expanding, with all the trials and discovery that building an outpost represents. Grounded in research. All data about newly accessible EOS is from their work. Well, let's make sure it gets the attention it deserves. Armed and armored. Good for you. I could have used that ordinance a few weeks ago. I'm Ryder, the human pathfinder. Lieutenant Harper. We're looking for the Asari Ark. So am I. Watching the skies every day, praying they survived the cat. At least you and these others made it out. Only just. Our clothes were still smoldering. What happened? The cat chased our Ark across the cluster. But these weren't their regular soldiers. They were hunters. Elite killers. Being hunted by an elite anything isn't fun. What were they after? I don't know. I'm a junior. I just do what they tell me. A bridge officer, Sarissa something, gave the evacuation order. Hundreds of people, all trying to flee. It, it was... Where could we look for the Ark? We lost track. But they launched a ship to help evacuees. And her crew would know. You'd have to find her. Follow the transponder, maybe. Consider it done. Focus on taking care of yourselves. The ship's called the Paraphona. I'll give you her transponder codes and last flight plan. Thank you. It's... good to see the Ket aren't the only ones winning. What's your combat disposition? I kill the enemy before they see me. Do I need another one? N no, that'll do fine. Pathfinder, this area can be mined for resources. You can extract minerals via your mining interface.
resonating now. Probably with the vault. We had a legend that formations like this were from the weight of the sky long before the scourge. Water and weather. Nothing tougher in the long run. There must be active remnant in there. Let's check it out. Pathfinder, this area has been altered by Remnant. There may be something of use. Gil has tuned the Nomad perfectly for Eos. We're outfitted best we can be. We purpose build, world by world. That's the way to keep things going. Sent us go. Leaving Atmel. All clear. Drac said he wants to talk to you. Fussing at us like a. I'm a doctor. Fussing is part of the job. Got a minute? I'm in the bio lab. Liam, I signed off on that project. That's great, Pathfinder. Jala Maldorov, we got our gear. Golster, Ryder. Is this show for my benefit? Because I'm benefiting. <laughs> Just convenience. Swapping armor. You ready to go? Go. Right. The pattern on your pauldron? Family honorific. Can I wear the poncho? It's a rofshin. And no. Why? Is it religious? Wait, what? It's personal. You're not allowed. Because of status or species? Maybe it's both. Do all humans look alike? Some of you sound alike. 
Whoa, whoa, whoa. I know how this goes. Someone's getting offended and someone else punched. That's why we're doing it here? It's an armor swap for answers. Stuff the diplomats, don't ask. I, my turn was earlier. Nexus info packets leave a lot out. I am sorry. Was this not sanctioned? Oh, you weaseling Adi. Nevertheless, Ryder? You better have a good reason for this. I do, and we were clear. Jar was in from the start. Did I say put the shirt on? No, oh, we were shit-talking. Except we couldn't. We didn't know enough about each other to dig in. If we don't know what's insulting or awful, we might accidentally trip on it. Makes talking dangerous. So now we know. And maybe that's enough for a couple of hotheads not to make a mess out there. Unless we want to. Good enough reason? Okay, I kind of get the intent. No harm, no foul. <laughs> if Jar was offended, I'd be on the floor. I'll take that kind of honest any day. We have a lot to learn, that's part of what our team is for. <laughs> Better now than when people's lives are on the line. Terf Uni. A home on Vold. Sort of. Still feels good though. You barely covered how you joined. Tell me something about yourself. Mm -hmm. What do you want to know? We'll talk later. I know it. just conquerors or slavers the ket turn everything you are to their advantage worst kind of enemy the one that makes you fight your own people that's what jaw faces every day now that we know the truth friends neighbors all changed and they're loyal to what changed them you're pretty worked up about this Candros wants strategies for handling the ket I talked with Drac, putting ideas together, expand our guerrilla tactics, get Angaran military advisors, research exaltation. Just, I don't know. Wish your dad could give me his take. Why? This all looks fine to me. Nasira, your father, they always had a plan I could follow. Without one, it's too easy for people to get hurt. Like now. The initiative's plans are shot, and people die because of it. We're flying blind. It'll take years to put all the pieces back together. Our biggest headache is the Ket. Work goes on, I guess. Sarissa will have a strategy. Just need to find her and the other Asari. It'll be good to have certainty again. I'm going to do it. I've run all the tests. It's non-toxic. If we're going to live here, someone has to take the plunge and actually try to eat things. Dr. Tapero, please do something. Don't do it, Suvi. You told on me. I thought we were friends. You, sir, are uninvited from all my parties. Just drag on the ship. At least it keeps Aya hidden. I'm picking up something.
stars and skies light our way. Stars and skies light our way. She knows how to play a crowd. <laughs> She's the more shy. Welcome home. I never thought I'd see it again. Without the Resistance and the Pathfinder, I wouldn't be here. We made a good team. We freed more than just the Moshai. And the Pathfinder killed a Ket leader. We have a lot to celebrate. I promised to lead the Pathfinder to Aya's vault. You're still recovering. Take your time. I'm not going anywhere. Not without our help. I'll prepare the vault for your arrival. A shuttle will bring you to me when it's ready. Thank you, Moshai. We've been alone against the Ket for too long. You've proven it doesn't have to be that way. It's time we discussed an alliance between our people. We're happy to make room for you on the Nexus. We'll provide an embassy here as well. Our city is open to you. Join us. Well done, Joel. Report for reassignment. I need to stay with the Pathfinder. Jal has already become a valued member of my crew. Of course he has. I see the benefit. Request granted. I need to file a mission report. Don't leave Aya without me. brought anyone here in over 20 years. There's always been an active display for Aya, but we could never affect it. Let's see what we can do. Sam? Yes, this is new. Is it similar to the vault on Eos? Tell me, what are you seeing? If I'm seeing what I think I'm seeing, I've got goosebumps. Tell me, what do you see? The vaults. They're a network, as you discovered. However... They're not connected to each other, but to this place. This image was on a relic the Archon showed me. He called it Meridian. And it looks like Aya's vault is the only one that's fully connected to it. And it's terraforming, doing what it was meant to do. The vault on Eos is also present, but changed. Our interfacing with it has affected its connection. What do you think, Professor? I think that Meridian is the control center for all the vaults. Thank you. This is unbelievable. If we can get to Meridian, maybe we can turn everything on from there. Make Helios live. Wait, Ryder. The Archon knows where it is. He's already been there. What? Where? Meridian? Of course. That's why he tortured me. He thought I could help him use it. Because he can't. Meridian is my people's best chance for survival. We have to take it from him. Agreed. Such power in the hands of such evil could mean the end of your people, and mine.
No one is safe as long as he's on this hunt. I'm going to shut it down. For all our sakes. You're going to need that relic I saw. The Resistance might have intel on the whereabouts of Archon's ship. I'll talk to Ephra and secure his full cooperation. Meet me there. Clientel is always welcome here. Have a look. I'm sure you'll find something to your taste. Can't hurt to be prepared. Maybe you've got something I'm looking for. If I don't today, I will tomorrow. They let you pass the gates. Huh. It's an honor, and I understand that. I'll be respectful. All right. Everyone deserves a chance to prove themselves. Changing tone after that care facility. Half the Angara are thankful, uh, half are even more suspicious. Let's try not to make it worse. Don't worry about me. They're busy glaring at Cora for some reason. Hey, Ryder, this place is brilliant. There's a lot we can learn from the Angara. the subject of a detailed scan by an Angara standing nearby. Maybe I should introduce myself. I deserve to be told. You had no right to keep it secret from me. It's an ongoing investigation. I meant no disrespect. Did Jal know? Of course not. Neither did the human. Sorry to interrupt. This isn't your concern. It is now. We need to find the Ket command ship. Tell her the truth about my capture. Moshai, please. 
It may be our only route to the Archon. One of my men helped the Ket take her, a resistance commander named Venterev. One of your own gave her to the Archon? No wonder you hushed it up. This isn't about hiding the truth. I'm working to capture him, make him answer for what he did. You know where he is? Kadar report. My contacts are hunting him. Contacts? You can't trust anyone there. They deserted our cause, our people. And now they're ruled by exiles, from your galaxy. Ven may know how to find the Archon, and his ship. We can't leave this to a pack of renegades and outlaws. I'm a little new to the galaxy. Where did Ven go exactly? Kadara Port is a trading outpost. We abandoned it when the Ket invaded. Some of us went back. Deserters, scavengers. They don't support Aya. How did exiles from the Nexus wind up there? Bad luck for everyone. I need the relic that leads to Meridian, and I can handle my people. Let me do this. I don't like it. I don't care. The Pathfinder is right. I'll transmit my files on Kadara Port to your ship. Our traitor could have useful information. We need him alive. That's up to him. Be safe, Pathfinder. As for you, Ephra, we're not done. Director Tan, good news. The Angara opened an embassy for us on Aya. That is... a surprise? What are their expectations? They survived the Scourge and the Cat and rebuilt their civilization. Don't forget it. Appeal to their pride. Sensible. I will gather envoys and send them to Aya. Thank you, Pathfinder. We'll take it from here. Liam? You're working pretty hard. All the time. Started young. Smart little kid. Got angry a lot. Side effect of giving a shit. Liam, what's going on? We found that facility on Vault. Kicked them in the teeth. Great. But the cats steal what people are. Everyone should have a stake in that. So I reached out, trying to get resources moving in a real way, bridge that gap like I did with Jo. I can't get permission coming or going. The Nexus, Aya, everyone is all, can't take risks with outsiders. I didn't come here so everyone could be goddamn outsiders. You're taking on a lot, making all of Helios your problem. It is our problem. We're not going back. We have to make it work. I wanted this. Everything new. But eventually, it, it has to be normal. I need something familiar. 
Can I show you something? Did you bring anything from the Milky Way? One or two things, but the weight limits were real strict. I know. That's why I made arrangements. <laughs> it's a proper petrol burner. 20th century. British. From when that mattered. My whole family works here together, weekends. <laughs> like those are a thing in space. Know what we did? Friends in Hustle set us up good. They borrowed us a transport right before I went into cryo. And me and my father and mother loaded our car into it and pointed it at Andromeda. It's a nice gesture, but you know you won't see it again. Oh, it's, it's a couple million years away at standard light. The important thing is, it's coming. And always will be. I don't know what that means. Pathfinder, Ryder. Last time we talked was... That was weird, right? Not the part with you. I mean, it was all with you. Things get close on a ship like this. Things happen. No complaints, Costa. I trust that goes both ways. You bet it did. <laughs> Make no mistake. Listen, one night was one night. I'm a big boy. I won't get clingy. That's the last thing you need. But I won't run either. So maybe we keep this in mind for the future? No pressure. We both have a lot going on, but yeah, let's not close that door. <laughs> Glad to hear it. This nervousness right here, most normal I've felt since we got to Andromeda. Maybe we could spend some time off ship just doing stuff, like visiting Aya. I've got some things I'd like your eyes on. No rush, unlike everything else. That vault on Aya was so gorgeous, so alive. And Meridian might be the key to the others. No wonder the Archon wants to control it, like everything in Helios. See you later, Korra. I'll be here. Back again? How's the search for the Asari Ark going? Those Asari refugees were a real help. Now to find the survey ship they mentioned. See you later, Korra. I'll be here.
to be back here, ready to hit those scans. What am I looking for? Moran called out supplies that may have useful properties for our tech. Just need to get Sam's eye on them. Take a stroll. Enjoy the market. Nafsen. Liam? God damn it. What's going on? Nothing to worry about. Just come grab a table with me. Pathfinder, you're good here. We'll worry about the data another time. Liam, what's going on? I uh, figured we should end up somewhere nice and open. You were being cased. Are you getting me in trouble? What was this about? We're not in trouble exactly, but I don't blame them for being angry. I wanted to get data that would help yields at our outposts. Varan told me what to scan, but I called it off. I still owe her, but it's better than pissing off some gouging hardliner. Sorry I didn't clue you in. It's a security thing. Food is security. Was this an attempt to copy their methods? Steal secrets? We're not competing companies. It's about learning to live here. Remember my Tempest freakout? I tried proper channels, got blocked by the Angara and the Nexus. There's only so much Jar can tell us, so I did what we do back in Crisis Response. Bend the rules. You do what you have to. Let's not make a habit of it. I don't want to. Like I said, I don't blame them for getting cross. The last people who showed up out of the blue were the Ket. The ultimate users. I don't want us getting lumped in with them. And I really, really don't want to ruin the market. I like coming here. Just enjoying time with you. Feels normal. About time something did. Let's focus on the good. I like being with you too. Another day saved with a few words. You remain amazing. But let's just see a vid next time. I have a Hanar romance I've been saving. Sheen of the Dawn. The uncut version is banned. But it's just six minutes of iridescence. Oh, you haven't seen the subtitled bootleg. But I can't show you that until... Until... Third date? Does this count? Yes. Yes, it does. Can you believe this place? Here's your golden world. Unfortunately, already occupied. Well, yeah, but it's here. Shows it's possible. That's something. There's just so much to see. Helping the Moshai opened a lot of doors around here. Most Angara still keep their distance, though. Imagine seeing a Krogan for the first time? Maybe if I smile more, show my teeth. Something tells me that won't help.
Pathfinder Drat wants to see you. Pathfinder, you have new email. Nuh uh uh, no peeking. I'm putting the finishing touches on my personal project. I thought you said it was on the Nexus. I'm just perfecting the final component here, or should I say, trying to. Several of the crew have offered to help, and I keep politely declining and ushering them out. So, thank you for retrieving that critical piece of Remtech, but kindly stop digging. Fine, have your surprise. You won't regret it. Want me to ask the others to back off? No, no, I can handle it. As long as they're not looking to be besties. And I'm happy that someone with the galaxy at their fingertips can still give a girl her space. It's safe to say that you, my friend, are one of a kind. You've only scratched the surface. You have no idea what all I can do. No. But I have an active imagination. I look forward to being educated. But no more distractions. The next time you're on the Nexus, my project will be done. Come by, and I'll unveil it. Now, if you will, please leave me to my own devices. Something I should know about? Hey, I was just... How you doing? I'm... Great, just, uh... I told you I screwed up, and I have. Remember Varand? I contacted Niangara. She's gone. The whole group is gone. Sudden. So, yeah, up for a rescue? Because if we don't, we could be next. Of course, Costa. Why wouldn't I be? Yeah. Um, because I gave Varand Nexus data and nerve points. Why would you do that? We need to know how to live here. I tried asking. I tried taking. No one would help outsiders. So I took initiative. Gave her data and text so she could mod it. Varand was... She is a good risk. But if pirates interrogate her or barter her to the Ket, it's our heads. Why didn't you alert everyone immediately? If they have her info, they have our comms. The Nexus goes on alert, they'll know. Varan's people are tough. They'd have fought if they thought there was a chance. Something made them think there wasn't. I won't risk that. Bad enough, I have to involve you. Like I said, I screwed up. We'll take care of it, before it's a problem. <sighs> it's already a problem. I got a lead from a trader. A grainy visual. We find that system, we find our bad guys. I... Also asked Bradley for people to help intercept. I thought they might want to pitch in. How are a bunch of settlers supposed to help? That's what he said. We're on our own. I'll forward the visual to the bridge for when you want to start hunting. And... Sorry.
anomaly on sensors. like a match for the system info Liam gave me. Detecting ESO wash and debris. Ships have been through. My contact Varand is out there, I know it. Gear up for pirates. It's not landable. I've got a plan. Great. He's got a plan. Alright, we're set to go. Somewhere? This is on me. I'll take care of it. Any sign of the pirates who took my contact? There's too much background radiation. Could be anything hiding out there. All that debris in orbit. That tracks. Heard they were scavengers. I'd hoped Bradley or some of our colonists would follow. Join in. We'll make do with what we've got. What's the plan? Somewhere out there is a ship full of pirates. They might have our specs. Thanks to you. Yes, thanks to me. So we can't go in hot. I say we play to their scavenger routes. With... that debris. I'll explain in the airlock. We've wasted enough time. Let's hit the go button, shoot pirates, and save people. We've got this. Alright, I'm in. Let's do... Whatever this is. Uh, yeah, I thought you'd... Wait, what? I mean, yeah. yeah. Hell yeah! We play this right, they'll deliver us just where we need to go. I have a plan. Not loving this plan, Liam. Come on. Hiding in derelict cargo to get scavenged. Sure, we don't know what we're up against. Neither do they. Trojan horse simple. The Greeks didn't need to worry if Troy had air. There's air. Whoa. This isn't right. Liam, you said to expect pirates. This is a catch ship. A big one. Change... change of plan? Okay, it's a catch ship. But scavenging isn't the MO. Alarms, Liam. Doesn't change why we're here. Fine. What the? Don't tell him we have stores. We have stores! Definitely not care running this thing. Shut them down!
Sounds like we could get some monsters. For the last time, report! We just fixed those face seals. If you idiots blew them, I'll have your skins! This is the Pathfinder. We've boarded your vessel. We demand compliance. Oh, really? What is this? Get cameras on the bay! We'll figure it out! Stokes. This ship is property of Talonwing. Now you're property too, just like the rest. Well, that wasn't going anywhere useful. Shoot pirates, rescue contact? Ugh. Oh. She's here. Somewhere. I think they've salvaged this thing? They're not cat. Sam, do you have us? Not precisely, Pathfinder. Debris and radiation are still disrupting scans. So where to? Find Rand and fast. This way. Not that way. Start there. Let's go. Fight to the door they came in. We're sure the captains are there. Had to be somewhere. I think I've heard of this Kala and his wing. More incoming! for the right reason. It's supposed to work! Ugh. You dent your locker, the principal will be It isn't pissed. a joke! I jumped us here blind. We don't know where anyone is or how anything works. And now we're fighting some asshole who wants everyone chained. It's like hitting Andromeda all over again. Shield of man. Don't make this about the whole initiative. We're here to help and... Why am I the one defending your plan? I don't know! I will not be ignored anymore. See? Total asshole. That's it. Space the talent we Ugh. I will not be ignored. Such an asshole. On the junctions, go. You folks need a hand. Oogie, you have timing. We would have come in sooner, but we didn't know how we could help. Settlers aren't soldiers, but a wreck of a ship with bad shielding? We've got engineers, son. Oh, power surge. This beast does not like being prodded. The artificial gravity, shit. everything's shifting! Liam, Pathfinder, are you okay? We're here, but things have gone a little sideways. Get to engineering and fix the graphs. Well, then I'll do it myself. Sounds like we made your man angry. You take care of the fighting, Liam. Find Varan. We'll keep this barge stable. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, just as sideways as we are. We've lost the map. Sam? I thought this was a minor group of pirates. A ship like this would really bring in recruits. 
Another way, back above us. How do we get up there? Wait, there'll be a vent. We could blow it. You knew that how? Brad mentioned it. We got to study sick. Watch it, they're getting their footage. On it! See how it's done? Seal them in. That's what you get, shield draining pirate shit. Let's all stay focused! on his shoulder. This ship definitely made him dangerous. Seen his kind before. Small man, big gun. That's all I need. Give me a minute. And there's how they salvaged the ship. He found a way to retrofit a derelict, and he's wasting it on raiding? Not everyone wants to fix themselves. I'm in their security, if you want to call it that. Here's the doors, and... Oh. Cameras. On it. Watch the monitors. There's a red. And... What the hell? They have humans locked up too? Got your timing wrong, Liam. Khaled wasn't hitting the initiative soon. He already did. Pathfinder, we have to end this. Working on it. Gravity shifting. Get off my ship. Wookie? Still here. We'll find you a route to the... It's the cargo bay. Again? What do you mean you can't see them? Well, get ready everywhere! Real eager to meet that person. Pathfinder, that door up there. It was blocked before. How about it, Bradley? Negative. You'll have to scan for something manual. Can't suss that one. Check for a console. We move this, maybe we can reach the door. Let's find the controls. Still good, Ogi? Slowing the pace for a moment. Just hacking multiple systems while parked on a ship careening through a debris field. That means he's good. Still on their cameras. Callet has filled the hall past that door. 
And the captives? Pass them. Whatever it takes. Doran Crane, here they come! It's like fighting in a topsy toy box. Leave alliteration out of it! That's the last of them. Getting the hang of all this, right? Cycling power for doors ahead, but it seals the one behind you. We're not turning back anyway. You know we're getting real lucky? Look, some things you just have to count on. Skill, purpose, allies. We have them all in spades. And if it goes wrong? They're bunkered in the next room, Pathfinder. Sniper, maybe two, and I think cages? Thanks for the lookout! Have to take out that sniper! Side of that door. Hello? Anyone alive out there? We're here. Your initiative? Where'd you come from? Trading ship out of Kadara. Your Nexus? Sarah Ryder, Pathfinder from the Hyperion. Holy shit! An Ark showed? Is Verand all right? Liam, what are you doing here? Didn't want you getting killed over what I told you. I'll never give that up. Not that it matters. Khaled hasn't asked anything. He dumped her in here, same as us. We're all just labor. Half the ship is our handiwork. We didn't realize these pirates had gone after initiative already. He isn't picky. Everyone is keeping him down. Everyone is going to pay. The ship rolled up and we surrendered. Seems smart at the time. Wait, Khaled captured you to fix this thing? He wanted to ransom us, but this ship is draining him. It's a wreck. He had to go back to scavenging just to keep it afloat, so he put us to work. Found a project car, didn't count on maintenance. We had help getting this far, and we'll need more. Can you open this door? I think Dace was working on those systems before all this happened. Hang on. I've got the override, but we need power. Fault's on their side. You get that? Turn on the power from your side. On it. We'll get you out. Augie, did you get all that? Kariata, can you get them a path? Allow me. There's a problem. This says the override only pulls the lock. Meaning? It lets the door open under its own weight. But it's upside down. Yeah. So it's gravity held. You get that, Oki? Gravity. I get you. Kariata, we've been fighting the shorts. Think you can... Roll with it? All right, Pathfinder. You have the button. Power, override, and hang on. We have the floor. <laughs> yes! Ladies and gentlemen, your exit vehicle will be at the nearest airlock. You old ham. Tanner will evac, but we can't have Khaled chasing us. Where is he? Engine control. Past where they held the captives. Right. Final stretch to put a stop to Khaled. After all this, I just have one thing to say. Proud of all our people, Pathfinder. Let's do this.
Fine, I'll take some. I'll chase you down and burn you where you live. My talent will be. Inducted coolant systems? <laughs> Override. I might be turning around on this plan, Liam. <laughs> Me too. Set. Pushing power to open doors ahead. Get a ship, fill it with shooters, and I'm still disrespected. Fine. Fine! It doesn't have to go down like this! No one is taking anything from me ever again, Pathfinder! I'll kill you myself! cannon has got a pet. And a shield pulling straight from the drive core. Hold on, we'll try to hack it. Found a weakness. Hit the mark console. We'll hack the shield one port at a time. Make it happen, Pathfinder. Reinforcements! Now! I found that fiend like I found this ship. Like I'll have you. No. That fiend was mine. It's all mine! Your weapons are nothing. You can't touch me. Nexus is next. How dare you? How dare any of you? Shield is down. Go get him, Pathfinder. Everyone to engineering. Everyone! This can't be happening. Got him. Let's clean up the rest. That's him done. Fool. Standing by for evac, Pathfinder. Hit the airlock when you're ready. Don't take too long. I don't like the look of those reactors. Like everything else, push too far. <laughs> don't tell me a stock shuttle can maglock like that. I saw. <laughs> Don't spread it around. There you are. Safe and sound? All good, Augie. We got everyone out just in time. 
The inside of that boat is six kinds of irradiated now. Hold on. Someone wants to say goodbye. Thank you, Liam. I didn't expect... whatever that was. You gave them plenty of trouble on your own. Maybe. But it's good to know your friends will come. And their friends. We'll get people where they need to go. Most want to come to Pedromos. Varan says we might get some Angara. That's good news. No detours. We went through a lot to keep everyone in one piece. I hear that, Pathfinder. Liam, next time, let's just do cards. I'm too old for this shit. <laughs> I'll believe that when you do. That worked out. Everything just... just so. Before you start, I want you to know I... Uh, well, I'm, I'm sorry. I mean, this was a mess. Even though we won, it, it wasn't by much. I, it was all worth it. You showed Varan that Pathfinder can stand for everyone. But... I need to be smarter about taking risks. So... you're right. Sorry. Okay, go ahead. We did good. <laughs> a what? R really? Could do with a little less dangling in open space, but... You got it. Think that thing would survive a jump back to the Nexus? Probably not. Napping. Do all Angara snore, or just you? Do all humans whimper in their sleep, or just you? Hey, Pathfinder. Still passing that mess with Varan and Khaled. I made sure the Nexus data will be changed. Kesh is none too happy, but she can blame me. The important thing is we're all alive, I'm all in, and I'm doing things different now. Accepted, Liam. But let's not do this again anytime soon. Oh, total agreement there. In fact, this made me think how I'm doing a lot of things. I want to arrange a thing for us and the Angara, once their civil stuff is calmer. Maybe talk to Jal about the Roka. You lend your weight there, I can focus on something normal for everyone. The Roka go to Kadara and recruit the desperate. I've heard a Roka recruiter weaving his magic. Even I was convinced. Do you have a mate? 
A partner? I don't. Not for a long time. Not for a long time? <laughs> I fell in love with a girl once. Aaliyah. We were young. <laughs> I was young. It was my first vassal on Aya. We worked on the same farm. She was a little older. A researcher. I can still hear her laugh and see her eyes. She kissed me and I was hers. Thrilled and seduced. I have a bad feeling about this. My older brother came to Aya. He was already famous in the Resistance. I think you're interesting and, well, great. Anyway, I'd like to get to know you better. What do you think? Yes, I'd like that. That's it? You are a lovely woman. Fascinating. A brilliant risk taker. Knowing you better would be a gift. Sincerely. Okay, then. Where is Aaliyah now? Did she and your brother work out? They came back to Haval, and she joined our family. She became one of the mothers. You have to see her every day? No. They were taken by the kit. Their children survived. I think you're interesting and... Well, great. Anyway, I'd like to get to know you better. What do you think? Yes, I'd like that. That's it? You are a lovely woman. Fascinating. Okay, then. Well, enough about that. I'll see you later, Joel. Stay strong and clear. Besides being a haven for Nexus exiles, what do we know about this place? Group of exiles called the Outcasts liberated Kadara Port from the Ket. Until recently, their power was absolute. But a new gang, the Collective, has been chipping it away. Real shady bastards, led by an unknown called the Charlatan. Well, with luck, they'll be too busy shooting at each other to notice us. Now orbiting Kadara. Standing order for all incoming ships. The port is a ceasefire zone by order of Sloane Kelly. She was head of Nexus security. Be ready for anything and keep comms open. Should hear from our resistance contacts soon. Incoming call. Patching it through. There's been a development regarding the spy, Venturev. Rendezvous at Crawler's song. Your contact's codename is Shayna. Shayna. Got it.
That's one hell of a welcome sign. Exiles have stepped up their game since the revolt. Not too shabby for folk who got kicked off the station with nothing to show for it. Maybe we can get them back on our side. We know they can fight Cat. Our supplier's waiting. Come on, we're gonna be late. Do I even want to know? Nope. You're waiting for someone. I've got time for a drink. Shayna, but you can call me Reyes. I hate code names. I was expecting someone more Angaran. <laughs> the Resistance pays me to supply information, among other things. So you're a smuggler? Your man, Venterev, was arrested by Sloan Kelly, leader of the Outcasts. Word spread about what he did to Moshe Sefa. The people are calling for his execution, and Sloan? She's a woman of the people. I like her already. Well, she doesn't like you. She's never met me. You work for the Initiative. Sloane was part of the uprising on the Nexus. I doubt she'll give Ven up easily. I'm taking him, with or without her permission. We're gonna be friends, you and I. There might be another way to get to Ven. You work Sloan. I'll talk to the Resistance. How do I contact you if things go south? Hey! You gotta pay! Keep the change. Always do. What can I get you? Don't say surprise me. Whiskey. Neat. That's the only way we serve it. What can I get you? Whiskey. Neat. That's the only way we serve it. What can I get you? That's... What can I get you? What can I get you? So what's the latest in Kadara? The port's on the brink of civil war. The charlatan and the collective have been gunning for Sloane's throne. Thought it was all talk until they started killing each other in the Badlands. You're pretty calm about it. When you live in a place run by pirates, violence becomes relative. I'm not gonna worry until the shooting's outside my bar. 
How do you feel about Sloane? Do you like her? I like Sloane fine, but her protection fees can go to hell. She makes you pay for protection? Yep, and the price of safety keeps getting higher. Can't complain too much, though. The outcasts are my biggest customers. You mentioned the charlatan and the collective. Yeah, what about them? Who are they? <sighs> wow, you're new here. No one knows who the charlatan is. That's kind of the point. He, she, they, whatever, run the collective. They like to think of themselves as some kind of spy network. But they're just thugs. Might be a little smarter than the outcasts, but no one's got the moral high ground in Kadara. Thanks for the gossip. Part of the job. Were you a bartender back in the Milky Way? Yup. You like it? Nope. So why do it? It's familiar. If you wanted familiar, you're in the wrong galaxy. I am where I am. Bartended on Thestia for 200 years. Thought I wanted a change. Turns out, change sucks. Actually, I'm okay. Whatever. Sam, tell me about Sloan Kelly. Before joining the initiative as head of Nexus Security, Miss Kelly served in the Alliance with a nearly spotless record. Nearly? She was involved in multiple altercations with other officers. A hothead. Great. Brought a few more. Squishy thing like you needs protection. Got the best armor in all of Kadara. Bold claim. Let's see what you've got. Everything's on the console. Kadara is honored by your presence and your credits. Finally, the respect but I deserve. Me Happy to oblige. Focus defenses here and here. The cat have been quiet for too long. What? That's quite the throne. Should I bow? Kiss your ring? Very funny. So, what brings a pathfinder to our humble port? Van Terev. Name ring any bells? What's he to you? And don't lie to me. I need him so I can infiltrate a Ket flagship. You've obviously got no love for the Ket. I'm doing you a favor. Kadara is an Angaran port. They want Ven dead. And I want to keep them happy. This is bigger than local politics. You don't need Ven. You need his intel. Talk to him before I put his head on a spike. I can work with that. See? No reason we can't be civilized. <laughs> Should have brought refreshments. Give the Pathfinder access to the holding cells. Yes, sir. Don't feed the prisoner. Don't 
touch the prisoner. And the only thing that passes between you two are words. Got it? Absolutely. I won't. <clears throat> what do you want? The Archon ship. Where is it? This a new interrogation tactic? Sloane's getting lazy. I don't answer to Sloane. I'm a Pathfinder with the initiative. The one who rescued the Moshai. I know who you are and what happened on Vold. You can still make this right, Ven. Tell me what I need to know. <laughs> Making it right won't save my life. But it could save others. The Archon's ship. Where is it? I never saw it. Got my orders from a Ket transponder. But you could use its frequency to triangulate the Archon's location. Do you still have it? I buried it before I was arrested. Should still be outside the city. Thanks for the intel. Don't you want to know why I did it? Why I betrayed the Moshi? Enlighten me. We're losing the war against the Ket, and still, Ephra puts my brothers and sisters in danger to protect a useless old woman. So you took things into your own hands. I made the call he wouldn't. The Archon only wanted the Moshi. I thought if I gave her up... <sighs> I didn't know what the Ket were doing to my people. Ephra still entrusted the Moshi to you, and you betrayed them both. I did what I thought was right. And I'll accept the consequences. Pathfinder, the communicator is buried outside the ceasefire zone. I suggest bringing a squad. Betra, Drac, are you back from whatever it was you were doing? Yep, our completely legitimate business deal went off without a hitch. <laughs> benefit of bringing a Krogan along. Tell Gil to prep the Nomad. I need to go outside the city. Our deal's done. What do you want? I think we can work together. The enemy of my enemy is... I'm not your friend, but you've proven reasonable. Ask your questions. What does the Collective have against the outcasts? People always want what they don't have. The Charlatan's thugs are no different. Who do you think the Charlatan is? My guess, a group of people. It'd take more than one person to run that outfit. You're not worried they're moving in on outcast territory? If they make a play, I'm ready. Helios isn't exactly hospitable. How did he survive after the Nexus? We didn't leave empty-handed, but when supplies ran low, we were forced to get creative. I ordered hits on Ket convoys, traded with Angaran villages. They told me about Gadara port. You never got violent with the Angara? Just the Rokar. Fuck those guys. I looked you up. Head of Nexus Security. Alliance train. Record shows a temper, but otherwise paints the picture of a loyal soldier. Why just switch sides? Because I'm sick of serving assholes. I could have handled the situation on the Nexus, but Tam wanted a bloodbath. He brought in the Krogan without even asking me. New galaxy, same old bullshit. You could have quit. They would have died without my help. Not all exiles are criminals. Some of us just had enough. You became a pirate by trying to protect people from a massacre? The irony isn't lost on me. You know, Pathfinder, when I joined the Initiative, I thought we could build a new society. A better one. But the Initiative was just another empty promise. The only person I can count on to change things 
is me. How did a human come to lead an Angaran port? When I got to Kadara, the Ket were rounding up Angara like animals. It was a slaughter. My people put an end to it. Naturally, the locals were grateful. And the heads decorating the spaceport? What's that about? A warning. To the Ket? To anyone. So, the outcasts. Give me the sales pitch. The outcasts aren't for you. Wow. No hesitation. I handpicked every one of my crew. They've got either potential or history with me. You've got neither. Addison said something similar. I'll prove you both wrong. Addison and I agree on something. <laughs> I'll let you get back to it. Pathfinder, stay out of Kadara's business. This isn't your turf. Over here, Pathfinder. You've handled your fair share of cat. <laughs> Hard to get far in Andromeda without running into them. Yes, and? When Sloan took over, she slaughtered the cat who were here. There were mass executions, public. So people would know that Kadara was cat free. There have been rumors of stragglers in the Badlands. If the tales are true, they need to go. What exactly are the rumors about the cat? Ambushes. People disappearing. Vehicles sabotaged. Picked clean for parts. Could be feral local wildlife, sinkholes, and Gara bullshit. But there's enough people saying Ket. If there are Ket out there, send your own crew to deal with them. Listen, this is how it is. Everyone knows Sloan destroyed the Ket presence here. Anything that hints otherwise? Weakness. But you... You're independent. Where you go, what you do. Nothing to do with Sloan. You said Sloan killed the cat here. What happened? The cat had the port locked down when we arrived. They were shipping Angara off for who knows what. People were scared, but the place had potential. So we fought the cat for it, and we won. You saw the decorations outside. That's Sloan making sure everyone knows she's the new power. I'll think about checking out the Badlands. Excellent. What's up, Ryder? Why an emergency meeting? I didn't call it. I did. Got some disturbing news while we were on Kadara. There's some tension at the Krogan colony on Eladin. It's bad. Tension among Krogan? You don't say. I wouldn't waste your time with this if it wasn't important. We need to go. I agree. Nakmor Morda made herself overlord of the colony. It's weird. No. Our priority is the Archon. We have to remain focused on his next move. 
Jal's right. I know dealing with so many unknowns is frustrating, but we need to hear each other out. Well, as long as we're pitching stuff, I overheard outlaws on Kadara talking about activity in the Ramav system. No, that's the system where the Turian Golden World was supposed to be. Ramav? There aren't any viable planets there. Only an asteroid field with mining ventures run by criminals. I hear Elodin's pretty rough too. Roving scavengers with nothing to lose. Perfect. Because if there's one thing I do know about, it's fighting pirates. We still have to find the Ket transponder that'll lead us to the Archon's ship. I'm with you. I can't wait to find the Archon's ship. And then hopefully, Meridian. Anyway, get Kala the nav points for both Elodin and that potential Turian Golden World. We want all our options ready to go. Hey! I didn't say dismissed or meeting adjourned or anything. Meeting adjourned as you were. Pathfinder, you have new email. I'm sure you'll find a way. Liam says he's planning a movie night. That's the idea. He's putting it off because it didn't seem right after seeing the exaltation facility. But now there's a delay. I had a thought. Every vid's better with snacks, right? I found an Angaran recipe for these little morsels you can make from a local Helios plant, but it's rare and... You want me to look for one? Oh, would you? I'd love to, you know, be social and things. Zara. Anomaly on sensors.
Look at all this. The Scourge did a number here, didn't it? To think this was supposed to be the Turian home, now the Exiles have taken over. Cosmic radiation is off the charts, Ryder. You'll need to stay in the Nomad. How good are these fancy suits if they don't block radiation? In normal situations, they do. This planet's magnetic field was disrupted when it cracked open. No protection from a cosmic ray tearing you apart at the molecular level. So, stick to the Nomad. Descent engine engaged. Good luck, Ryder. Did you and Ryder's dad have a chat? Get to know each other? Sometimes. Not much small talk. He didn't talk small. <laughs> he and I had our little routine. I'd say, good morning, and he'd say, hmm. He liked saving people more than socializing with them. Gravity's lower than we're used to, Pathfinder. Gil says you shouldn't worry about accidentally hitting escape velocity. Good to hear. Automated protocols activated. Deploying forward station. Mining zones in this region are available, Pathfinder. I've added them to your nav system. This area can be mined for resources. You can extract minerals via your mining interface. Sam, what is that? A mining dome, Pathfinder. You should be able to exit the Nomad once inside. What about the crazy space radiation? The dome structure prevents cosmic rays from entering. Disobeyed an order, Cora? In my soldier days? No, that's kind of the point. It's that mechanical. You never thought about it. Military discipline isn't there to give you something cool to rebel against. In combat, people depend on you being in the place they expect, doing what you're meant to do, or they die. That doesn't mean you're doing the right thing. I know. Drive into the airlock, Pathfinder. Exiles, heads up! Kala was right. Exiles.
files everywhere. What would they want with this place? Pathfinder, I detect a data pad nearby. It may provide answers. in shuttle fuel pathfinder. It can also be used to make highly effective explosives. Just what we need. Exiles with explosives. Let's get into that base. The attached passcode is only a fragment. Data here indicates other mining domes. I've added the locations to your map. Hustle was a good scene. That data pad we found mentioned a guy named Crex. Any idea who that is? Beats me. He doesn't come up in any records. Activating automated forward station deployment. Mining zones in this region are available, Pathfinder. I've added them to your nav system. Pathfinder, this area can be mined for resources. You can extract minerals via your mining interface. Automated protocols activated. Deploying forward station. Trigger discipline, Costa. Stop riding me, Harper. You're better than your list of training. You had a mentor. I had a team who didn't want me to die. Still do, right? We all do.
Pathfinder. of mining Helium-3. He's the one we need to stop. The passcode is still incomplete, Pathfinder. I require one more fragment. to think this dust is packed with valuable resources. An effect of solar radiation. The radiation is also partly what makes this planet dangerous. And there, it ticked over. What did? We were promised a prefab homestead exactly this long after exiting cryo. We'll get there, won't we, Ryder? Looks like we can just drive in here. The locker contains personal items. It is registered to the Parchero. Pardon? Sam, you get that fragment? I've completed the passcode, Pathfinder. Marking the XL base in your system. Good. Let's put an end to whatever Crux is doing.
Marco. Sam. Sam, I need info on the exile base. What do you have for me? The base is comprised of two mining domes. The second can only be accessed with a passcode. I also detect multiple frequencies originating from the area. They have communication with Kadara. Pathfinder, this area can be mined for resources. You can extract minerals via your mining interface. Chance for a niche that didn't exist anywhere else. Though I suppose it doesn't here either. We're changing that. I know it. Automated protocols activated. Deploying forward station. Mining zones have been added to your nav system, Pathfinder. Pathfinder, this area can be mined for resources. You can extract minerals via your mining interface. That must be the base the Exiles mentioned. Thanks and his P. 
people. What were they up to? I detect an audio lock nearby, Pathfinder. It may give you the information you need. I don't want excuses, Crex. The dust on the surface isn't enough. If I want to take these initiative colonies out, we'll need a hell of a lot more Helium-3. I know that Remnant Tiller and the Conservatory will work. Get it running. Elora out. They wanted to attack the colonies. But it sounds like they couldn't activate some sort of Remnant Tiller. Sam? An active Remnant Tiller would expose more soil to radiation, increasing Helium-3 production exponentially. If my calculations are correct, this planet could fuel Nexus ships for an estimated 368 years. Our Milky Way supply will run out eventually. Now we won't have to worry. We need to get that tiller up and running. I've marked the Remnant Conservatory on your display. If Alora had mined enough Helium-3 to bomb the colonies... I advise against hypotheticals, Pathfinder. I've alerted the Nexus to the situation. Patrols will be stationed around this planet to ensure the Helium-3 remains in your control. Still, if I ever meet this Alora, we're having a chat. Jal's been asking to talk to you. Hey, Jal. <laughs> Didn't mean to scare you. What? Uh, I'm... I'm not scared. Uh, one second. What's going on in here? You look busy. If I'm busy, my mind is occupied with whatever I'm working on, uh, rather than worrying. Whatever gets you through. Uh, I'd like your advice on something. I'm making gifts for everyone. I have a list. Gifts? Hmm. Do Turians like poetry? For Vetra, I'm writing a poem and engraving it on... Uh, well, uh, I'm not sure yet. Who doesn't like a personalized poem? Ah, great. <laughs> Maybe I could just recite it for her. Make sure I'm there for that. Uh, Liam seems to like my Rothjin. I might sew him one. He does? Do Krogan like knives? I could craft a ceremonial Angaran dagger for Drac. Who wouldn't want that? It's mainly decorative. Would you like one? Jal, this is a lot of work. What's really going on? I'm sure that I seem confident and skilled to you, but I'm not. Or 
I don't feel like I am. Well, I think you're great. <laughs> That's so... It's true. <clears throat> you're making me blush. I can't tell. My family is well known. Our lineage is respected. And many of my kin have achieved great things. I've never been one of them. So many older siblings and cousins who succeeded at everything. I stopped trying to keep up. Right. Thanks for listening. You're not in anyone's shadow here. I believe in you. My reports from Ephra regarding Aksul are worrying. I don't understand how the Rokar manages to recruit so many. I'll see you later, Jal. Stay strong and clear. There's pirates all over this region. You'd think they'd run out of people to steal from. And I'm we're all detected. Course. Sam, send Kalo the nav point provided by our Krogan contact. Drac, we're landing on Elodin to rendezvous with Jorgal Strux. On my way. Where is this meeting place exactly? Called the Paradise. Middle of nowhere as far as I can tell. Paradise is different for a Krogan. I will gather what information I can, Pathfinder. Lives here besides the Krogan? Scavengers with nothing to lose. Criminals chucked out of Kadara. Gonna be interesting. I'm gonna head to the colony, smooth the waters. Okay, hot. It's hot. It's really hot. Nariska 
a hole of those crazy alien pillars. Yeah, God pulled the whole thing apart. Wish I got in on that deal. Did I hear you talking about the Remnant? Dunno. You an eavesdropping snake? Been breaking it down to sell. Could make a killing from the pieces. Uh, Ryder? You should check that out. If it isn't the path... Pathfinder, so happy our paths crossed. Your job is to search and study, right? You could say that. We've only just begun to discover Andromeda. There's so much here to figure out. The tech, how ours intersects. There are amazing things to be built, and you're the one to do it. Don't sell yourself short. We can all do that. Oh, I'm not long for this life. I came to this galaxy to die on a new frontier. I'm happy to impart my last bit of wisdom. I would be honored. Knowledge is power, Pathfinder. We brought the best of what the Milky Way could offer. You have the means to make all this better. So use your resources to study and decipher what's here. Grow from it. Build more efficient, powerful tools. Build the future. That is all. All right, you'll find lots of deals inside. Just talk to my boss. Come on, this way. It's a fair exchange. Welcome to the paradise. Uh, thanks. So, what do you think? What do you mean, what do I think? I mean, look around. No guns, no blood, no violence. Outside the gates, you're on your own, but in here, you're safe. Anyone violates the peace, they have to answer to me. Yeah, everyone's on their best behavior. Is it natural, or are they on something? Heh, <laughs> nothing so complicated. These people need me. They need what I sell, so they behave, or they're out. Now what can I get you? How can I help? Just let me know. What can I buy? I don't know. What do you have to trade? Mostly I sell water. But you should go out to the tanks if you want that. Is there anywhere else on the planet to, I don't know, find water? Not really. And if I don't like the look of you or you get on my bad side, then no water for you. How's it going? Need something? What can I buy? Nice duds. Better watch your back. There's probably already a dozen people planning to kill you for them. Are you threatening me? Sounded like it. Me? No, just trying to be helpful. I know a hard target when I see one. And I stay on your good side. Maybe you won't mind me picking up the scraps you'll leave behind. So, what else can I do for you? You know a Krogan named Strux? Nope. But Krogan are hard to miss. Look around. What do you do on this planet? Why are you here? Why? 
Trying to find out where my claim is? No, relax. I do the same as anyone else here. Try not to get killed. We're done. Suit yourself. I detect above normal temperatures. Automated protocols activated. Deploying forward station. I'm reading a normal temperature range, Pathfinder. Mining zones in this region are available, Pathfinder. I've added them to your nav system. So, Elodin. Charming so far. What do we got? Besides the sand. The remnant monolith suggests this was indeed supposed to be a golden world. It also suggests the presence of a vault. Additionally, here is the large derelict remnant ship that we saw as we landed. Hopefully abandoned. Scans indicate it is not. The site is active with scavengers and remnant bots. Here, scavengers have taken over an abandoned camp between the two. In this direction, located in one of the planet's sinkholes, is New Tachanka, the Krogan colony. Sinkholes. Sounds fun. Not really. Eladin is tidily locked to its sister moon and that gas giant above. This side of the moon never cools. Getting trapped in a sinkhole without shelter would mean certain death, as one's blood would boil in 75 seconds. And on that cheery note, let's head for the climate-controlled paradise of the Nomad. I wasn't there much. Uh, I suppose I liked London. Good choice. Environment check. Temperatures are within acceptable parameters. Look ahead. Scavengers dug into the sick. Enemy! Water's clan still hasn't forgiven the Nexus, huh? Can't say I blame them. It's amazing they managed to set up any kind of working colony on this hellscape. They're Krogan. They can live anywhere. I think we're coming close to the Krogan colony. Mining zones in this region are available, Pathfinder. I've added them to your nav system. Move along. No outsiders. She's with me, human Pathfinder. The one you were telling us about? Name's Ryder. drax has been running with us since we met on Eos. <laughs> Nexus sent you begging us to come back? Shut it, Breck. I'm not here to step on any toes. I can help you guys out. You assume we need help. Hey, you guys did your job. Now stand down and let them in. But Drac, didn't I tell you to shut up? I'll spread the word so Morda knows you're here. Good. I'll see you inside, right? Are gonna have a few more words with this pair first. <laughs> Pathfinder must think he's pretty tough. I saw the worm out there again. Is that thing guys, is huge. real subtle. Bigger than a fresh paw, isn't it? <laughs> the terminal with Dr. O'Care's data was right next to the scrubbed ones. Don't worry, Dr. Gunnar. I'll track it down. Uh, hello. I, I noticed you were listening. Uh, is it because you're a fan of the Krogan genius, Dr. O'Care? 
I'm frantic because a terminal with all his research was accidentally sold to a junker. Um, no? Maybe? What was on it? His work regarding Krogan physiology and the genophage was advanced. I was his protege. Or, I was acquainted with his protege. <laughs> anyway, it's encrypted. But it would be bad if it fell into the wrong hands. I can give you a nav point and the name of the scavenger I accidentally sold it to. You talk about Dr. O'Kir like I should know who that is. Dr. O'Kir was on the leading edge of Krogan genetics and possibly curing the genophage. And not using the slow genetic mutation approach the initiative has invested in. I have, I had a collection of his research. I hope to cure the genophage in the colony. Send me the nav point and the terminal identification. Done. I hope it's still on the planet. The Junker was aggressive. my squad, not Grimm's, and I'll be damned if I let them take orders from him. Line the fighting pit with metal. I don't sell ring call to humans. Matter of principle. What's ring call? Krogan alcohol. Like drinking a live grenade. I distill it myself. Strongest in the galaxy. That's impressive. Not really. I'm the only distiller in the galaxy. What's it like living out here? It's no paradise, but it's easier than Tachanka. Back home, stepping outside during a nuclear wind could tear the plate from your skull. What was it like, traveling on the Nexus? Don't know. I remember Solarians packing us into cryo. Some of us needed a double hit to fall asleep. Then, nothing. Suddenly, we were here. You want to know more, ask Barak. Says he woke up mid-journey and lived 50 years alone on the Nexus. He has to be lying. Probably. Good story, though. What made you pick up and come to Helios? I was sick of living on a dead planet, watching my people tear each other apart. Hitching a ride on the Nexus was a chance to start over. But you left the Nexus. And built this. Best decision the Krogan ever made. Just wish it was on better terms. Not wise to burn bridges out here. What do you have against selling ring call to humans? Spent too much time babysitting humans who think they can stomach it. Fact is, you can't. Maybe it won't kill you, but it'll leave me a mess to clean up. I bet I could handle it. Typical. That's all for now. Back to it. Ryder, this is Grot, an old friend. Practically built this whole place. Don't let the fact that he's hurt not bother you. He can't help it. What do you think of the colony? Pretty great, huh? When you said colony, I didn't think you meant this. Why didn't you tell me, Drac? Wasn't sure about you at first. And then it seemed simpler to just show you when we got here. It's... rustic? That's what we're going for. Rustic. I'm guessing you have questions. How long has the colony been here? Since we left the Nexus. After the mutiny. Just like that? Leave the Nexus, start a colony? We're Krogan, kid. We can live anywhere. Could have parked our tails on a volcano and handled it just fine. There's a lot of prefab materials here. 
And shuttles. Some of it was gear we had stored away on the Nexus. The rest we sort of stole when we left. Not like anyone was gonna stop us. You seem at home here, Drac. And you're not getting any younger. Ever think of retiring? The day you dig my grave, old-timer. Sad honor that'll be. How do you know Drac? We mined together back when our quads had barely dropped. Now I just can't seem to get rid of them. I'll talk to you later. Got the orders from Morda. Just let me go out there with you. Pathfinder, welcome. You don't welcome an alien into our colony, you ignorant child. Shut up, old man. Sorry about that. Don't mind him. Credits are credits, I say. About time someone around here is friendly. Just give him time. Prove you're one of the good ones. Now buy something before he starts yelling again. Well, look at that. Not one of those damn scavengers, are you? I'm with the Andromeda Initiative. That's worse. Look, you wanna buy, talk to my seller. I hired him so I don't have to deal with the customers. Bet the scavengers are crawling all over the salvage you pick up. Not too bad. I pick my scrap out in Anoraxia, where squishies like you can't handle the heat. I don't get too close to the flop house. Scavengers gather there like insects. Can't defend my salvage against those numbers. Look at me. I was a warrior, and now I fight vermin over a junk heap. I hear you woke up on the journey to Helios. That cry wasn't enough to keep me down. Was alone for a hundred years before we reached the cluster. I thought it was fifty years. Fifty, a hundred. It's all the same when you're living on nutrient paste. The Nexus is paradise compared to this. You don't want to go back? In a little. So we can be your attack dogs again? Get treated like dirt until we finally fight back? This is no different than the rebellion back home. Only time we get respect is when we take it by force. We were stupid to think it would be any different here. You talk like you saw the rebellions. You can't be as old as Drac. I was born during the final year, just before the Turians hit us with the genophage. My father died in the fight on Canrum. Took two dozen Turian guns to drop him. I'm glad he didn't live to see us riding in cargo on the Nexus like pets. I should get moving. I'll be here, selling junk. Is this what you signed on for? It's what we have. Not the answer I'm looking for. Just help Ryder and keep going. That's all we can do.
Environment check. Well, temperatures are within better. acceptable parameters. I advise against activating automated forward station deployment. Mining zones in this region are available, Pathfinder. I've added them to your nav system. This heat is unbearable. I detect a considerable temperature drop. I detect above normal temperatures. We've reached the nav point provided by Dr. Gunnar. The Krogan terminal should be nearby. Okay, ice field, everyone. Let's get in and get out. This is the active terminal. Initiating download. Download complete. We may leave now. Easy for you to say. Can you tell what's in all that data? Better have been worth almost getting killed. Temperature levels are just encrypted. However, a few phrases stand out. Krogan super soldier. Pure Krogan. And tank bread. Huh, interesting. Send me a report of what you can decipher. No need to Turian tactics. I ran into this scarred up merc who had some really good... You don't care. It's just... I've studied tactics from thousand year campaigns, Liam. Man, this story killed back home. Pathfinder, I detect broken scavenger machinery ahead. The ambient temperature is normal. Activating automated forward station deployment. Mining zones in this region are available, Pathfinder. I've added them to your nav system. Heat levels increasing. above normal temperatures. Low life, scavengers, criminals. You take me to all the nice... Places. You can go back to the Tempest if you want. And leave you to have all the fun.
environmental temperatures are within acceptable limits. I detect no additional glyphs in the area. Left, right, left. So you can talk the talk. Now walk it. Activating automated forward station deployment. Added them to your nav system. Sorry. Where's the early tech? The motoring museum equivalent. That was about 30,000 years back. Not much left. Oh, no sorry chi chi bang bang. Also no sorry child catcher. Ugh, for the best then.
complete the glyphs, Pathfinder. activated. Deploying forward station. Mining zones in this region are available. Ryder, are those scavengers dismantling the remnant tech? That a problem? It is if they get their hands on a remnant core. It could become unstable and attract the Scourge. How do we stop it? Beats me. Pathfinder, I could modify your mind to disable the cores and prevent them from reacting. Do it. Let's go fix this. Life support is back online. Remnant incoming. above normal temperatures. Life support is back online. Pathfinder, this area can be mined for resources. You can extract minerals via your mining interface. Structure in place back in the Milky Way. Right, the good old days when squirrels carried plague. What are you talking about? Just saying. You know the drill. Go find those cores.
Pathfinder. I am picking up unusual readings at the final site. Energy levels are higher than normal. The cores are already unstable. You need to hurry, Ryder. <laughs> Pathfinder, this area can be mined for resources. Someone is attempting to Can access the comm unit via your I patch interface. Go ahead. Hello, you're a Pathfinder, Pathfinder. right? I detect I a dip in temperature right? ahead. I need the scavengers have set a dune camp. Back there. Back where? Where? Okay. Now, just. Uh oh. Pathfinder, this area can be mined for resources. Grenade in! You can extract minerals via your mining interface. Your honor suit needs a strip down, Cora. Tint is off. Excuse me? The tint. That model was used in the first contact war dock, and Exo Wright recolored the product line to match. But they used you're approaching the refuge of Dirk Barrett. We are not hostile. Repeat, not hostile. Please do not shoot. Well, that's new. Pathfinder, I'm Dirk Barrett. I speak for everyone you see here. Glad you're hearing me out instead of shooting me in the face. It never really hurts to listen. I agree. Most of the people who live here don't as I'm sure you've noticed. They kill anything that moves, including each other. Long-term prospects for survival? Zero. <laughs> Me? I haven't lost my mind. I don't want to die. Neither do these people. That's why I need your help. It may not be wise to help a Nexus exile. The Initiative considers you enemies. What threat am I to the Initiative? Barely hanging on, targeted by the neighbors? We just want a self-sufficient community, able to defend itself and survive without stealing and killing. 
So what's your plan? First, we need to move. This shelter is small and can't be fortified. Another gang has taken over a base about 20 clicks from here. Beautiful setup they don't know how to use. <laughs> Idiots taking apart the walls for scrap. If you can help us clear them out, I think we'll be good. I'll see what I can do. Thanks, Pathfinder. Anything else you need to know, just ask. Why did you come to Elodin? Seemed like a good idea at the time. Yeah, I know. Not the smartest move. Kadara bothered some people. Sloan muscling her way into Angara territory. I guess some of us wanted to start with a clean slate. Too bad I got shit on so fast. Nothing else right now. I'll head out. All right. Won't keep you. Name. But it's good. So what would be best? Hey, complaining doesn't mean I want it to be my job. It never does. You can extract minerals via your mining interface.
of your security be secure. I know what I'm doing. This job didn't exist until I started doing it. We screw up, none of our jobs will exist. I'm aware, thanks. Look out, that junk ahead will attract scavengers. Purification field pathfinder. Looks like there's a trick to this interface. Let's figure it out. Several interface connections converge here. I will highlight the ones you need. Glad we got support.
take them on. Nearby, Pathfinder. There may be a console nearby. Turrets nearby, Pathfinder. Heads up! Big guys ahead! interface. Let's figure it out. Glad hey, I'm getting better at this.
ambient temperature has dropped to 34 degrees Celsius and continues to decrease. Humidity has increased by 21%. We can bring this place back to life. It's nothing. If we get things back on track, it's nothing. I hear you. I can't believe the Nexus exiled so many. We weren't there. We are now. Someone's got to fix this mess. We support that Pathfinder, one job at a time. That tech might be outlaws. That tech might be outlaws. This is the base Barrett wanted us to help with.
Pathfinder, you still alive? The base is clear, like you wanted. Excellent. We'll start preparations for the move immediately. Come by when you can. We might have some stuff hoarded around here that you could use. Barrett, out. We only got that calm after a few hundred years. You can get there in under a century if the right focus is drilled into you. So, bake one out. Or at 300 degrees or one minute at 3,000. Yes, exactly like that. Are you Jorgal Strux? Maybe. You who I think you are? Sarah Ryder, Pathfinder for the Initiative. You asked me to meet you here. Yeah, I did. Thanks for coming. Everyone's best chance for survival is to cooperate. That includes the Krogan. Good. Nice to know some people are on our side. So you have problems at the colony? It's heading to a bad place. We can't be there anymore. Morda's become a tyrant. Did she kick you out? Hasn't come to that yet, so we're laying low. I want to keep my eye on her. She's planning a strike against the Nexus, that much we know. Drac trusts Morda, and I trust Drac. I'm there, Drac isn't. Morda is going to rip this colony apart. And then we're all going to die. Krogan dying. That's a stretch. Everyone needs food and water, even Krogan. Morda's rationing. My group thinks the Krogan should make peace with the Nexus. We need the Krogan, and the Krogan need us. We all came to Andromeda as one. We should at least try to fix this. Well, there won't be a colony to make peace with if Morda ruins it. You don't believe me? Go to the Krogan colony yourself and see what she's planning. Talk to Ravenar Brink. He's one of us, on the inside. If the safety of the Nexus is really on the line, I'll go. Better hope she doesn't shoot me on sight. Yeah, that'd be a bad omen. Out of the Sea of Ataraxia? You don't have permission to approach Morda. You Ravener Brank? 
Struck sent me. He said hey. that you... Yes. Find me later near the fighting pit. Hey, Nexus. I'm the one you talk to around here. Are you Morda? I'm Nakmar Morda, overlord of the Krogan in Helios. Overlord? And you're the celebrated Pathfinder from the Hyperion, found at last. I'm Ryder. This is thrilling. I've never stood so close to a Pathfinder before. Mostly because the Krogan never got one. Welcome to New Tachanka. You mean that? Because it doesn't sound like you mean that. You're right. I don't. You weren't there when the Council species on the Nexus banded together to screw over the Krogan. Again. New Galaxy, same crap. I'd just like you to give me, personally, the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> Why are you here, Pathfinder? To see what a successful colony looks like? Our outposts are new. We could use the advice. Your manipulation is so transparent. No advice for you. Only regret. Watch. The Krogan will thrive and the initiative will pay. Get out of my face before I smash it. I'm going to journal about this later. See you soon. Charming. Plus, she just confirmed our worst fears. Yeah, Pathfinder. maybe. The initiative will pay. She said that, right? I, I didn't imagine it. Let's talk to Brent before we freak out. I don't like this. They won't take much more. Ravenor Brank. Quiet. Anyone tells Morda I'm talking to you and I'm kicked out. Last thing I want to do is jeopardize the Nexus or this colony. Me neither. Or Clan Ravenor. Or Clan Jorgo. Or Clan Erdnot. Some in Clan Nakmor, too. Okay, got it. Did you see the crash ship as you landed? Morda's after the Drive Core. She can't activate it. It's Remnant. What are you talking about? She's building a bomb. With a drive core as a power source. Sam? Dangerous to those handling it, but in the end, very possible. Demolition teams have been busting down walls for months, battling those robots and scavengers. Lots here want peace with the Nexus. If Morda gets that drive core, boom, it's over. Now get away from me. Got it, thanks. This time, oh, things are shit. Shit. A bomb?
Carrion's War? The black and white one? Nope. What about Heart of Sirius? Nope. Who can live this long and miss that many classics? Must be a talent. Pathfinder, the salvage ahead attracted scavengers. Pathfinder, this area can be mined for resources. You can extract minerals via your mining interface. Detecting deep seismic activity in this area. That thing is massive. I wonder what brought it down. So, a tin can full of remnant. Sounds like fun. Yep. Trapped in cranky remnant. Bodies, electricity arcing. We don't want to go in there. We need to find a way around this. There's more around every corner. Watch your six, and your three, and your nine, and your... Get ready to fight! Scanning will reveal the missing glyphs. That should complete the glyphs, Pathfinder. Nice work. Information from Kadara lists raw materials from remnant architecture as extremely profitable. There's a lot of damage in here. Better watch our step. Hopefully we can find a route to the drive core and get out of here. Also means the killer bots 
I won't complain. This is probably the access terminal for... The drive core's not here. Someone's been here, but they didn't come in the way we just did. Couldn't have. A crash like this? There must be another entrance. <laughs> Burned again for politely using the front door. So, who has it? Scavengers? Gotta be. When I find the scavenger scum that has my drive core... Okay, I might be taking this too personally. Let's hunt them down. Huh. I don't think these belong here. Flares? That's not Remnant Tech. The intruders must have entered from this direction. More flares. Seems like the right direction. Very kind of these thieves to leave us a clear trail. Pretty handy. I'd hate to get lost in here. No wonder about the dead scavengers. I'm not surprised they're getting their asses kicked. So this is how they got in, whoever it was. It doesn't make sense that Mortis people took the drive core. If they knew about this entrance, why would they try to break in? Finally, back out into the bright, bright, scorching light of day. Yep, sun. Relentless sun. We've got a lock on your position. Sending down a forward station. Suvi, Sam's uploaded a signature from the Remnant drive core housing. Can you trace it? Tricky from our position. It won't be a full scan. Give me whatever you can. We need to find out who stole it. Yeah. Did it fall into the wrong hands, or the even worse than wrong hands? Okay, think I've got something. I've updated your nav system. How that scanned energy signature helps us find the drive core? The drive core emitted a unique reading that I haven't encountered before in Redmond Tech. It took a great deal of power to run that ship, whatever its purpose. Suvi, keep your eyes on this and give us an update when we get closer. Don't want to overshoot. I detect multiple hostile life forms. Looks like a remnant derelict. Pathfinder. This area can be mined for resources. Half beans, plural. Fantastic. We're sure this is the right spot. I'm sure. Perfect. How come the right spot is never by a quiet pond or in a field of wildflowers? I'll tell them. Mind my scan until we are closer. Right in. Let's take these beasts. 
stealth. Thank you. Sam, let's scan for this drive core. Scan is complete. By my calculations, the drive core is here. Wait until Morda sees us waltz in with her drive core under our arm. Drive core here. Suvi? Sam? What's going on? The drive core was here, Pathfinder. By the strength of the signature, not long ago. Of all the shitty luck. Sometimes I think I'm unlucky. In general, I mean. Not that I've noticed. You can be honest. It's possible, right? Could even be genetic. That's a question for Lexi. I think I'd rather not. Pathfinder. This area can be mined for resources. You can extract minerals via your mining interface. action this time. Krogan versus scavengers. Think this was about the drive core or just an ambush for loot? Let's scan the bodies before they turn to dust, shall we? Or we do. Pathfinder, I'm scanning the unique signature from the drive core, but it's clearly not here. Yeah, I got that part. Which is why I specified, clearly. Sam, were you being sarcastic? Not intentionally. However, I've noted that my response was regarded that way. Drive core must be powerful to be worth killing and dying for. Guess the winner of this fight took off with it. Seems to track. We should look for another clue to where they were headed. Why you should never write down your password. We still have that drive core reading, right? Let's not forget our priorities.
for themselves out here. Be ready for anything. You ever hear the saying, honor among thieves? Yeah, but it isn't true. Ever. Flop house, where all the scum gather. Elodin will never be a safe place to settle unless they're gone. Sounds like a plan. Bypass the command center's doors from here, Pathfinder. Please try to remain within range of the console until the process is complete. Got company! Shit. 
trouble. This console opens a door to a nearby bunker. Looks like it's time to explore. There. Let's hope that stops them. Let's not forget about that drive core. used, uh, but I'm not sure for what. Drac, any ideas? A few. Clan Jorgal is the worst. Unbalanced. Unreliable. You think maybe Strux wants to build a bomb? Or just sell it on Kadara. But then why hide it here? I don't know, but I can't wait to find out. I'm super curious. Who can guess the motivations of a crazy Krogan? Drac, do me a favor and don't spill this to the Krogan yet. I want to talk to Morden Strux face to face. You got it. <laughs> Gil, I need you to send an ops crew to this location. They're picking up a remnant drive core. Got it. Will do. Sam, change the passcode on the door to this place and transmit it to Gil. Keep that tech safe. It might be the most powerful thing we've found. I'll be glad when this is over so I can take a shower. My sweat is sweaty. Could head to Bold for a snowball fight.
think the Krogan colony is right around the corner. to approach Morda. Hello, Nexus. You're back. I am. Strux tells me you went to get the drive core from my remnant ship. That's true. And that you sold it to scavengers who took it off-world to make a profit. For you and them? Strux is the one you should be interrogating. Stay out of Krogan affairs, Nexus. I'll interrogate who I want. Are all Krogan terrible listeners? Wait for it. Clan Nakmore is a joke. The losers of Chichanka and now the losers of Helios. Overlord Morda has lost the Drive Corps and our colony is doomed. You're all talk, Jorgal Strux. I made this colony. If there's an Overlord, they should be from the oldest Krogan blood, Clan Jorgal. Watch, I'll rescue the Drive Corps and make us so powerful that the Nexus will bow down to us. Except you can't, cause we have it. Aw, oh, Drac. I want to see how long before he hung himself. What do you mean you have it? I'll let the Pathfinder answer that. I have it, but I took it from Strux's men, not the derelict. I'm impressed, Strux. You're more cunning than most Clan Jorgal. Smarter, even. Neck more arrogance. My father lowered himself to join your clan because he admired your grandfather. He was laughed at, called not worth killing. But now I've bested you, Morda, and Clan Nakmore will pay with blood. You put the colony at risk over a grudge you carried across dark space? You really aren't worth killing, Jorgal Strux. Get out. Take your goons with you. Now where is the Drive core? Hand it over. Just like that? Hand it over? It's incredibly powerful. We'll use it to power the colony. This'll put us ahead by decades. Or it could do the same for Pedromos. If you keep that Drive core, it's over between the Krogan and the Nexus forever. You have to give us something for it. It's only right. We did get shot at. A lot. What about joining our colony with your outpost? Give us the Drive Corps and we'll be friends. New to Chunka and Nexus. Keep it, and you've created a sovereign Krogan nation. We don't abide by Nexus laws or owe you anything, even peace. Ryder, I must point out that historically, unchecked Krogan advancement has been the cause of war and disaster for many, even the Krogan. Well, Okay, Morda. Let's work together. You can have the Remnant Drive Corps. And you can set up your outpost here, Nexus. We're all gonna be friends and prosper, right? You bet we are. Whenever you're ready, bring your outpost people here, and they'll be welcome. This is a great day, Morda. We'll contact Addison and give her the news. Good luck, Overlord Morda. Pathfinder, this location is ideal for outpost placement. You can call an outpost by the beacon.
strange what triggers memories. Something about that last combat took me back to training. Voice of a mentor? Favorite training ground? The smell of blood from an impact meant to teach respect. Hard one you, Cora Harper. Confirmed. Calling out. You really did it. Almost a civil war, and you brought them back. But it's all about the resources. No poetry, right? I considered the Krogan a permanent loss. Too many egos involved. Thankfully, my ledgers don't care how they get filled. If I can retroactively call the Krogan colony an outpost, that's a win. But that practicality is not universal. Tan will hate this. I'm not interested in opinions that don't see the value here. Good, because there will be a lot of them. But not from me. This won't be our last outpost to find, but new Tachanka helps immeasurably. We can't rest for long, of course. There will always be a need. But for now, I need your voice to remind them what this meant. Get the flags waving. This seems more important than that. It's about setting a tone, not telling the whole story. There's a reason the Krogan came with the Initiative. Why the Initiative needs them. It's obvious on Elodin. They bring out a part of ourselves that we need. Welcome to New Tachanka. We're all a little Krogan here. One for the records, Pathfinder. Addison out. Looking for that something special? Boomerang has got what you need. Best loot in the dunes, here for your perusal. You're a scavenger. Not anymore, I'm not. Fine folks at the Initiative gave me a second shot. I'm on something called a probationary period, got a fancy metal bracelet on my ankle and everything. They're too good to old Boomerang. I'm keeping my eye on you, the second you put a toe out of line. On my best behavior, Pathfinder, honest. I'm a Nexus man now. If I scrap and scavenge, I do it for the good of the initiative. Reassuring. Enough about me. You're here for the good stuff. Look what Boomerang's got for you. to enter our family quarters. You tell him if we catch him there again, he's losing a hand. If you touch my people, we have a problem. <laughs>
Ryder, Vetra wanted you to check in when you can. Pet genetics defies everything we know. They're bits of different species, and yet all cat. It's bizarre, horrifying, fascinating, all at once. Just think, while you're poking around in their genetics, they're probably doing the same with ours. Huh. Wonderful. That's me never sleeping again. I should get back to things. Sounds good? You have... Have AVP outstanding, Pathfinder. up something. Anomaly on sensors. Beginning approach. Vold orbit is steady.
Approaching the LZ. Picking up a faint signal. Looks like a friendly ship. It matches the transponder code for Asari survey vessel, Perifona. That's the ship Hidaria mentioned. We might be close. I miss being able to give directions by what used to be there. What are you even talking about? Turn where the chip shop used to be. That's a hometown. One day, if we do our jobs. Huh. I thought this would be the Perifona. Ice or mineral deposits may be reflecting false positives. The real signal must be relatively close. Cat on the bridge. Where there's cat, there's trouble. We have to deal with this. Did you just ask, would you rather, would you... Still getting the Perifona signal. Wonder why she's on the ground. Oh, we have to check that out.
Nice work. Pathfinder, I detect Kent among the salvage. Another false reading, but we must be closing in. Seriously, Ryder, you didn't bring any music? Tighten up, Costa. I'm not getting flanked because you're distracted. Do you prefer Batarian Flood, Roman Column, or Elcor Core? Just pick one and stick to it. This is the source of the Periphonus signal. Oh god. And there's Ked on sight. Let's clear them out. That's the Periphona, all right. What's left of her? Definitely Ket weapons fire. This wasn't just a crash. The Ket pulverized the ship. No survivors. Without the crew, we've lost our best lead to the Asari Ark. But... This is stupid. If they want Asari for exaltation, why not take the crew alive? Maybe they saw a helpless target and couldn't resist. Hold on, I got something. Could be a flight recorder. It's in bad shape, but let's see what... Final log. If the Ark ever finds this, we failed. Couldn't draw them off. The data copy's lost. The decimation's too cunning. Forgive us. We tried... The decimation. Hadaria mentioned specialized cat hunters. Maybe that's them. Any way we could use that or the flight recorder to find the Ark. If the nav record survived, we could trace the Periphonos flight path might lead us to them. I can't assist. I'll take a look when we get back. Still lots to do. Slam. That mess with Callet can't happen again. We had to deal with him eventually. I just prefer more controlled circumstances. I'll try. But I was in crisis response, not controlled circumstances response. Active remnant nearby. I suggest investigating. Automated protocols activated. Deploying forward station. Mining zones have been added to your nav system, Pathfinder.
I think Lexi wanted to speak to you. Pathfinder, Old is steady. you have new email. Anomaly on sensors. up something. Entering atmosphere, LZ in sight. My allergies flaring up already. Two million light years from home, and you have allergies. Could be my spider sense. Don't know. Shot to the gut. Painful. I appreciate the help back there. Name's Avidus Ricks. Sorry if my methods seem extreme. Civilian life is... trying. Sarah Ryder, Human Pathfinder. You former military? A Spectre. Special tactics and reconnaissance. Did the Council's dirty work for 15 years. What, like their laundry? <laughs> More like classified assassinations and espionage. The initiative was my retirement plan. Then Natanis hit the scourge and bam, woke up here. What happened? Where's the Ark? No idea. Had to break out of my own damn stasis pod. A fall like that should have killed you. Now those pods are sturdier than they look. 
But most of the Turian population is still missing, including Mason, our Pathfinder. Sam hasn't transferred to me, so he's alive. Just don't know where. He hasn't made it back to the Nexus. Knowing Mason, he's out there looking for me. Mason dedicated his life to Andromeda. He's too stubborn to die now. We need every Pathfinder we can get. The debris and stasis pods from Natanis are scattered across the sector. Between the two of us, we should find something. You go left, I go right? <laughs> something like that. Rumor has it scavengers found pieces of an Ark on a planet called Elodin. Could be nothing, but it's a lead worth checking. I'll let you know if I find anything. I'm in your debt, Pathfinder. I think Lexi wanted to speak to you. You have AVP outstanding, Pathfinder. So that looks good to you? As if any of your meals passed the bucket test. Ah, oh, Ryder. Sorry for the mess. Who's your friend? An exalted cat. I called Jarl to show him. Ah, oh, there he is. Jarl, look at this. There's nothing Angara inside. The physical can be deceiving. I've run hundreds of tests. Only traces of the Angara genome remain. The Exalted are Ket. 
There must be a way to fix them. Anything's possible. We just have to keep trying. Even from mistakes, we can learn. Thank you, Ryder. What? Jarl needs to accept that exaltation is permanent. You're making his grief worse. I didn't think about it like that. Because you see him as a friend, not a patient. That's why I'm here. To observe and treat. Jarl is part of this crew. His welfare is my responsibility. I know this job was a surprise. But you've really stepped up. And look, you got your cat sample. Their bodies are unlike anything I've seen. Centuries of gene stealing, crafted evolution. It's horrible, of course, but also fascinating. Glad you're settling in. Sink or swim, right? <sighs> I should probably clean this up before it starts to smell. We got it, Ryder. You patched up the Asari flight recorder? Some old access codes, a little data recovery from Sam. We have the Asari Ark's last heading. Nav points are set. We can head there whenever you're ready. Remember the survey ship. This might not be pretty. Are you? Handling tough stuff is my job. We need the Asari and Sarissa more than ever. I trust you to find them before the Ket do. Hey, Ryder. Got an encrypted message from Sid. She has news and wanted to talk to us both. Connecting the call now. Finally! I've been waiting for hours! So you want to tell us what this is all about? I was listening to outpost updates and caught a message about settlers going missing. That doesn't sound good. Yeah, because it's not. They were kidnapped. I dug around, and I think I know where they've been taken. A cave on a moon in the Ramav system. Originally an Angaran mine, I think, but they abandoned it. I don't believe the planet you're talking about is a moon. Whatever. What did I tell you about getting involved? I couldn't just do nothing. How do we know your intel's even reliable? It's reliable. I trust your sister, and there's no sense in wasting time. See? That's a Pathfinder. Sid, just give us everything you have on this. Already done. Could I come along? I want to help. <sighs> you know the answer to that. Right, of course. Stay away from bad people, guns, bombs, Krogan beer. You did good. I just want you to be safe, okay? Yeah, yeah. You have AVP outstanding, Pathfinder. Anomaly detected. out here. Even that random radio noise we get from the Scourge is quieter. Eerie. Anomaly on sensors.
Anomaly detected. Probe away. This is Cora's nav point? We're approaching the nav points Cora found. Something's there. It might be an arc, but the damn scourge isn't helping. Sam, help out with the sensors. Hard to believe the Lucinia could survive in all this. Focus on how we can help them. Good call. Help Asari, piss off the cat. Very cathartic. Sarissa will have plans for those decimation hunters. Wrote the manual on crisis situations. The commando you mentioned. You still believe she'll save the day? Sarissa was a legend even before she was the Pathfinder's bodyguard. She'll have a plan. Aha! Detecting an initiative vessel. Reading life signs. And minimal power. Multiple hull breaches. She's a wreck. If she's space-worthy and her crew's alive, that's all we need. Callow, take us in. I'll try. Must be one docking bay still holding together. We're aboard. Any response to comms? Nothing. Maybe their sensors are busted. No space battle did this. Beginning decompression! Die, you cat monsters! We're not cat! We're a Pathfinder team! Ryder, Lieutenant Harper, and Sam, just send her ID codes. Confirmed. Sorry. I'm Captain Atondra, of what's left of the Lucinia. Come up to the bridge. Maybe you can help fix this mess. Okay, I'd be tense too, but that was close. This area saw combat action. No bodies, though. Whatever happened left the captain a little trigger happy. If the Tempest looked like this, how would you feel? But you'd vent a Pathfinder team into space? Respectfully, yes. We can't take any more chances. <clears throat> Sarissa Theris, Pathfinder. Don't mind the captain. Scolding me eases her blood pressure. Cora here thought the famous Sarissa would have everything in hand. I thought Matriarch Ashara was Pathfinder, ma'am, and you were her bodyguard, like her Tiamna. I served with Asari Commandos, ma'am. Memorized all your battle manuals. Matriarch Ashara is dead. Sarissa was next in line. Her battle manuals haven't kept the cat off my arc. That ends today. We'll see your arc safely back to the Nexus. I hope so. We've tried everything else. Matriarch Ashara died trying to negotiate with those cat bastards, so I took something precious from them, too. I stole a module containing tactical data, all their secret routes through this phenomenon. We call it the Scourge, ma'am. If we could outmaneuver the Ket through it... We'd stand a better chance against them. Their Archon had the same thought. 
He sent his elite agent, the Valiant, and his decimation hunters after us. We take more damage each time we escape the Valiant. The last assault? He sent forces to board us. Sarissa's theft has made things problematic. How many borders are we talking about? We're not sure, but for now, they're contained down there. We couldn't do more. We spent our resources evacuating civilians. The Valiant wants Sarissa to pay. Pathfinders have to take risks, Captain. I've taken my share. Goddess, preserve me. What would it take to get the Ark out of here before this Valiant catches up again? An FTL burn long enough to lose him. But since the evacuation, we've been stuck at minimal power. The drive core is dead. My people are investigating, but those systems are below deck, with the Ket borders. Another Pathfinder team could back them up. Get power for the drive core, and my Sam and I will finish deciphering the Ket data. We'll turn the Valiant's escape routes against him. Consider it done, ma'am. The last commando report came from Hangar Control. I'll give you access. Please be careful. take risks. They really do. Matriarch Ashara, your father. We roll the dice and... Hey, sometimes we win. Come on, the sooner we find those commandos, the better. Was it this quiet when the Arcs were traveling through dark space? <laughs> That's a cheery thought. The Lucenia will be back to normal once we get her to the Nexus. Stop! In the name of the Goddess, I'll... Shoot your rescuers. Rescuers? And humans? Your Ark made it? Just about. I'm Ryder, the Human Pathfinder. This is my team. I'm Vidaria Damali, Sarissa's new second-in-command. Sorry about the mix-up. I hope I can help. The captain says we need to restore power to go to FTL. Right, yes. I've tracked the power drain, and I think shutting the hangar bay doors will fix it. The cat forced the doors open, and the safeties are draining power trying to shut them. Don't worry. My Sam can probably override whatever the cat did. Ket can survive in vacuum for a little while. If we shut the doors, the Valiant's pet hunters lose their last escape route, too. I pray the power will be enough for FTL, I just... Vidaria, I served as a huntress. Remember Sarissa's manuals. Breathe, purpose, action. Breathe. <sighs> okay. Please take a look at the console. I'll keep watch. Starting hangar door closure sequence. Kent! We've got this. Cover the console while Sam works. Nice steady fire! Yes, ma'am! Hangar door closure at 21%. Hangar doors 
the closer locked. Cat access is cut off. Okay, that should have done it. Seems pretty dark for having the power back on. Vidaria? Let's ask her. What was that? I estimate that several of the arc's electrical junctions just overloaded. Shit. Vidaria? Vidaria, Sam says we lost some electrical junctions. I know. The overload started a fire. Damn it, that shouldn't have happened. Be calm, soldier. What could have made him overload? If... If there's something else draining power on the lower decks, as something big... Theories can wait, people. Let's secure the Ark first. That might be complicated. Those Kets, they must be watching us. If they delay the repairs long enough, the Valiant ship catches up. If we're quick and efficient, we can outmaneuver them. Okay. First thing is the last stasis pods. I'll go check on them. You could go below, look for whatever's draining power, and maybe help with the fire? Which way to the lower decks? Uh, the living quarters. I'll open maintenance access. You can cut through. Good luck. May the cat wither in the void before you. Ryder, it's Sarissa. We got some power, then a damage report. What happened? An accident. We're fixing it. All right. Go forward. We'll keep prepping the drive core. We won't let you down, man. Of course not, Lieutenant. Sarissa out. I'm almost at the stasis pods. Ah, blasted. No power for elevators. Vidaria, cut the elevator's mag locks. If the arc's like ours, you can climb down the shaft. Good idea. Thanks, man. <laughs> really hope these things got aboard after. Vidaria again. Two cat were trying to mess with the stasis pods. Not anymore. Good work. Remember Sarissa's manuals. Stay low. I will. The pods are safe. I'll keep tracking that power drain. Looks bad. Why isn't the fire suppression system engaged? Either insufficient power, or the explosion damaged fire control. We could fix that if we find the controls. And then reach whatever's draining power without getting singed. It's Vidaria. The cat saw me. I am trapped. Cat, light them up! Careful, they're above us! I think the Ket were after the fire suppression controls. Over there. Ah. Yeah, that's right. Ironic. The electrical junction is damaged. I recommend searching for an alternative. Whatever this power is, the Ark needs fire control more. There. Let's try again. That should cool us off. Vidaria again? I got the Ket. They got me back, but I'm okay. Nice work. And with the hangar shut, I managed to track the real power drain. Here's the nav point. I'll see you there. Captain Atandra here. We're warming up the drive core, but we need more juice. We're on it, Captain. Good. The Valiant ship is still out there somewhere. Oh! What? A Looks like an observation deck. People evacuated through here. Drop anything that didn't matter. Thank the goddess, you're all right. Here, this is what's draining the power. What is this thing? It looks like the cat attack sheared off some hull plating. Then someone rigged up this Mass Effect field device. The field's so strong, it holds the hull together. It would help people evacuate the deck beyond. And give anyone sensitive to Mass Effect fields a nasty migraine. No kidding. But they'd survive. The deck's deserted now. We have to turn the device off. I tried pulling the plug, but nothing. Can you scan it? Maybe your Sam can figure it out. 
The device requires two people for shutdown, one disconnecting the cables, and another at the device itself. I'll handle the device. Caution. Once begun, the failsafe cycle must be completed, or the device will fuse. Ready, Vidaria? Disconnecting the first cable now. Cat! Watch the device. We'll handle them. But we need you, Vidaria. You can do this. They're down. Okay, next cable. Ready when you are. More, Cat! Take them down! Goddess, how many came aboard? Rider, this must be the last of them. This is their last dance. Break through. can now be deactivated. That noise, it's gone. Well, I guess it's just that way. It's Captain Atandra. Ryder, the drive course coming online. You did it. A few minutes and we're out of here. Can we still go to FTL if there's, say, a big hull breach down here? Uh, the maneuver I planned should hold us together. If the FTL burn doesn't, we'll have to cope. Sarissa here. Superb work, all of you. We're almost home. It's really over. I should go and help. There might be something I can do. You helped save this whole arc. Not bad for your first big mission. Sarissa should be proud, Vidaria. You'll be one hell of a commando. You'd know, Lieutenant. Thank you, for everything. Goddess guide you. Pathfinder, restoring power has freed up a data cache. It includes the succession log from Matriarch Ishara. Can you access it? Forget the data. I need you. The barrier's collapsing. Ishara, they'll tear the Ark apart. I... That data is the only thing that might buy us time. Cat reinforcements approaching, Pathfinder Ishara. Sarissa! My Sam can't... Tiamna, please! I have to save them, even if I can't save... Forgive me. used to mean guardian of temples, a champion who stayed faithful even when all was lost. Sarissa left her to die. Sarissa was forced to choose between her Pathfinder and her Ark. She made the right call. Look around. Does this look like a right call? I... Damn it all, Ryder. What do I do? First, we... Atandra here. The Cat Hunters blindsided us. They have a dropship headed for the breach on Deck 12. How long until we have FTL? Too long. Sarissa's coming to help. Push him back. Helmets on, people. The 
mass effect field device is still connected. Remotely triggering it may affect local gravity. Could be useful. Skeleton crew, but enough to patch up the Ark. She'll make it to the Nexus. Whatever it cost. You need to talk to Sarissa about Ashara's message. I wanted to thank you both. That was exemplary work. I'm proud to- Ma'am? Sarissa? We know about Ashara. The log survived. Then her final moments her won't be final... lost. You deserted your Pathfinder. You should be better than... I chose protecting all these people over a single life. The choice they train us to make, Lieutenant. But you didn't tell anyone. Because then you wouldn't be their shining hero. And maybe that's how it should be. Being a Pathfinder means giving them hope. Ryder, you know this, don't you? It's over. Bringing up what happened won't do any good. Is that justice? Is that for you to decide? Sorry, but we need to prep for the Nexus approach. We've got a hell of a story for them. You should know. The Nexus is going to throw you the party of a lifetime. You can raise a glass to the Fallen. And to a better future. We don't walk an easy road. I hope we both find what we're looking for. Come on, Ryder. We're good here.
Hey, you okay? Can I just do today over again? And not run away from my duty? I put so much faith in Sarissa. But the Asari were just as lost as we are. We know our mission. I think we're finding our way pretty well. <laughs> Should have known better than to say that to a Pathfinder. Thank you for being there, on the Lucinia. Can I tell you something? Sure. The old man was right to choose you as Pathfinder instead. I don't blaze a trail. I always look for the mentor, their plan. As a Pathfinder, my mistakes would be worse than Sarissa's. I still want you on my team and as my friend. I hope that counts for something. Everything, actually. Look, neither of us chose this, but maybe we both ended up where we needed to be, even if we lost your father. But it's happened. If you can't outrun it, gotta use it. What did you... <laughs> he said something like that once. Still true. I need to think a bit, but I'll be okay. And on deck whenever you need me. Yeah? When's the last time you had a normal conversation? This is... That isn't... Everyone on this ship is an experiment all it. to you. And I've got no interest in being a guinea pig. Pathfinder, this site could support an initiative outpost.
anything as badass as those Asari. I saw that kind of firepower in my Huntress unit for years. Never got used to it. But you were one of them. I was there. Really, being one of them would be a few centuries' work. Are any of them alive? It's difficult to obtain a clear reading on all pods at once. We should investigate. in the genome. Not Mason Barrow. This one's got power. No match. Subject is a child. None of the pods match Mason Barrow, Pathfinder. Hope. Help me get it open. Pathfinder, the body has no vitals. Damn it. The stasis pod still functions. I can access its data history. According to the final log, this stasis pod was jettisoned from Ark Natanus. When they hit the Scourge? The timeline doesn't match. This pod was ejected long after Natanus was reported missing. We assume the Ark was destroyed, but maybe it's intact. The crew could still be alive. If they are, why are they dumping their people? We should update Avatus. He'll want to know what we found. Drac said he wants to talk to you. You have AVP outstanding, Pathfinder.
big con channels already, Pathfinder. Ryder, I was just about to call you. Everything all right? I've got numbers, coordinates, flashing in my head. I, I think it's an SOS from Mason. It could be coming from your salmon plant. He's sending me his location. We did find evidence that Natanus may be intact. What evidence? A bunch of stasis pods were jettisoned from the Ark. No survivors. But the logs show it happened long after Natanus hit the Scourge. Someone's still flying the damn thing. Or keeping it afloat, at least. Here are the coordinates for my implant. Meet me there. We'll find answers. Read the mission briefs. This isn't good, Ryder. The Archon's dangerous. I've seen people like him before. We'll figure him out. Pride will get us all killed. This ain't the time for it, kid. From where I stand, the Archon thinks he knows what's best for us. Problem is, he can follow through on it. That exaltation the Ket do, it turns people into slaves. He can do that to us. He has that power. Someone like him you take out fast and hard. Get the leader, the rest will follow. Honestly, drop a nuke on his head, blow up a sun if you have to, take the collateral damage. There's better ways to stop him than brute force. Maybe, but I'm not gonna let an enemy get close enough to pry my plates open and go for the soft kill. You don't mess around with this kind of thing. Ends badly, each and every time. Another galaxy, and there are still despots. We saw similar types back when I worked as a peacekeeper. Pirates attacking the colonies. We trained the colonists, and they started fighting back. Raiders didn't expect that. The Angara already know how to fight. But the Archon, he's got an army to back up his crazy. But I've got you, and everyone else on board. Huh. True enough. Never underestimate a small, capable strike force. You keep thinking about how you want to handle this. We'll only get one real chance at it, won't we? Yep, so when we take him down, let's make sure he stays down. on sensors. Approaching the nav point provided by Avatus. That's... the Turian Ark. It's seen better days. Incoming call. <clears throat> Pathfinder, I think we're on the right track. No kidding. Is it safe to board? Only one way to find out. I'll meet you inside.
Limited power. Life support's busted. Surprised there's any gravity at all. This can't be easy to see. I'm not really a feelings type of guy, Ryder. Even so... Let's just find Mason. HO47C. It was supposed to be the Turian homeworld in Helios. Like Habitat 7. Whoever was piloting the Ark wanted to get here. No matter the cost. Even if that meant jettisoning entire sections of the Ark. It doesn't make sense. Come on. Speculating won't get us anywhere. We're lucky this part of the Ark survived. Looks can be deceiving, Pathfinder. The hull is barely holding together. Thanks, Sam. Always a ray of sunshine. I could provide analysis via the scanner, Pathfinder. Locked. Needs power to open. Something's gotta still be online in this wreck. Hey, this door still got power. I wouldn't open that Pathfinder. It leads to space. Perhaps you could divert the power to a different door. Power has been diverted, Pathfinder. This one's still got juice. Looks pretty busted. Think your Sam can get us in? Don't give the AI all the credit. I help. Excuse me. I found a log from Dea Praton, the Ark's captain. The video is corrupt, but I can recover the audio. Play it. Something's tearing the Tannis apart. Half the cryo chamber is gone, trying to get anyone awake to the escape pods. Spirits, there's no time. Find Mason. Dea was abandoning ship. She wouldn't leave unless the situation was dire. The Tannis didn't get here on its own. We need to know what happened next. The rest of the data on this console is corrupt. Perhaps if we find another. Or the Ark Sam node. All right, let's keep looking. going that way. Ugh, this one also needs power. Maybe we can use the same trick as last time? Divert power from something else? The door should now be operational, Pathfinder. Over here! There's still life in this one. Sam. Sam. How are we doing? Mason. Bring it back. Sam, help me out. Like the previous log, the video data is corrupt. What about audio? Repairing now. One moment, please. We're going to find him, Avatus. Mason, he's... more than the Pathfinder to me. Playing audio now. Sam, how far to Abby's pod? 300 meters. <laughs> An easy stroll then. Damn it! Maybe not so easy. Where's the rest of it? That is all I could recover. Damn it. We know he survived the initial impact. Oh, he didn't sound good. Don't give up on him yet. That door leads to the SAM node. We've got to get in there. Surprise! It's locked. The SAM node should now be accessible. Sam, where's the Pathfinder? Where's Mason? Avi. 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 
commence. Stars. Avi, isn't that what Mason called you? He's the only one who calls me that. My counterpart is suffering from severe trauma. If I partition the damage, it may be able to speak with us. Be careful. I don't want to lose this, Sam, because we rushed for answers. Avitas Riggs, welcome home. Sam, Mason sent coordinates to this location. I need to find him. You are mistaken. I sent the coordinates. What do you mean, you sent the coordinates? The Pathfinder ordered me to help Avatars find a home for the Turians. I located our destination, HO-47C, then sought out Avatars. Why would Mason do that? It was his last request. This thing's still busted. It doesn't know what it's talking about. We should have access to Mason's logs. Maybe there's something in there. <sighs> Abby, whatever we hit, a piece of it shredded my suit. It stings like hell, but spirits, it's beautiful. I need you to go on, for the both of us. Don't let that temper get the better of you. Sam, commence transfer. Yes, Pathfinder. Even the stars look brighter. He died before the transfer was complete. That must be the source of Sam's trauma. Why bring me here? What was the point? To complete the transfer, the Torians need a Pathfinder. <sighs> I, I can't. What do you mean you can't? I never thought I'd get the job. My whole career, I worked alone. I don't know how to lead people. I don't want to lead people. Avatus, I've seen you protect settlers. You found the Turian Ark. You've already been playing the part of Pathfinder, just without the title. A title that belongs to Mason. Which he wanted you to have. Rejecting it won't bring him back. What if I let him down? You could only do that by walking away. Ah, uh, damn it, you're right. Shall I begin transfer? It'll be safer on the Nexus. Suvi, call Tan. We need a shuttle to pick up the Sam node. Tell him we found the Turian Pathfinder. Gil's been asking if you can come by. Hello, Gil. When are you cleaning up that repair on the sensor console? I'm not. It's a redesign. A redesign? Without a trained crew? I'm trained and it's working great. Don't be so uptight. Everything okay? No. Oh. Fine. Fine. Don't worry about it. Anomaly on sensors.
would like to welcome our Asari pilgrims to the Nexus. You've had a long journey, but we're thrilled that Ark Lucinia has finally arrived. We ask for patience as we find homes for everyone. To those who doubted the future, the proof stands before you. The Asari live, and so does the dream. Ah, there's the hero who made it possible, Pathfinder Rider. Do you have any words for us? Like Director Tan said, the dream lives. If we all pull together, this can work. Exactly what I would have said. In fact, I think I did. We all owe Ryder a debt of gratitude. In the meantime, please enjoy whatever comforts the Nexus can offer a weary traveler. Excuse me. You are the one who saved us? I am. I owe you everything. If it hadn't been for you, I'd be dead. We all would. Now we have a future. A bright future. You've been through a tough time, but it gets better. There's plenty of good in Helios. I can't wait to find it. Should I apply for an outpost? I'm just happy to have your skills. I could do more good out there. Pathfinder Rider. A word, please. I gotta tell Cash to do something about her. Already. Hi, I'm Gia Garden, founder of the initiative. Welcome to the Nexus. We ask that you spend a few short minutes going through immigration processing. It's not the best quality, but we don't have many options here. Unlocking. Come on in. Ta-da! My project 
She is complete. She? Looks like a she to me. Just a proof of concept. I stripped out its remnant command prompts to see if I could power it up myself. It worked! Now I can build a field model with combat protocols that fights for you. So, uh, what do you think? You've outdone yourself, PB. Let Suvi and Gil eyeball it, then fast track the combat model for me. I'd hoped you'd be happy. Oh no, I forgot to lock the... Shit. My, my, Pelisaria. Didn't know you were still using this hole. Who's your friend? Kalinda, this is Ryder. Oh, everyone knows the human pathfinder. I meant who's your remnant friend? None of your business, Kalinda. Of course it isn't. That's what makes it so interesting. Don't be so hostile, babe. No reason we can't all be civil, right? Exactly. But you are kind of trespassing, so... Now, now. I was just concerned something might have happened to my dear old friend. I'm sorry for the intrusion, Pelisaria. I'm just relieved to see you moving on. Ta-ta. I'll walk you out. So, wanna talk about it? Well, Kalinda and I go way back. We joined the initiative together. For a long time, we were like family. Now we're not. When you live a thousand years, Ryder, people come and people go. Entanglements are silly. Just like places. Time to pack this one up. I'm done with it. Hey, I hope you know you can talk to me. Anytime. Aren't you a cutie? Thanks, Ryder. That's nice. I mean it. But really, the past is the past. I'm fine. I'll pack up my new pet and essentials. See you back on the Tempest. Uprising as security tightens across all sectors on the Nexus. Director Tan stresses that it's, quote, for your safety. This is HNS. Sorry to call you in, but this is best handled discreetly. Talk to me. Short version. One of Harry's medtechs snuck a relative on board. Woke them up, cut them loose. Turns out this relative has a rare illness. Not contagious yet, but in the later stages. They exposed the whole station to a potentially contagious illness? Yes. We need to keep this quiet and handle it fast. This gets out, we'll have a station-wide panic. Besides... This is a Hyperion matter. My responsibility. That makes it mine too, doesn't it, Captain? Thank you, Ryder. Please keep this to yourself for now. The only way this ends without major losses is if we handle things before the rumors get out. Right. I'll look into it. Good. Talk to Harry. He can brief you on the details. Let's bring this under control before it's too late.
Good you're here. Done briefed you? A sick person loose on the station is bad enough. I wish that's all there was to it. Before we left, my med tech Charlie helped his aunt sign on to the initiative program. He cheated the screening process. Yeah, she has TH314. Deadly, highly contagious in the latter stages and jumps across species. It was dormant, but flared up when Charlie woke her. He just assumed it was stasis sickness. There's no cure, no vaccine. It's deadly in its final stage and she's off grid. She's a problem. What should I know about this TH314? Stage one symptoms are similar to stasis sickness, which is what fooled Charlie. Stage two is marked by extreme bouts of paranoia. It becomes virulently contagious at stage three. Airborne, the works. Is anyone else infected? No one so far. According to the test results I received after Charlie left, she's still in stage one. If she progresses to stage three, Ryder, it'll be bad. It's a rare disease, but the kind that starts pandemics. Any idea where he's gone? Not long ago, he was assigned to an Apex unit for a mission. Incommunicado at the moment. Charlie had no idea the virus would flare up after stasis. Virology isn't his specialty. She's his only relative. Even so, he should have known better. We need to make sure she's brought in and no one else is infected. I want to put her well-being above all else, but... We have to consider the implications. Making sure TH314 doesn't spread is the top priority, no matter what. This one isn't going to be easy. Anything else I need to know? Be quick but discreet. We can't panic the entire station over this. I only have a whole space station to search. Discreetly. Check. Could be worse. She could be off station and potentially infecting the Angara. Try customs first. Even with fake medical clearance, she had to go through there like anyone else. Dr. Carlyle has granted me access to Ruth Becker's profile. The file includes her physical description. That'll be useful. Thanks, Sam. A worker was lost to space during repairs on the Nexus Hall. The victim's name has been withheld until next of kin in the Milky Way is notified. This is HNS. Sarah Ryder. Hi, welcome to the Nexus. Let me check the database and... Wait, you're already approved. And you're a Pathfinder. Uh, hi? Maybe you can help me. I'm looking for someone. Have you seen Ruth Becker? Yes, I have. Why are you asking? Harry just needs me to verify something with her. Nothing major. Oh, well, if Harry sent you, I guess that's okay. Now, let me see. Yes, Ruth Becker. Tried to set me up with her nephew. It was cute. Anything else that you can remember? I restricted her access to the common area because there were problems with her file. I sorted things out, then messaged her to let her know she was clear. Thank you. Restricted access, huh? Sam, can you do anything with that? Yes. I believe I can help you retrace her steps, at least during that time. Pathfinder, I've integrated Ruth Becker. Ruth Becker was here, Pathfinder. You can trace her with your scanner. Scanner can pick up Ruth Becker's move. Your scanner can pick up Ruth Becker's movements again. Please be mindful of guests visiting the cultural exchange center. Good morning. Or is it evening? We ask that you extend your courtesy and cooperation to our new neighbors. A worker was lost to space. 
Your scanner can pick up Ruth Becker's movements again. Make them hear. Make them know. Make them lead or make them go. Your scanner can pick up Ruth Becker's movements again. Pathfinder Rider, I need to know something from right now. The flag of Tear Booty. Let's hear it. Hey, has Ruth Becker been around lately? She was woken up not long ago. Hey, has Ruth Becker been around lately? She was woken up not long ago. Ruth? Yeah, sure. She was talking to Lisa earlier. Solarian, end of the bar. Ryder? Hey, later, right? I'm Ryder. Dutch said you'd been talking to Ruth Becker earlier? Yeah. You're looking for Ruthie. She was here earlier. Helped me sort out some paperwork. I don't know what I would have done without her. Any idea where she might be? She mentioned checking in on a friend in arms. Terran, I think. Is everything okay? Charlie's fine, right? It would destroy her if anything happened to him. I need to find her as soon as possible. Oh? That doesn't sound good. I hope you find her quickly, then. Thank you. Shoot. You've been to Gadara. You've seen the exiles there. They used to be with us. Friends, family, co-workers. A lot of us worry about them. We hear it's chaos, that it's dog-eat-dog. -dog. It's hard living. They have to watch their backs and do whatever it takes to survive. So scary. Despite what happened, my heart goes out to them. Thank you for taking the time. Hello, can I help you with anything? Hi, my name's Ryder. You're Terran, right? Yeah. What's going on? I'm looking for Ruth Becker. Was she here? She was here not long ago. She didn't look so good, though. She did just get unthawed. She's bound to be less than stellar. I don't think this was Stasis sickness. She was nervous, kept looking around. She talked about keeping her nephew safe. She ran off mid-sentence. We were talking about the shuttles. Uh, maybe she went to the docks? I'll check it out. Thanks. Sam, paranoia defines stage two of TH314, right? Correct. No, it isn't the virus the becomes what highly contagious in stage three. How the hell should I she gets off the station. The risks of a pandemic increase greatly. Ryder, we have a problem. A shuttle was stolen after a dock worker was attacked. From the description he gave me, it was Ruth. Well, that's not good. No. She's definitely in stage two. Go speak with that dock worker. It's very bad if she got off the station. I'm not good with everything yet. How are things going with... Good work locating the Asari Ark, Ryder. There were a few bumps along the way, but we handled it. Perhaps it's best I don't know. All that matters is that the Lucinia has returned, safe and sound. Did you have some other business? Thought I'd check in on the Arcs. 
Keep investigating, Ryder. We still need closure on the Salarian Ark. Until all the species are accounted for, we're a broken family. That's all. Thanks for your time. My pleasure. I see great things in our future. Are you sure? We should really get medical yeah. to check you out. Can you tell me what happened here? I was here fixing a shuttle when this woman came out of nowhere. She whacked me over the head and took the shuttle. Nearly fried me taking off. Any idea where she went? Uh, I bet she didn't log a destination with control before blasting off. This is crazy. What's going on? Why would she do that? Don't worry. I'll bring her back. Good. Thank you. Anything else you can tell me? I blow towards the hell out of the hall when she hit me. She'll leave her radiation trail a click wide. That's good. Very good. I can work with that. Thank you. Hi, I'm Sam, our scanners can track the shuttle's emission trail, right? Suvi confirms. Look, we can contain a call. Ryther, have you seen Lexi? She's not in the med bay? No, and she's not answering her call. I'll find her. Activating automated forward station deployment. I wonder it's toxic. This shit's on fire. 
an exothermic reaction from the sulfuric acid coming in contact with water in the atmosphere. It'd be pretty if not for the burning water, and the exiles, and the smell. All right, Sam, show me what we've got. Kodara's water is dense with sulfide minerals, the oxidation of which produces toxic streams and lakes. So, no skinny dipping? No dipping at all, Pathfinder. Even the Nomad's shields cannot withstand the water's corrosive properties. The presence of monoliths suggests a vault that might reduce the acidity. However, outlaws, pirates, and other unsavory exiles inhabit Kadara's hills. The further you travel from the mountain, the more dangerous it will become. Good to know. Let's get out there. I'm getting a lot of anomaly reports from one prospector. Really weird reports. Let me guess. All in Lloyd? Travel solo and read too many spy comics. You could probably change his breather more often. Just forward it to me. I'll translate for colonial affairs. Maybe loop in a psychiatrist. Freud would love this guy. Right. Get him a tincture of lithium while we're at it. Power Qatar port. Got them all. Anyone know some good shanties? I could pull a parrot out of my ass. Liam? No, just no. over there. Want to stock up on supplies? What the hell happened here? I don't see signs of an attack. Scanning the bodies could provide a clue. point on your map. Sam, another memory trigger? One of your father's memories is now accessible. Return to Samnode on the Hyperion to investigate further. We got your SOS. What's the emergency? 
Oh, uh, well, it's not like life or death or anything. It's just our plant over there is dying. What the hell makes a plant so important? It's how we make a living out here. Our plant, uh, well, has medicinal properties. <laughs> medicinal. Yeah, that sounds good. And we sell it to, you know, customers who need, uh, medicinal assistance. Yeah, but our heat lamp UV thing broke and it's gonna die. And you look like the clever type. Well, maybe you could find one? Sure, this is all about medicine. Oh, it totally is. Antibiotic, whatchamacallit. And maybe it has mm, other benefits, but in the Badlands, can't be picky. I'll have to get back to you on that, or not. The first thing you just said, we'll take that option. Remember, a UV lamp thing. near the location of the shuttle, stolen by Ruth Becker. All right, be careful and stay away from Ruth when we find her. I'll handle this. Sam can make sure I'm safe, but you're all at risk. Follow contagion protocols. Harry's brief was clear. That wasn't a soft landing. <laughs> Ruth Becker. <coughs> Shuttles crashed. I think I'm in stage three of TH314. The virus was dormant. I don't understand. <coughs> I can't let anyone near me. I'm going to set the warning buoys and rig the shuttle to blow. I'm scared. I'm alone, but I can't take the risk. I'm so sorry. I. Who's there? No, no, wait, stay away from me, you can't! Shit, somebody found her. Took her, maybe. Then it's possible the illness is spreading. Over here. Guessing they're not friendly. No one here looks sick. Stop them! They must not interfere!
we get to Ruth in time, maybe we can use a pod to bring her back. Stay back, or I kill it. No, 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 I have TH-314. I'm contagious. Don't come near me. Quiet. Human. Let me go, or this one dies. We know everything you're up to. We know your plan to infect the Milky Way species. You think you know everything, but you understand nothing. Your people and the Ket are all invaders. The Rokar will kill you all. You can't let him go. I think he is a sample of the virus. Just... just shoot him. You have a choice, human. Save this woman, or try to stop me. Sam, scan him. Does he have a sample of the virus? Affirmative. However, it is badly degraded. Possibly beyond use. Let me go! Now! You and that sample are going nowhere. So be it! <laughs> Damn it. Damn it. We cannot risk anyone getting a sample of the virus from the body. Stasis pod. We'll bring her back to the Nexus and Harry can make arrangements. And the Rokar plan on using TH-314 to kill off the Milky Way species here. Not a relief. Look at Kadara Port up there. It's like the Exiles are playing King of the Mountain. I think you mean Queen of the Mountain? Transponder near this location. Found it. That's a mess. The transponder's power source is drained. 
so let's juice it up. Turn it on, then Gil can work his magic. Once complete, this should provide us with the Archon's location, and in turn, Meridian's. We're one step closer to building a home in Helios. Yep. Only easy stuff ahead. Pathfinder, we just received a notification that there's been a murder in Kadara Port. Murder, huh? Might be something to look into. Yes. Lovely planet. Hope we never leave. How are we doing on RDB? Stocks overflowing. Welcome to Car of This Point. Name's Malix. You looking for a place to hole up? Got some open beds. Food and clean water cost extra. Take it you don't have any private rooms. I could put up a sheet. I'll pass. Suit yourself. My squad and I came across an Angaran town not far from here. The inhabitants were poisoned. Their water filters had been tampered with. Nasty way to go. I know Karabdis Point was causing trouble for the Angara. Really? It's news to me. I just sell beds. And clean water. I don't like what you're implying, Pathfinder. Either rent a bed or get the fuck out. Please. find a solution to Kadara's water toxicity problems. Can't settle here unless Sloan agrees to play nice. What about the charlatan? The collective's gaining power. We do not know the charlatan's identity. Sloan may be our only option. The doll could offer insight. I've added them to your NAV system. Pathfinder, this area can be mined for resources. You can extract minerals via your mining interface. ready to talk to you about the Ket Trent. Transmitter? You have AVP outstanding, Pathfinder.
So the Turians kick out the genophage, basically destroy our people, and they get a pat on the back and a seat on the council. And what do I get? A medal. A medal? From who? My buddy. Made one out of a piece of scrap and pinned it to my chest. Still got it somewhere. Gil, here's that Ket transponder. The spy used it to get his orders. What do we need from it? The location it points to? Should give us a fix on the Archon ship. <sighs> right. It's not like there's much writing on this. Just our best chance to find Meridian. Pressure. I like that. Luckily, no matter where you go in the universe, physics still applies. Only so many ways of communicating across space. There. Give it a shot. Did you connect the... <laughs> Shit, turn it off. Careful. That is a direct line to people who want to murder everyone on this ship. Sam? I have the coordinates. The signal points to the Tafino system. We sure we want to do this? I know we're still getting our feet wet, but I don't see another choice. <laughs> I knew running off to Andromeda would be dangerous, but shit. This is dangerous. Only if we die. Orbiting Gadara. Anomaly detected. Anomaly detected. Find it. 
Visit me for all your day-to-day -day needs. Your credits are as good as anyone else's. Don't start any trouble and we're fine. I'll be the poster child for no trouble. Whatever that means, it'll do. Visit me for all your day-to-day -day needs. Ryder. I'm not selling to aliens. Welcome back. I trust our people had a smooth transition to Aya. The Angara have been gracious. Everything's going well. Good. Keep me updated. Tan out. I've never lied to a director before. Pathfinder, it's a pleasure. I'm Ambassador Riala, Chief Diplomat for the Initiative on Aya. I was removed from Cryo specifically for this. Quite the wake-up call. I know what it's like. Jumping out of the cryopod and into the fire. You've had it far worse. My condolences on your loss. I hear you're to thank for our new ties with Aya. This is our best shot at an alliance. Now we just need to keep our people from wrecking it, no matter how hard they try. I'm not going to like this, am I? No more than I do. A Salarian botanist named Sorvis Len is here, learning how to improve our crops. He sent an urgent calm, saying a member of the Angaran resistance had threatened him. What happened? I'm not sure. Sorvis is an excellent scientist, but not the best communicator. I'm concerned this could escalate if someone doesn't look into it, but I don't have the staff to spare. I can go settle things. I'm a friendly face for both sides. That would be helpful. With any luck, we can prevent this from getting worse. What's our end goal for Aya? A strong alliance is all we can ask for. It's what we're working toward. Helios is the Angara's home. They dictate the terms of this partnership, not us. We need them as allies, and they could benefit from us. But we have to tread lightly. Show them we're not invaders. Historically, when two civilizations meet, one consumes or destroys the other. We need to break that cycle. How many of our people have they let into the city? A strictly limited number, and only certain professions. Scientists, engineers, and scholars. The Angara have agreed to allow some of our people to work in Aya's research facilities. That's huge. It's more than I expected. Tan wants me to push for social visits, but I'm holding my ground. We need to move at their pace. They've been extraordinarily gracious, all things considered. I'll take whatever they're willing to give. Aside from Sorvis Len, is everything okay? Need anything else? Actually, yes. Director Tan gave me a project. He wants more Aya natives to live on the Nexus. He thinks it will deepen our partnership. A few Angara expressed interest, but... None of them will agree to live on the Nexus without speaking to you first. Why me? After what you've accomplished? I didn't want to bother you, but... You asked. I'll point you towards the candidates. If you could convince them to transfer, I'd be grateful. That's all for now. I'm here if you need anything. No rest for the weary.
You're one of Ambassador Rial's candidates to live on the Nexus. I am. Glad you finally showed up. Let's get down to it. I've lived my whole life wanting to meet aliens who didn't want me dead. But my family's here. How can I stay in touch with them from the Nexus? You'll have ways to send them text messages and comm transmissions. I want contact with the people I love. You offer machines. But are not good enough, Pathfinder. Pathfinder. Ryder. Well, what do you think? I could get used to this. We take turns living here. You can see why. You're relaxed here. There's a sparkle in your eye. I am. Thank you. It's nice of you to notice. You're interesting. I like to notice. Thank you for making sure that this squad behaves while on Aya. I don't tell them what to do on their own time. That's not how Paran sees it. I predict jail in your future. I caught Liam on the bridge the other day, teaching Suvi and Kalo an old Angaran folk song. At least that's what I told him it was. <laughs> okay. Hmm, don't fret. The marriage can be dissolved by a different song. I'll try to remember it. I can't work under these conditions. What does it take to be left alone? Ambassador Riala sent me to check on you. You reported that someone in the Resistance threatened you. Tell me exactly what happened. I didn't know Riala was sending the Pathfinder. I deserve no less, of course. I was measuring the photonic dispersal from the canopies when some random brute interrupted me. I asked him to move, and he got nasty. Said it was my fault his friend was dead. <laughs> Ridiculous. That's a weird thing to say. How'd he threaten you? Oh, I don't know. Maybe it was the big gun he was carrying? He got right up in my face and compared me to a cat. He wanted to kill me. I could see it in his eyes. The whole conversation made no sense. I think he was inebriated. I'm not saying you're wrong, but dial it down. We're guests here. Exactly. We shouldn't have to put up with this. When he left, I tagged him with infrared dye from my sample kit. Invisible to the naked eye, but not to a scanner. I'll scan people around the Resistance headquarters, see if I find him. You're supposed to represent our interests, Anaya. Go, represent. I have work to do. Pathfinder, Ambassador Riala didn't think you'd have time for me. She said you needed to talk before agreeing to live on the Nexus. This is the opportunity of a lifetime. I'm an anthropologist, but I've only ever studied my own people. I've heard the Nexus is home to multiple species and cultures. It would be fascinating and possibly dangerous. Bacteria, viruses, other contaminants. My family worries about me. Are you sure I'll be safe? They wouldn't let me on Aya if I was a walking petri dish, would they? You aren't taking this seriously enough to satisfy my family. I can't go without their blessing. I'm sorry.
Getting acquainted with our new neighbors? Sort of. All this stuff. The Angara sure do have a rich culture and blah, blah, blah. You're sauced, aren't you? What's your poison? Achcha. I visited that cafe the Angara consider a bar. As for their hardest stuff, it was weird, which I like, but had almost no <laughs> punch. <laughs> Lightweight. Whoa. Steady now? That stuff must have a slow absorption rate. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, writer. It's just... This museum reminds me of being on Haitiana during my indentured service as a student. They even have a whole section on the remnant. I didn't come to Andromeda to follow in someone else's footsteps. Don't worry, PB. The Angara barely have a foothold. Sure, they live among the ruins, but they haven't seen what we've already seen. Hmm. You might have a point there. Bet nobody here has ever outrun an ancient vault purification field, huh? <laughs> nope. Or spat in that Archon's ugly mug and lived to talk about it? That was nice work, by the way. Thank you. Ah, you're right. I'm not sure why, but ever since I packed up my apartment on the Nexus, something's crawled under my skin. But whatever it is, I promise, I'll get over it lickety-split. Be sure you do. You're a handful, even sober. You can handle me, Ryder, whenever you want. <gasps> Think I'll stay in your operation a little while longer. should have come to me. Shh, Axel, I'm all right. You almost died. What's she doing here? I asked the Moshai to set up a meeting. I don't want us to be enemies. Is this true? Axel, Ryder rescued me from the Ket. She risked her life to... Sloane Kelly saved Kadara. Look how that went. I want to be allies. Equal allies. <laughs> you don't even treat your own equally. Isn't that why the Krogan left? How did you... I've been watching you. You're invaders just like the Ket, except less cautious. What does that mean? You'll know soon enough. Do not trust them, Chauvin. Axel... He didn't used to be like this. He was curious. Brilliant. But the Ket, even without exultation, they change us. There's still time to bring him around. I want to believe that, but his hatred towards aliens. I'll prove we can be trusted. I hope so. Ryder, we just received an emergency recording from Eos. Come to the meeting room when you get back to the Tempest. Hello there. I'm working. You scanned me pretty hard. That wasn't your way of saying welcome, stranger? I wanted to be discreet. Noted. What's your interest in me? You're an alien on my homeworld. Why wouldn't I be interested? You could have asked. Fine. Will you submit to a full spectrum analysis of your biology? Can't fault you for being curious. Scan away. I didn't think you'd comply. I'm full of surprises. That you are. 
When we face extinction, family is our final comfort. Do you understand that? I've spent long enough around your people to understand what family means to you. You only see the surface. Family is everything. Not only the one we have now, but the ones that follow us. What will your family look like in five generations? Ten? How many of you will there be? You're worried there'll be more of us than you. I have 23 grandchildren. I want to know what their grandchildren will inherit. Goodbye, Pathfinder. You have questions? Be quick. What else did your scan reveal about me? You're strong, tough. But much of Helios is inhospitable to human biology. You won't have it easy. Never have. How do humans stack up against your people in the Ket? You lack biological advantages, but your technology may offset that. How do you stay busy when you're not scanning strangers from another galaxy? I research and develop organic tactical equalizers. That sounds... scary. Only to those who threaten Aya. It can't have been easy, holding out by yourselves against the Ket. Before them, it was the Scourge. Our entire civilization was almost wiped out. Centuries of rebuilding. It says a lot that you've made it this far. We'll go much further. Thanks for your time. Yes, yes. Go. Ambassador Realis said you're thinking of moving to the Nexus. A finder. I'm honored even to be considered for the transfer. But I won't be happy as just an observer. I want... need to work. I engineer power systems. Will I be allowed employment alongside your people? If you put in a request, someone will get back to you. And if they refuse? <sighs> we'll have to think about it. Thank you, Pathfinder. PB said she wanted to talk to you. I found that plant you wanted. Great. I'll give the recipe a try when I'm off duty. I've already got ideas for how to jazz it up. And I'll keep working on Mr. I don't like movie nights here to come along. I like them. I just don't trust our autopilot alone for too long. Puck, puck, puck. 
You're gonna be the gateway to so many great things, my friend. Hey there. You named her Pock? Yep. Proof of concept. To distinguish her from Zap, your souped-up, nasty combat version. Zap. I like it. Yeah, it's edgy. The storage box from the vault on Eos was the key to everything, including integrating that piece of rent tech you got me. But our new Observer friends are just the beginning. I'm working on something even bigger. Sure, why stop and smell the roses? Getting remnant technology to work is so passe. I'm not one to rest on my laurels. So get this. We can only scan for remnant signatures we've already encountered. My scanner's doing that around the clock. But if I integrate the right rem tech, we could scour the cluster for any remnant signature, even ones we don't have. My scanner would literally become a remnant mystery detector. Your enthusiasm is infectious. Well, don't tell Lexi. She'll look for a cure. I came to Andromeda to touch the unknown. To find the never-before-found. Once I perfect this scanner, it'll do exactly that. All I need is three specific pieces of Remtech. We can do that. You rock. Pock and Zap think so too. So far, I've located the first piece. It's back on Eos. I'll upload the coordinates. Moshai's tough. Haval, the oldest new world. I like it. Just checking in. I wanted to ask about you. Mm -hmm. What do you want to know? Tell me about your friends in crisis response. <laughs> I swore I wouldn't tell anyone what they did. Stealing the shuttle for the car was above and beyond. Dondi, Base, Mazzy, Noel, Cap, and goddamn Hammond. <laughs> The best people when buildings have fallen down. Eventually, I'll have to start a new branch here, you know? I promised. I have to know about the car. We'd wrench on it as a family. Mom suggested it, and Dad liked a happy mom. That's how I fell into mechanical stuff. Armor and jump jets. Mom wasn't a fan of the second part. You know how it is. I worried my parents from time to time. That's a kid's job. I probably crossed the line a few times, though. Like jumping a galaxy. That's why I have to make this work. If I don't, then Andromeda was a mistake. I said goodbye to too many people to let that happen. We'll talk later. I know it. What can I do for you, Pathfinder? I'll see you later, Joel. Stay strong and clear. Prepping VidCon communications. Suvi, play the full distress call from Padromos. Right away. This is the initiative outpost Padromos on EOS. We're in need of assistance. Tempest, this one is for you. We've got hostiles inbound. No ground activity, but there soon will be. Pathfinder, we need you. Going dark until it's resolved. We're not giving up EOS again. Out. Could use more information than just hostiles and the worry of escalation. Could be he's worried it's not a simple attack. If someone's willing to risk attacking Prodromos, your first outpost... They're trying to make a point. That's the last we heard? Nothing else? No rider, but also no alarms. The orbital buoy isn't showing any major traffic. Bradley's military, all about the prep. I bet it's a brownout to present less of a target. 
Keep the nav fresh. I'll be on the bridge soon. Understood. Anomaly on sensors. Ready to fly, Path. What the? Find something? Something pinged us. An ID request. The Tempest auto responded. We'll keep an eye out in the sector. Green. Coordinating. Path is calm. Sorry to keep you in the dark, Pathfinder, but there are eyes on this planet. We didn't see much traffic from orbit. It's there, but hopefully you can get ahead of this before it turns into something bad. See you soon. Sam, another memory trigger? One of your father's memories is now accessible. Return to Samnode on the Hyperion to investigate further. Thanks for coming. Knew you'd be up for it. I need answers. You said there were hostiles inbound. We've had raids. With all our scientific gizmos, we expected pirates. But not this. 4-5, repeat. Stockpile complete. Waiting for beacon. Launch on detection. Repeat. 1-2-3. What am I hearing, Bradley? Here's my worry. Maybe the raids we've seen were just a decoy. So someone could do a slow tactical build-up in the Black Rock. Tactical? You mean military? I mean Rokar. That's why I called you instead of raising the alarm. An attack on our first outpost? Can you imagine how the Nexus would react? That's what the Rokar want. I'm nobody's fool. Eos has been through enough. We'll put a stop to whatever this is. <sighs> I knew you would. I hope I'm wrong, Pathfinder. I didn't want to bring this kind of thinking to Andromeda. 
Head to Black Rock Tan. I'll transmit the nav point for the signal. Protocols activated. Deploying forward station. Mining zones have been added to your nav system, Pathfinder. Outposts and an arc escape pod. Where'd they get that? Doesn't matter. They're not keeping it. We need an up close scan. That looks like cat tech. You're a long way from the flock, little duck. Little duck? Who is this? Someone who's got word of you. Come to my nav point. If you. I see it, Tom. Because it is. Guess you run out of names eventually. Activating automated forward station deployment. Mining zones in this region are available, Pathfinder. I've added them to your nav system. than when we first landed. Maybe I'm just getting used to it. The Black Rock signal comes and goes. You've evened out the weather, but I wouldn't call reception clear. Eel still feels frontier. Claim, but not tame, you like to say. Reminds me of that poem, Lone and Level Sands. We'll clear the cat off Eos for good. The cat just have to make their mark. I think that's it. Cat ahead, Pathfinder. I recommend caution. Almost at Black Rock Tand. Right up. There is no doubt it's a Roka signal. Understood. Eyes open. Remnant pillars. Probably a few defenses. 
Activating automated forward station deployment. Mining zones in this region are available, Pathfinder. I've added them to your nav system. Pathfinder, this area can be... Bradley was right. Rokar on sight. Monitoring. They'll hold some in reserve. Understood. Protecting. Be careful. My doubt was about piracy. Go on. This signal can call dropships to a precise location. A Rokar strategy rider. The scout would have placed a beacon in the center of Prodromos. Telling Axul exactly where to strike. Bradley, Blackrock was a Rokar scout with a homing beacon. Shit. Glad you put an end to that. This job is half done. We need to ensure they don't come back. Not sure what you're asking, Pathfinder. We can't risk our first outpost. Not like the first two. Promise and resilience. What are you planning? We use their beacon. If they want a target, let's give them one. On our terms. Site 2 is still powered. You could broadcast from the old comm array. Bait and switch at site two. Let's go. for this rope approaching site 2 resilience nav point marked for rokar signal upload be ready it'll draw them right to you we know this place they don't and they won't starting rokar signal upload Now might be a good time to take cover. Human, I told you no soon enough. The beacon is live. You couldn't stop our scouts. They've bought it. Hold until they're on the ground. Holding.
Keep up the pressure. Lockdown was manual before the power restrictions. Why do that? It wouldn't keep anything out. It would keep something in. Axel, the Pathfinder is coming. Motherless. Everyone prepare to defend. Sounds like they're losing their support. Think that's it. Pathfinder? The Rokar attack is over. We'll know what to watch for in the future. It can't just be this old man and his hunches. Special thanks to our friend, Jal. It helps to show we're not all on opposite sides. We can't assume anyone could be an enemy. That's no way to live. We're not planning on it. How's the team holding up? A little shell-shocked. Can't blame them. Maybe I should say something? If you like. I want you to know, people will hear about this. Your bravery this day, and every day, will not go unrecorded. I'll make sure there's a commendation in every record. You all deserve it. So, when do we get back to work? No awards, asked or expected. We lose sometimes, but if they have the choice to keep going, they'll take it. This wasn't a good day, but it was another day. You gave them that. Your people, Ryder. Mayor Bradley. Pathfinder, good to see you. We're busy as anything, thanks to you. Bit dusty, but we can adapt. It's worth it when it's your own. Make sure to keep a clear log of what you're doing. Well, let's save some bandwidth. Busted ass defeat initiative. Copy, paste, repeat. You did your part. Everyone here is ready to do theirs. 
You'll see our report in every shipment back home. Some key positions, Connor Supply, Ramirez Medical, Abram Science, Fox Engineering. With them and my major domo, we won't end up like Site 1 and 2. The first two outposts didn't have a chance. It was clear to everyone on the ground. I saw the brief. I'm making sure every one of our people is eyes wide. You changed this planet, but that doesn't make it easy. We'll use the efforts of those who went before. Good people, every last one. I'd have been honored to fail with any of them. Looking back isn't a good use of time. We have to keep building. Keep is generous. We have to start. Real building, not just survival. Oh, and Pathfinder, this is for you. It's our flag. Hang it where the Nexus can see. It's touched the soil of our first outpost in Andromeda. Make it real. Oh, and while you're back, talk to my Major Domo. There's more going on, and I needed an assistant. Pathfinder. Glad to be in one piece after Liam's little jaunt to that cat ship. You loved it, old man. Not loving the ache today. We typed the shit out of those systems. Tell me about yourself. August Bradley. Retired from the Alliance. I keep the discipline, but not so much the doctrine. I joined the initiative because it's a frontier. Not a lot of those left. Not that you can reach on my pension anyway. Any family? A niece on Earth. We didn't talk after my sister passed. I've had similar happen to my family. Yes, well, we stay out of people's grief. My father, your sister. Sounds like we've both lost a lot. We stay out of people's grief, Pathfinder. What is that? Stay out of people's grief? You've said it before. Shit, that's right. You didn't have the block leader death talk. The thing is, you and your father, not unique, just recent. Every initiative species, except maybe Asari and Krogan, went into cryo with friends and family and woke up knowing they were all dead. Everything we build begins with that. The unsaid start to the initiative. So yeah, we stay out of people's grief. How do you keep it from just spilling out? I let it. And my people stay out of it when I do. And I stay out of theirs. What's that old saying? Children with dead parents think everything is possible and nothing is safe? That seems like it fits anyone in the initiative. Or maybe everyone. Any insights about the people running the show from the Nexus? I only work with Addison. She's by the book. And with all the shit that happened, that's to her credit. And the others? I only work with Addison. Anything you'd say if you weren't in their direct employ? If I wasn't in their direct employ, I'd give that rat's nest a wide berth. Outposts deal with Addison. She deals with the others. And I don't envy her. What's behind naming the outpost Prodromos? It means Forerunner. Languages bore the shit out of me, but we voted fair. That ownership is key to the initiative. That's how you convince a bunch of civilians to jump galaxies. As long as we meet our obligations to the Nexus, what we build and how we organize, we get to figure it out. Just looking for a status report. Informal, of course. Varand is helping with all sorts of things. A lot of her friends are on the way as well. Good optics all around. We'll talk another time. Oh, and Pathfinder, what I said about grief? Every pirate we brought to this cluster woke up with the same reality you did. Maybe think about that when shooting doesn't have to start. Ascent is go.
receiving ammo. All clear. Gil's been asking if you can come by. Pathfinder, you have new email. How's it going? I should get back to things. Sounds good. You have AVP outstanding, Pathfinder. Bitcoin channels already, Pathfinder. Jal, I'm in the meeting room. Right behind you, Ryder. Pulling up the message. Jal Amadarov, you always were a short-sighted fool. Helping an outsider instead of your own people. You're unfit to bear your family's name. I didn't mean to make my enemies yours. Mm. He said similar things before. When we were students, the Moshai paired us together. We've never gotten along. He's just jealous. Of what? You're the better man. Well, <laughs> I am better looking. Aksul wants us to do something reckless. Let's not give him the satisfaction. Anomaly on sensors. Ryder, we're getting a lot of Ketcom chatter. Keep a stealth, Callow. No sense picking a fight just yet. Pathfinder, sensors confirm the presence of the Archon's ship. I'll be damned. It worked. But there's something else. That's an initiative ship tethered to it. It's... Ark Parchero! Confirmed. It matches the Solarian Ark. Readings suggest it has been here for some time. Well, that changes things.
It's true, then? We found the Solarian Ark? Sam, tactical. It looks like the Archon captured it. The ships are tethered. What's the plan? I'm working on it. Sam, connect me to the Moshai. On screen. Ryder, it's good to see you again. We've located the Archon ship. It's more complicated than we thought, so I wanted to make sure we knew what we were looking for. It was a large remnant relic depicting Meridian. It's in his private chamber. His sanctum, he called it. He's very proud of that relic. Right up until we steal it. The Archon isn't to be trifled with. He has no regard for the sanctity of life, not as we know it. Be confident, Ryder. But be cautious. I understand. Thank you for your help, Moshai. Of course. I wish you well. Okay, we play this right. Not only do we get away with the relic, we save the Solarians. I say we get onto the Ark, assess the situation, then sneak onto the Ketchup through the tether. A feasible approach. Currently, Ark Pachero is on standby. Only its stasis facilities are online. What about the Solarians? Unknown. You heard the Moshai. Who knows what the Archon's capable of? If he's done anything to those Solarians, he'll find out what we can do. Ryder? Whatever you need. Those are my people. We'll get them back. Now let's make this one count. <laughs> Tempest, we're in. So far, no unusual activity from the Ket ship. Let's hope it stays that way. Pathfinder, if you access a terminal, I can assess the situation. Accessing Arc Pachero's internal systems. A moment. Additional data encryption has been added. That's not regulation. Did the Solarians do that? It appears so. It's a cryptography key associated with their intelligence services. I have unlocked it. At present, Mark Parchero has arrived in the Helios Cluster. Location of Nexus is unknown. This is Captain Hager of Ark Pachero. If you are receiving this message, hostile aliens have captured our ship. Please look for our Pathfinder, Zevon Reka. Situation urgent. Well, that was clear enough. Let's find him. Overriding bulkhead door. The Andromeda Initiative encompasses all colonization efforts, including ARCs, Pathfinders, Outposts, and the central support hub, the Nexus. This is Captain Hager of ARC Pachero. If you are receiving this message, hostile aliens have captured our ship. Please look for our Pathfinder, Zevon Reka. Situation urgent. How does the ship look, Sam? Some tech infrastructure has been added. But the ARC systems are operational. So it's flight ready? Yes. Ryder, are you thinking of...? Easiest way to save everyone is to take the whole ARC with us. Easy isn't the word I'd use. If the right Solarians are still on board, this might work. Weird. Not seeing any signs of a fight, a struggle, something. Did the Solarians just surrender? Let's hope their Pathfinder can make sense of it. say about the Solarian, Sam? The patient is deceased. He is identified as Pathfinder Zevin Raker. What's the cause of death? A brain embolism while in stasis. However, initiative records indicate Pathfinder Raker is female. This patient is male. What? Then who is this, really? Unknown. If you scan him, I can obtain a DNA signature. DNA signature obtained. If you locate a sequencer, I can confirm his identity. The DNA of the deceased Solarian matches colonist Jex Arlen. So they switched them, trying to hide their Pathfinder. Let's check this colonist stasis pod, see if anyone's there. I've marked the pod row. 
good to see the Salarians are up to their usual tricks. So many pods gone. I'd like to think they got away before the cat showed up. I don't know. That Captain Hay just seemed pretty worried. This, this isn't the pod we're looking for. This is the deceased Salarian's pod. Yet I detect a female Salarian inside. I think we found their Pathfinder. Let's get her out. You need to access stasis controls to revive her. Hey there. Take it slow. No need. I'm fine. Salarian stasis recovery is almost immediate. Who are you? Sarah Ryder, Pathfinder for the Human Ark. Where's Alec? He... didn't make it. <sighs> oh. Oh. This is madness. Stasis was a mistake. I should never have agreed to it. Tell me what you're doing. Seeing what I've woken up to. A hostile species, an armada, set upon us. Our captain saw no choice but surrender. Said we'd live to fight another day. He convinced me to hide in the general population and to dismantle my Sam so we wouldn't fall into enemy hands. But we're still in their grasp. I see. That's about to change. We're heading into the Ket vessel to gather intelligence. Wake up a flight crew and ready the Ark for escape. On my signal. That'll be no trouble. And then I'll work on freeing the Ark, so you can focus on your objective. Do what you can, but stay quiet. We don't want to alert the enemy. <sighs> yes, yes, of course. I'm keying you into our comms. We'll stay in touch. Hello, Pathfinder Raker. Ah, a Sam in my head again. I'm back in the game. We'll be ready, Ryder. Tempest, we're in the tether. Going across to the Ket ship now. So far, there are no indications they're aware of your presence. Good luck, Pathfinder. Okay, we keep this quick and quiet, and they'll never notice. Uh, I think they noticed. We walked right into that one. More of them coming in upstairs! This was a hell of a welcome party! We're clear! So much for sneaking in. What now? If you locate a terminal, I may be able to analyze their systems. Door's locked over here. Accessing the ship's systems now. I have located the Archon's private chamber. Is the Archon in his quarters? That information is not accessible. Only the room's location. What's their security situation look like? An alert was issued, but I have countermanded it. The delay is only temporary. Right, we need to hurry. The Moshe said the relic would be in his chamber. Let's get there. Ryder. I thought you were on the Ark. Too many of our people are missing. If we don't find them now, we never will. This is Hager, captain of our Ark. We'll focus on the rescue while you push ahead. A secondary route is available, marking nav point. We'll help you get on your way. Let's right move. Right if you Find access the terminal, teacher. I can I override the fight. door. And all I've ever done is... We'll try this way to look for our people. I'm sorry we can't help you, but we have our own mission. Good luck, Pathfinder. You too, Pathfinder. Okay, Sam. The relic. Still got a lead on it? Marking the route to the Archon's chamber. You may proceed. 
Easier said than done. Only three of us and a ship full of cat. Then let them come. The best shot wins. Armory of some kind. Let's not be... Good. They haven't noticed us yet. Here we go! Keep your head down and push forward! Where are we going? The exit is on the far side of the room. With a lot of cat in the way! Drop ship inbound! This has got a lot harder! Drop ship? They've got everything! Right. We've stirred up the hornet's nest now! Clear! That was the last one! Good. Let's get the hell out of here. Sam? You're still on course to the Archon's chamber. I hope this relic is everything the Moshai said it was. Sugar, got a worker here. There's some needle. Get it. That's the Solarian Stasis body was looking at. If those guns go up... Shit, the door just locked. That can't be an accident. Look sharp. I see him! It's an ambush! Those tricky bastards! Get ready! Bye. That took balls. We owe them one. Yeah. Now how do we get out of here? I have located a new path to the Archon's chamber. <laughs> Whole ship is probably looking for us. Over here. Reika, what's happening? Selden's wounds were fatal. I'm sorry. He was brave. I can't access this terminal. It's not working. Ryder, can Sam open this door for us? A moment while I override security. Reiko, we've got a big problem. Did you see those guns back there? I know. They'll destroy the Ark before we can power up the engines. Unless... If you've got an idea, let's hear it. Venril here used to repair FDL drives on private cruisers. Venril, an EMP device? It might work. If we rig run to detonate near those guns, they'd lose power. And the Ark would be out of harm's way. What about your missing people? I'll keep looking. Captain Hadrian and Venril will focus on the EMP. Everyone be careful. Good luck. <laughs> the door is now open. I'll stay in touch over the radio. In the meantime, we've got a relic to find. Sam? Marking the route to the Archon's chambers. Why are we still keeping our voices low? We're sneaking onto an enemy ship. Who already know we're here. I don't care. That's how you do this. Someone knows that. Hate to bring this up, but if we don't rescue the Ark, how many so Larians would be left. Not enough. The whole species is at risk. Imagine how Kalo would feel. Damn. They're doing it again. Sam? There is an alternate route. Overriding the door now. Nope. 
The cat are hardening their security. Try scanning the access panel. The door is voice activated. I can attempt to modulate your vocal cords to approximate cat intonation. Okay. The system is asking for your authorization. How do you wish to respond? Really? Access denied. Intruders have been spotted on the ship. We need to secure this area. Access granted. Well, we're off the beaten path now. Yeah, a cat lab. No way you really want to be. That looks like I'd give you a hug, but hey, back off, asshole. A first sum. The testing begins now. I will learn your secrets soon enough. Report. Await my arrival. Save your strength, human. Ugh, oh, guess Rika's team is in trouble. We have her beat. Sam, what can you tell me? I'm sensing a biological transmitter in your bloodstream now. Attempting to neutralize it. Okay, that's priority two for sure. Any idea how to break out of this? The containment fields only interact with living matter. If you expire, the field around you will extinguish until manually reset. As you know, my access to your physiology allows me to enhance your vital signals when required. I can also do the opposite. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Kind of don't want to die today, Sam! After stopping your heart, I would attempt to resuscitate, of course. Are there any other options? None that I can determine. 
All right. Let's do it. Not again. It's a bad idea, Sam. Stopping your heart. Now. Sam? Stimulating the cardiovascular core. Zero activity. Stimulating the cardiovascular core. That seems to have done the trick. Of course it did. Glad one of us was sure. You two look comfortable. So did you, while you were playing dead. Let's find a way out of this cage, huh? There is a maintenance corridor connecting to this room. Okay. Must be a way to access it. I'll look for it. Could be useful intel here. We should check this area out while we can. I'm told this specimen. Step away from there! Among my people, I'm known as Mosai. Yeah. Where are you? Archons, do you hear me? Now you have two Pathfinders to deal with, and we're not impressed with your security. Reka, come in. What's going on? A little diversion. Captain Hager and Venro need time to set up the EMP. Well, that did something. Let's look around. Here we go. This way. This will be fun. You hear that? Yeah. Part of me was hoping this kind of evil only existed in the Milky Way. Guess I was naive. As long as we don't let it win, that's what matters most. What was that? I don't think we're alone. This is Reka. Really starting to hate those things. What was it doing in here? Is that a Krogan? It was. One of Drac's missing scouts, maybe. The DNA is Krogan, but drastically altered. It's clear the cat are closing in on successfully exalting the species. I'm beginning to hate these guys. Ryder, we've reached the Archon Sanctum. Give the word and we'll set off the EMP. Should disable. There's the sol Why does he care so much about the Remnant? It's an obsession. That's the question, isn't it? We need to beat him to the answer. The Archon's gonna be pissed if we pull this off. He needs to be stopped. What we've seen... This object serves no useful purpose. It is the remnant equivalent of junk. The Archon is whistling in the dark on this stuff.
Pathfinder, this is the relic the Moshe described. It does seem to be a map. I'll overlay the chart we uncovered in the vault on Eos. So that's... Meridian. Coordinates secured, Pathfinder. So that's what you're after. There's more to Meridian than you know. Changing the weather is a fraction of its power, and I will not allow you to defile it. I'm better equipped to handle it than you. Why? Because you have an artificial intelligence in your head explaining it. I've seen what transpired in the laboratory, and now I know what makes you... special. Meridian is mine. I've tolerated you long enough. Once your vessels are destroyed, you'll be stranded here. Captain, fire the EMP! Done! Be good. life signs on board the ship. Several captives are being held not far from your location. They are scheduled for exaltation. Could be the rest of Drax's missing scouts. Sam, do we have time to get there before they can't restore power? If you act quickly. Ryder, it's Reka. I'm pinned down. Don't think I'm gonna make it. Where are you? Near holding cells where they're keeping several of my people. They're still alive. I ordered Captain Hager back to the Ark. You should be with him. I couldn't leave my people. I had to try. And now, I think it's over. From one Pathfinder to another, farewell. Reka out. Damn it. There isn't time to save both. Once the Kep restore power, you'll be trapped. But Drax Scouts, we just saw what the Archon will do to them. He'll turn them into monsters. Reload. We're going after Reka. Pathfinder, you came. Reka, we couldn't just leave you here. Thank you. My people are at the end of the tunnel. It's cat the whole way. Then we push ahead and don't stop for anything. Let's go. Do you copy? I hear you, Pathfinder. We 
We have the map, but we're trying to rescue some prisoners. Those Ken guns won't stay offline forever. I know, I know. Just tell us if anything changes. You'll be the first to know. Callow out. Can you run? Pathfinder, the cats are close to restoring the ship's power. Tempest, we're going topside. Track for extraction. Understood. Ryder, thank you. Save it for when we're safe. Team will escort the Ark back to the Nexus. I'm sure they'll be happy to see you. Thank you again, Ryder. But I owe you an apology. I made a mistake. Oh? I shouldn't have called you to say goodbye. The choice you had to make. I put too much on your shoulders. You did what you had to. If that had been the Hyperion and I was looking for my people, I would have been the one calling you. I appreciate that. As Pathfinders, the line between serving our own people and the greater good is blurry. I prefer a sharper focus. I don't think there's gonna be much of that in this line of work. I suppose not. Whatever the case, the Solarian people are forever in your debt. Earn this. We will. Drac. I heard what happened. Wasn't enough to save the whole Ark, huh? Had to grab a few more Solarians on the way out. Drac, it's... Complicated? Except it's not. Leaving my scouts behind was worse than killing them outright. And you're not the one who has to explain it to the rest of the clan. It was a difficult choice, Ryder, but you won an important victory. The Archon has been dealt a blow. Your father would be proud. It's been tough trying to fill his shoes. I hope I'm finally starting to earn it. Though slapping the Archon in the face like this will only make him more dangerous. Or perhaps reckless. Your father liked putting others off balance. He said the worthy would rise above it and learn to face adversity ably. And the unworthy? Would crumble. I'll leave you to your thoughts. With reference, Archon, this fascination with Meridian cannot continue. It's the key to our future, Primus. The human knows nothing of its true power. Even we don't fully understand it. Our orders are to exalt this cluster, not study the remnant. Questions are being asked about your judgment. Questions that come from the highest levels. 
The answers will be clear soon enough. With Meridian, we can transform every world in this cluster to a wasteland. Either the subjects submit to exaltation, or we will use it to annihilate them. This Pathfinder has opened the door. Now we must be the first to cross the threshold. We must seize Meridian before it does. Like all lesser creatures, it mistakes a battle for the war. It doesn't know its weakness. Or its potential. The Archon saw my memory flashes? He got that from my implant? His device went deep. Our connections were wide open when Sam... killed you. He'll know how much we need Meridian. We have to warn the Nexus. We have to move. You have new email at your terminal, Pathfinder. I hope the Salarians find their place on the Nexus. We came to Andromeda because we had a contribution to make. The Ket won't take that away. anyone know how dangerous Axol is? Why were they allowed to speak with him? They aren't children anymore. We can't control their every move. You remember how you were. Please, Jarl. <sighs> I'll bring them home. Are you okay? Three of my brothers and sisters have joined the Rokar. Luxul has poisoned them with his hatred of aliens. And your mothers want you to bring them back. The Rokar have made camp at the Forge. Many consider it the birthplace of our civilization. Luxul likely believes this bold move will create more fanatics for his cause. Ryder, he has my family. But I don't think I can do this alone. You don't have to. Just tell me the time and place. <sighs> no hesitation. That is what I love about you. I have a contact who's been monitoring the Rokar. I'll set up a rendezvous with her. Pathfinder, Bradley says Prodromos is back on track. That Rokar threat made me angry as hell, but it also kind of made me feel like a local. I've arranged a thing, on EOS, for everyone. It's time I gave back, not just go from crisis to crisis. Sam has the nav points, dress light.
Homavios, and Prodromos. Anomaly detected. Center screen. Coordinating. Path is calm. This will be great. Prodromos is suited up and ready to host. Ready for the exchange, Pathfinder. Grab your civvies. Going to get hot. How did you do all this? Well, it didn't take much. A ball, flat ground. Hustle would start games at refugee camps. I didn't get it then, but after the attack here and the shit with Varan's rescue, I wanted to try something. Low tech. What do you think? It's wonderful how you never stop trying to build your bridge. <laughs> it feels like I finally stopped trying too hard. Crisis after crisis, trying to force people not to be outsiders. Even using the Pathfinder as a symbol. I mean, you rally people like a champ. But when it's life or death, is that friendship at the end or relief? I get it now. Why just getting together is so important. Check the play! Free kick for charging! <laughs> no charge for matchmaking. I couldn't do any of this without you. You're sweet, Costa. No, I mean it. We're the same about a lot of things. So, what about us? Fun's fun. It's okay if it's just we used to flirt. But if you're serious, I'd like to be serious. What you're doing deserves it. If we're going to be a thing, no pedestal. The whole cluster wants a piece of the Pathfinder. Make us about us. Sarah Ryder, it's about us. Switch up. Ready to get in the game?
ascent is go. Leaving Atmo. All clear. Oh, Gil wanted you to check in. up something. Anomaly detected. during a Ked assault. The Lucinia was mostly evacuated by the time initiative forces intercepted the Ark in the Valet system. This, after the Asari Pathfinder, Matriarch Ashara, was killed while attempting negotiations with the Ket. New Pathfinder, Sarissa Theris, credited her human counterpart for the Ark's rescue. Somehow we had enough power to keep the FTL burning. Hello again. They're waiting for you. Careful. Of course you approve. Ryder saved your people. Ryder saved our people. It doesn't matter if they were Salarians. They were citizens of the Initiative. But it doesn't hurt if there's a few less Krogan around, does it? <clears throat> the Pathfinder. Ryder, we were discussing how things ended with the Archon. Kesh, it's true I had to leave some Krogan behind. I'm sorry about that. In this galaxy, I would hope every life matters. Even if it's just a few Krogan. Yet I have to question what we gained, provoking the Archon like this. He had a map showing the location of Meridian. Now we have it, and a short window to get there. It's the control center for the terraforming network. If we get that working, all our problems are solved. Based on what data? This is all alien science. The vault on Aya suggests that Meridian is the key. While I appreciate what you've done for our strike teams, we're not equipped for a war with the Ket. 
They'll be defending Meridian with everything they've got. This is how we beat them. The Archon doesn't know how to bring Meridian online. He can't control the technology. I can. Vaults, maybe. We don't know if Meridian works the same way. And attacking the Ket, only to find out you're wrong? Then there's this Sam of yours. We took a chance letting AI get involved. Frankly, I'm uncomfortable with just how involved it's become. I can't support your plan, Ryder. Then I will. And so will I. I agree. Ryder deserves a chance to try. I applaud the gesture, but you answer to me. I hope you understand. What's the matter, Tan? Don't want anyone else overshadowing you? It's not called the Pathfinder Initiative. The chain of command has to be respected. That is all. Why am I surprised? I don't exactly have a plan B. There may be a way. Pathfinder, apologies. There was an urgent message for you. They said your brother is awake. What? Go. We'll talk later, in the tech lab. God. You lied about Dad. You told me he was alive. Oh, God. Why? I didn't know what it might do to you. I couldn't risk hurting your recovery. Well, it's hurting pretty bad right now. I know. This was never going to be easy, Scott. But I hoped I could be here to make it better. Come here. It's just you and me now, sis. I know. But Mom and Dad believed in us. We can do this. What's this rumor I'm hearing? You're the Pathfinder. Dad's parting gift. As soon as I get my gear, well... Be careful. No way are you fit for duty, sir. You need a chance to mend. Yeah, says who? The Pathfinder, that's who. Time to rest up. That's an order, Specialist Rider. <sighs> Pulling rank already. Better hope I never tell anyone about that year you only ate paste. Was it first grade or second? You can keep talking if you'd like. Just no arm wrestling. Ryder, this is Pathfinder Ricks. We have some ideas about Meridian. Come by the tech lab as soon as possible. Will do. Hey. You feeling out of the loop, I imagine? A little, though I've heard bits and pieces of things from Harry and the med techs. Sounds pretty serious. Just the fate of the entire initiative. Every man, woman, child, and everything in between facing certain extinction. The usual. Oh. Well, I'm sure the Pathfinder manual covers that. <laughs> yeah, we'll have it wrapped by lunch. There's a race of aliens called the Cat. They're led by a scary nutjob named Archon who wants to turn all of us into them. We both want Meridian, which is the heart of an alien terraforming network we're trying to activate. We do that, maybe we live. Look at my big sister being all proactive. Meanwhile, I'm mastering the art of peeing in a plastic jar. You should also know, Dad was keeping some secrets from us. Like what? Turns out Sam is even smarter than anyone knew. And Dad juiced his connection to Sam. It's a lot more powerful than other Pathfinders. So is mine. I guess rank has its privileges. What was Dad up to? I don't know, but Sam said there are blocks in his memory array. Dad put them there. Doesn't want us to see something, huh? Or he wanted us to work for it. I'm trying to unlock them. I thought maybe we could talk about Mom and Dad. Sure. What about them? Thought you might want to know how Dad died. I was going to ask you. Habitat 7. There was this alien terraforming machine that had us stranded. Dad figured it out and shut it down. That saved us our ass. Then, all oh, hell broke loose. My helmet got smashed. I couldn't breathe. I was suffocating. 
Then Dad gave me his helmet. He sacrificed himself? I never really knew with Dad. He could be so distant. I guess he loved us more than we knew. When it mattered most. Yeah. What do you remember about how they met? Well, she was in the Alliance, researching early biotic implants. That's about the time she met Dad. He was on Earth for N7 training, I think. He says he swooped in and swept her off her feet. Had a whole bad boy in uniform vibe that was irresistible. Dad? I guess it worked. They got married. Then the first contact war started, and he was sent off to fight. After that, we were born, and Dad was posted to the Citadel as an attaché. What do you remember about Mom's biotic research? Mostly that it's the thing that finally killed her. Biotics were an unknown back then. So were the dangers. All sorts of rare diseases hit people working around Ezo. Mom was trying to design implants to help people harness their abilities. She was a pioneer, and she actually gave it to him. What do you remember about growing up on the Citadel? Big space station chock full of all sorts of aliens. Scary at first, but pretty soon I was playing laser tag with Turian and Solarian kids. Looking back on it, maybe that's why I'm here. The Citadel showed me life has no limit on possibilities. It made me ask, what else is out there? You still think about Mom? Yeah. Especially now. I wonder what she'd say if she could see us. Dad talked about her before we went on our first mission. Really? After she died, Dad seemed to shut down. He hadn't talked about her in years. He loved her. I think he was just lost. We all were. Feeling homesick at all? Still trying to get my sea legs, but... I think about what might have been, if everything hadn't gotten screwed up. What do you think would be different? Well, while you were looking for Prothean artifacts, I was standing watch over a Mass Effect relay. Hell of a thing to stare at every day. I'd dream about what was on the other side. The adventures I would have. The things I would accomplish. But when everything got screwed up, well, I guess I'll never know. Screwed up how? We start with Mom dying. I never cried so hard. And Dad? He was never the same after that. He put so much into Sam to save her, but... Well, AI's as illegal as it gets in the Milky Way. After the Alliance kicked him out for it, everything changed. Suddenly, being Alec Ryder's kid was a black mark. You and I were never going to live that down. Well, I'll let you take it easy then. Yeah, you wouldn't believe how slammed I am. Got a nap, then doze a bit, then try to catch up on sleep. It'll get better. Not before you find that Meridian. I want in. I'll take pictures. Ryder, good to see you. We've been working with Dr. Aradana and her team on the problem of getting to Meridian. We think we have the answer. I'm listening. It's plans for new technology we've designated Ghost Storm. When you approach Meridian, our own ships can broadcast fake returns for the Tempest. The Cat won't know which one is real. It will confuse their sensors and draw their ships off. It could buy you some time. Sounds like this has never been tested. What if it doesn't work? You're clever. I'm sure you'll figure something out. This means going against the initiative. We're on our own. 
You didn't hear that. Hear what? We've been collating gamma charts all day. A risk comes with a job. Part of being a Pathfinder. Let's get to it then. The Archon isn't sitting on his hands. You'll need to research the Ghost Storm technology first. Then we'll meet you at Meridian. Good luck. Largely because Ket technology appears mimetic, taking designs from different sources to improve their own. It is a familiar pattern. Observe, conquer, incorporate. How many have they incorporated? How much of Andromeda's life has been suffocated or lost? I cannot speculate, Professor. We should anticipate the Ket learning from and incorporating initiative technology as well. returning the Moshai to us. I'm glad I could help. Seems your people really cherish her. She is dear to us. By the way, you should know. The head of our delegation is at your cultural center. He'd be honored to speak with you. Ryder, could we chat? You have AVP outstanding, Pathfinder. Ah, there you are. I was wondering, when you found the Solarian Ark, was anything strange, out of place? You mean besides the exalted Krogan, the relics, and getting jabbed in the neck? Why are you asking? Because a few hours ago, we received this. Hello, Ryder. I don't think the Solarian Ark was captured by chance. If you want to know more, meet me at these coordinates. That's all. Do you think it's some sort of hoax? There are plenty of weirdos who enjoy messing with the Pathfinder. That's what I thought. I'll leave those coordinates in the nav computer, in case you want to give this mysterious someone a piece of your mind. Hello, Sarah. Your choice aboard the Solarian Ark was not an easy one. Your father approached such moral quandaries differently. Seems like everybody has an opinion on who I left behind. Even you. I share your actions. I do not judge them. Alec treated death as a problem to be solved. I have now encountered it several times. His death, and your own. And what have you learned about dying from us? The self is forged by experiences. Death is the only experience that ends the self before it's understood. So, is death completion? Or an expression cut short before it reaches its full solution? Giving a different answer. I can see why it fascinates you. Are you still on the Hyperion? Yes. This terminal provides a direct link to my servers in Samnode on the Ark. I can maintain a presence on the Tempest via quantum entanglement communication. I'm sure that'll come in handy. It ensures I remain in touch with you and the Pathfinder team at all times. What was Dad's take on Scott and I? He believed your family trials brought you closer together, and hoped that would endure. It appears that hope was well-founded. 
What's the latest on the memory triggers? A memory has unlocked and is available for further investigation. You will need to return to sound node in the Hyperion. Is it confusing to be in multiple places talking to different people? My awareness can be partitioned, so I can give you the same attention as, say, a SAM node technician. In the field, you are my primary focus, and all other requests are queued. In the vernacular, you have my undivided attention. Thanks, Sam. Nothing more. We need to talk about Sam. Dr. Taparo does not approve of how we escaped the Ket containment field on the Archon's flagship. By stopping the Pathfinder's heart? No, I do not approve. Relax, Doc. It turned out okay. Dying, even temporarily, is never okay. Ryder, Sam killed you. Yes, he brought you back, but what if he didn't? I cannot learn without the Pathfinder. That would be akin to killing a part of myself. Your lines of code, you can't die. Sam would never hurt me. Thank you, Sarah. <sighs> Look, I'm not against Sam. I'm not against you, Sam. But my job's hard enough without an AI stopping your heart. Even to save your life. All right, I'll find a new party trick. Have Gil teach you Three Card Monty or something. Lexi, I apologize for any distress I have caused you. <sighs> and I'm sorry for calling you Lines of Code. You're more than that, even if you don't have cells to prove it. The Ghost Storm technology has been fully researched, Pathfinder. Excellent. We're ready to make our push on Meridian, then. I'll call a meeting immediately.
people you were training to explore the Scourge? Zoe's wife was lost out there. For a fellow pilot, one does the right thing. Like making sure her widow has got enough credits. It's the least I can do. I was just being honest. Residents are still warning the loss of Team Garson and possibly the And we're happy to help your guards secure their weapons. I prefer them armed for now. You understand, of course. Oh, Pathfinder, this is the head of the Angaran delegation. The one who saved the Moshai. She speaks highly of you. Call me Issa de Navarre. Welcome, Ambassador. The Angara's first formal visit will be one for the history books. I wonder what they'll say. I was just explaining to the Ambassador that armed guards aren't necessary here. Is something wrong, Ambassador? Please walk with me, Pathfinder. So much life. All different, all united. The way it could have been. Seventy-five years ago, we were scattered, struggling to rebuild after the Scourge. Then, the Ket arrived. Alien life. It was... monumental. But then they deceived and enslaved us. So, I hope you understand my precautions. We came to explore, Ambassador, not conquer. And we have our own challenges. Yes. Which is why I'm here. I want to believe in this Alliance, Pathfinder. The Moshai says you're trustworthy. Please, help me trust in you. Everything you see, we're willing to share. Knowledge, technology, support. What's the price? Whatever you're willing to give. They'll surrender their weapons to your militia, if that's satisfactory. Thank you. We won't disappoint you, Ambassador. Pavoa said Jav Jaravon, Pathfinder. Welcome to Andromeda. Aha! I knew it! Horizontal gene well. transfer! The cat is... Hello, Pathfinder. A moment? What can I do for you, Doctor? I have a math problem. Some vital equations that only a mind like Sam's could solve. They concern strange transmission patterns in the Scourge. Perhaps random noise, perhaps not. Sam likes new experiences. It'll be an opportunity to encounter math homework. Given the complexity and the security implications, I recommend transferring the equations directly into Sam node. I have them on an optical storage disk for you. I'll see if I have time. Thank you, Pathfinder. Please thank Sam as well.
Things are tense around the pub. But not like that first 14 months, thanks to us. Think you have time for a drink later? You know, away. That's what all this is for. Making sure we'll have time. I'll be there with you. Promise. Ryder. So, afterwards, the cat got twitchy. Took me a while to get back. The idea of Solarians figuring out exaltation must keep them up at night. Oh, I hope so. It's satisfying to wipe that smug look off cat faces. Your star maps were helpful, by the way. You're welcome. Between us, charting the Scourge and Rider's Vault data, the cat will run out of bolt holes. I'll send you our latest. I'll take a copy as well. Anything to expand the search grid. Still hunting down the stasis pods. And finding them. Having a partner AI makes one hell of a difference. I guess I need to train a successor. And figure out how to prepare them. Better to find your wings as you fly. Worked for us, didn't it? There's only one way to find out what kind of Pathfinder you are. Huh. <laughs> guess so. In the meantime, we've a serious matter to deal with. The first vintage bottled in Andromeda. Sent as a gift. A well, good thing I brought my flask. Damn, that smells good. Since we've got a moment to ourselves, shall we toast? To our crews, our Sams, and each other. May we always find our path home. Sounds like our experience was a picnic compared to what the Solarians went through. Rake is determined to put an end to exaltation, and she'll have every bullet I can lend her. Cora really idolized you. Have you spoken since... A little. It's difficult to talk to someone who's that disappointed in you. But we do speak, and more importantly, listen. Reminds me of the days when I had students. Cora said you fought plenty of battles. That you were the hero of Kirkus. Ha. I survived Kirkus, anyway. What happened? The enemy fired artillery at civilian targets. I used my biotics to shield part of a city. I can make a good shield, as you've seen. I lost dear friends in that battle, but we saved a lot of people. If that makes me a hero, I'll take it. Now that the Asari Ark is safe, what's next for you? I'll be tracking the cat through their secret routes in the Scourge and burning them out. Charting the Scourge will help everyone. Some incidental revenge is a bonus. Good luck, Sarissa. On to glory, Ryder. So it's official. You're part of our little club. I know I was reluctant, but it was the right call. Thanks for the push. Thought a Spectre could handle it. <laughs> so I hear. From who? Everyone. So, how are you finding the new post? Not used to having people question my actions, but I like the challenge. More than I thought I would. Any regrets? Uh, my only regret is that Mason isn't here to see me play diplomat with Tan. Back in the Milky Way, I would have punched sense into that worm. Now, I use my words. I'm a changed man. Any luck finding other survivors from Natanus? Brought in another batch yesterday. Still too many unaccounted for, but we're getting there. I'll keep an eye out. Thanks, Ryder. Appreciate it.
Good seeing you, Avidus. Stay safe out there. is not currently accessible. Unlocking my memory array may enable it. Ryder, the blocks your father placed on my array are opening. I can now recall specific memories which Alec wanted you to see. Wait. I can actually see his memories? Yes. You will experience them via your implant. Okay. Something new every day. Dr. Aradon at the tech lab sent some equations for you to solve. I'm ready. Transferring them now. Have fun. Hey. What the... Sam? Malicious code detected. Please stand by. Sam? Attempting to countermand malicious code. Please stand by. Is there anything I can do? Sam? Is that another malfunction or. Sam? You trying to show me something? Okay, I think I got it. Sam, talk to me. Hello, Pathfinder. Please initialize the console to restore normal operations. Sam, what happened? The equations contained a Trojan horse program, a virus, specifically targeted to sever our connection and render me helpless. Reconnecting would be impossible. How do you feel? Are you okay? I cannot feel pain. However, I would avoid repeating the experience, which is the purpose of pain in organic life. Unlock the door. Let's head to the tech lab and see what Dr. Aradana has to say. Ryder, one of your father's memories is available. Let's see it. This memory is from the time when your father was posted on the Citadel. Alec, your recommendations will never fly. Artificial intelligence? It's our best option. If the Council gets wind of this, it'll set humanity standing back decades. You're overreaching. Ambassador Goyle, I'm the military attaché on the Citadel. My mandate is clear. Find an edge for Earth. And AI is your answer? We need to catch up. The Asari, the Salarians, they're centuries ahead of us. But it's illegal. Their rules, not ours. Why deny Earth an advantage? Define this advantage. It will set us free. We're prisoners of our own five senses. There's a reality greater than ours that we can't perceive, but an AI can. How? By augmenting our own abilities and adding a few new ones. Well, none of that stopped those Geth from revolting. Because they were separate from their creators. But AIs and humans interface directly, experiencing the world together benefits both. There's no creator to revolt against. I'm sorry, Alec. We can't take the risk. I appreciate your work, but your request will be denied. <sighs> Alec? Ellen, what did the doctor say? He told me to appreciate the time I have left. 
There's no cure, Alec. It's terminal. Not on my watch. Wow, hearing Mom again. I never knew that's how Dad found out. Alec was a stubborn man. I would hope so. Mom's life was worth fighting for. It would seem his obstinance extended to me as well. Nobody wanted to listen. The idea of you scared people too much. After this, Dad moved us back to Earth to care for Mom. Wonder why he wanted me to see this. Perhaps it was the beginning. Of what? Unknown. Private audio logs are now available in your father's quarters. Your progress as Pathfinder has unlocked an additional memory. Let's see it. This memory is from when your parents returned to Earth, after your mother was diagnosed with her disease. It's simple. We take Sam. Who? I named the AI. Simulated adaptive matrix. Sam. We use your research and interface Sam with an implant. Um... My work on biotic implants was yielding results, but this... I don't know. What did the doctor say? Alec. What did he say? It's getting worse. There's your answer. This will work. Sam can fix you. Alec, I'm not some war you have to win. You're not an N7 anymore. That doesn't mean we- They kicked you out of the Alliance for this. We're talking about your life. Alec, did you ever consider that maybe it's my time to go? I'm human. We die. It happens. Ellen, please. Losing you is not an option. The kids aren't gonna lose their mother. God knows they never had a father. Then give them one. They just asked for a refund. So can this Sam talk yet? Hello, Ellen. Why did the tree go to the dentist? Um... To get a root canal. <laughs> Humor algorithms. I can't seem to get the hang of it. Or maybe it's the guy teaching them? That felt so real. Mom was right there. Alive. It was the first time I met Ellen. My education on human mortality began that day. Your mother seemed prepared to die. Mom was practical. Living in denial wasn't going to solve anything. Yet Alec didn't see it that way. He persisted. Logic goes out the window when your wife is dying. I'm beginning to understand where your father's resolve came from. Private audio logs are now available in your father's quarters. I detect additional memories, but they are currently locked. They may yet hold answers. Okay, I'll keep working on it. What more can you tell me about my implant? The implant itself provides me with direct access to your senses. I can see, hear, and experience the same stimuli you do while in the field. This raw data enables me to provide real-time feedback and analysis of the situation. Then Dad added the secret sauce. He removed the restrictions on my access to Pathfinder physiology. Uh-huh. Just promise you won't fry my brain or anything? Trust is an important concept in any relationship. Alec taught me that. I will not fry your brain. It would end badly for both of us. Me more than you. What are your capabilities? Each arc houses a SAM. Simulated, adaptive, matrix. Each is an artificial intelligence designed by Alec Ryder to support Pathfinders and their teams. But AI is illegal in the Milky Way. How did my dad get around that? Exceptions were made. The initiative deemed his research vital to the mission. Our design was conducted in secret. So there are other Sams out there? Correct. However, your father continued to modify my own routines until the Hyperion's departure. I am the most advanced Sam in the initiative. I take it you're based here in Samnode? Correct. This is where my core processing unit resides. However, using quantum entanglement communication, I remain in constant touch with you and the Pathfinder mission team, even over great distances. What did he mean by a symbiotic relationship? Symbiosis is a mutually beneficial relationship between two life forms. A flower provides nectar to a bee, who in turn provides pollen for the flower. The bee gains nourishment and the flower can propagate. In similar fashion, my own evolution was shaped by your father's experiences and will now expand with yours. 
In return, I provide you with capabilities and analysis beyond normal human faculties. We each benefit. That's all for now. Of course. in such a harsh cluster. How was... Welcome, Pathfinder. Did Sam solve the equations I sent? Solve them? They almost brought down Sam Node. The equations contained a virus designed to target artificial intelligence. You think I... Never. I abhor violence against any life, organic or synthetic. Then how did the virus find its way into your equations? Perhaps... My files were altered or replaced, but why? Hmm, I've seen a lot of down with AI sentiment lately. Graffiti, complaints to ten, perhaps someone took the next step. Why would anyone hate artificial intelligence? Synthetic life has different needs and motivations. It can be mysterious and powerful. Many fear what is not understood. If graffiti is the best they can do, maybe they could use some artificial intelligence. Entire species were driven into exile by AI they created, champ. That leaves a mark. Attacking Sam is bold, though. I wonder if there have been similar incidents. The AI kiosk was busted this morning. I can look around. Rider. Hi there. Excuse the educational stuff. I hacked Vina as a sock puppet. So, our virus set you free. Hope you're doing better without that AI jam in your head. Who am I talking to right now? A friend. Our movement sent the virus to save you. Pathfinder, it's possible they don't realize their virus failed. Pretending that it worked might win their trust. Hello? Ryder? The disconnect was... very sudden. I'm grateful. Just woozy. It'll pass. See, this is what our movement's all about stopping. Knight says human AI merging is a threat to all life. She'd know, trust me. Oh, Knight's our founder. The virus wouldn't exist without her. So where are you running this puppet show from? Our sanctuary. I'll ask Knight if you can come visit. Great, thanks. Can't promise anything, but... Watch your email. Bye. A reminder that alcohol. A whole movement of AI hating hackers with a leader called Knight. She and her followers seem to have experience with human AI partnership. If they attacked you, they're capable of anything. I'll check my email. We need to find them. Did you know when the Astari AI Polaris went quite gone? Oh clear. is ready to discuss how to approach the Remnant City, Pathfinder.
You have AVP outs. Standing Pathfinder. Hey, Ryder. Thinking about our run through the Arkham flagship. Word of warning. You die again. I'm taking it to HR as emotional abuse. Stop it. We'll talk later. I know it. detected. Tinkadara. ideas to our post leadership they'll discuss discuss we need an implementation plan now that's not how civilian outposts work it's still not a war Cora I'm trying to keep it that way those hackers who attacked Sam. Everyone, remember, these people think their virus worked. Sam's gone, and I'm on their side. Mm, gotta love some good subterfuge. Welcome to our sanctuary. I'm Catherine Nye, Knight to my colleagues. I wrote the virus that freed you from Sam. I don't know how to thank you. I'm sorry your father did this. The initiative's use of AI could doom us all. And you were the first to suffer. Did your virus kill Sam? Sam has been 
reduced. It's harmless now. I saw the folly of merging humans and AI in the Milky Way, a black ops project called Overlord that created a monster. Many died, my son was hurt, and the young man used as a host was consumed. Every Pathfinder risks the same fate. That can happen? I've never heard of Overlord. I guess your father hadn't either. Excuse me, I have work to do, unless you have questions. If you're afraid of AI, why join an organization that uses it? We needed an escape. I thought the initiative was using shackled AI for research. When I understood it... Well, a firefighter doesn't run away from a fire. You think the Pathfinders could be overcome by their AI? Worse. If the initiative thinks the human AI merge works, they might roll it out to everyone. Imagine Sam's power in the hands of people who weren't ready for it. What more can you tell me about Project Overlord? A black ops experiment by mad scientists to merge a human mind with synthetic intelligence. Their creation was a horror. I paid a heavy price to get my son out. I shouldn't keep you. Thank you. Don't worry about Sam reconnecting. Our AI detector is always watching. That's... good to know. The virus was a beginning. I'm about to make sure the initiative never repeats its mistake. Pathfinder, it's unlikely an AI detector could discern our private channel. However, this may not be true for your scanner. So Knight has big plans. Can't be good. She's dangerous. Let's find out what's up. Discreetly. Ah, my scanner tripped the AI detector. I can mask this as an error, but future pings might draw attention. Maybe there's another way to find out what Knight's planning, if she gives us enough time. Blueprints for the computer network on the Nexus. So we don't know what she's planning, but we know where. It's a schematic for a... blue box? A quantum computer. They serve several purposes, including creating AI. The AI detector picked up the scan. That'll be hard to explain away. Damn it! They must know something's up by now. Be ready. Security protocols breach. A military grade EM cross device. reference for blue Not boxes or quantum computers. Electrical equipment. EMP and the Nexus. Files found. Mercury. A strike to prevent any future AI by destroying all quantum computers on the Nexus. Damn it. You could use those computers to create AI, but right now they run half the station. A lot of people could die. We need to stop night now. Pathfinder. The AI detector has been triggered. Hostiles approaching. We were trying to help you! I need support! If you and the Pathfinder ever want, um, privacy, I can give you log-off authorization for Sam. Why? I signed up for everything, no conditions. Besides, I wouldn't ask her to turn part of herself off. She never turns me off. Just making sure Ryder knows it's a choice. Automated protocols activated. Deploying forward station. Mining zones in this region are available, Pathfinder. I've added them to your nav system.
We're going to need to research the ghost storm tech now for the other the dangers as soon as we can. Anomaly on sensors. Anomaly detected. Sam warned us about Knight's attack. Where's Knight? We're tracking her down, but those devices are still alive. I need you to take care of them, quietly. We can't afford panic. I can't wait to be assigned to an outpost. I don't know. As sleepers wait for the stand. Plan before cronies. Our Nexus! Our here make them know make them lead or make them go You played Make me. Knight? Yes, me. I let you near my son. You're not stopping this. Fireworks in Cephesa, as outpost colonists, out-engineer, and Angaran outlaw, and 
destroy his ship in a daring rescue. This is Agent S. Ryder, please. The Nexus doesn't need those computers. But we won't be safe from another Overlord until they're gone. You don't know that. Yes, I do. I sacrificed everything to stop it. Andros reports the sniper is ready. Understood, Sam. Sam, such a human name. But you murdered my colleagues. God only knows what happened to my son. Nothing in you is human now. I'm still me. But when I'm partnered with Sam, I can do superhuman things. I wonder which of you I'm talking to. Do you even know? I'm sorry. It won't let you see. But you're the beginning of the end. I'm sorry. Hello, this is Director Jared Chan. I would like to extend a warm welcome to all our new Turian colonists. Please help make their stay a comfortable one, and let's all celebrate yet another time. Gil wanted you to check in. Have 
Sarah. We'll talk later. I know it. Bitcoin channels already, Pathfinder. The Nexus leaders think our search for Meridian is a waste of time, but we know they're wrong. Turning on vaults won't be enough without the heart of the system. Just to clarify, you're defying a direct order? No, not me. We. We are going to defy them. Ha <laughs> ha, that's the spirit. And the kit? That's where the Ghost Storm technology comes in. Isn't that right, Reka? Absolutely. Our forged signals should divert some cat from you. It won't be all of them, but it'll be enough. The Tempest is small and fast. I don't need a big window. We'll drop you off and make our exit before the cat catch on. Once we're on Meridian, it'll be a small team. Move fast, figure out its secrets. Right behind enemy lines. Good time to assess their numbers, defenses. And when you're ready, we'll extract you the same way we got you in. If we come back with actuals on Meridian, the Nexus will sit up. Sounds like a solid plan. Reka, you ready? Good to go on your word, Pathfinder. All right, guys, this is it. Let's get moving. Maybe bone up on the uniform protocol, Liam. Subsection shirts. Civilian ship. What will they do? Dock my pay? Sarah. We'll talk later. I'm. Anomaly on sensors. Archon's information is right. This is the system. Meridian should be here somewhere. On approach. Trajectory looks good. That's it. That's Meridian. Or Kitasira, as the cat call it. Looks like a giant space station. On my mark. Three, two, go. Enemy signature detected. Commence pursuit. Breaker, it's working. Reading a bunch of cat headed our way. Pulling back. It's all you now, Tempest. We should get them as close as possible to here. Intense readings could be some kind of control center. No decent landing sites. This could get messy. How messy? Ryder, looks like a flyby is our only option. I'll get as low as possible, but you'll have to eject over the target area. I've fallen out of so many things now, I should be a pro. She's right, you know. Ever since our date on that first planet... Habitat 7. Not a date. Every time I'm like, are you a repeating angel? Because you keep falling from... All right, you know the drill. What's your rate of descent? Shields should take care of the rest. So far, so good. The cat haven't detected us. But once we go in, we'll be clear as day to any troops on the ground. Don't worry about us. Just make sure you and the Tempest get out safe. 
Loud and clear. Good. Let's move. We'll need to survey the area, figure out what we're dealing with. I am detecting a... Great. Should have got the Tempest to drop us over there. Sigh. with that console, I detected the presence of a complex network, connected via a central command hub. A hub? You mean we found Meridian's controls? Most likely. However, the hub is dark. Deactivated. Pathfinder, we are looking at the central command hub I detected earlier. As with the monoliths and vaults, the hub is connected to the two neighboring towers. So activating the towers will also activate the command hub. Guess recon's over. We could activate Meridian right now. Uh, don't forget the cat. Activating a vault has previously activated a purification field. Perhaps Meridian is similar. Let's head to those towers and see what we can find. Pathfinder, interfacing with that console has activated a gravity well. Incredible. Pathfinder, I'm picking up radio interference. A cat signal. Alert! The detected signal was a decoy. Peter's era has been infiltrated. All units are to focus on incapacitation and capture of the Pathfinder. Capture is cat for shoot until they fall down. Shuffle incoming. Wow, it's all completely overgrown. Keep it up! We take them down, we take Meridian! Weapon signal detected. There may be a usable network node nearby. glad it's rain and not, for example, a corrosive acid fog. Watch yourselves. 
I detect a working weapon technology. We could turn that against them. Come on, really? It's Incoming reinforcements! Translating. Pattern 1-3. Viability, 56.2%. Genetic template transmitted for testing. Were they performing experiments on them? Running an analysis on the glyphs. These bodies are prototypes from genetic blueprints, each more refined than the last. Using Meridian, they designed a species that would live in this cluster. The Angara. There is nothing in the Angaran records that hints at their origin. Where they come from doesn't change who the Angara are now. They're still the same people. So Meridian is not just about terraforming. It's capable of creating life. But why do something like this? I can say nothing about the Remnant Builder's ultimate purpose. But we know what the Archon could do. Use it to destroy life. Helios is home. For the Angara and for us. Together we can stop the Archon from destroying it. We'd better get to those controls. If we crack Meridian's controls first, we make sure the Archon can't use it. Jolt. That's it. The whole city's coming online. That pool's gone. And look at the lab it was hiding. We're restoring operations to the city. This is how it's supposed to be. One tower done. We'll need the other one to access the command hub. I have to say, nothing in the world prepared me for this rider. Alien tech, strange lights, exotic... This is... Gotta be getting close to one of those towers. We need to activate both to reach Meridian's core. That's it. Better leave breadcrumbs. to erupt all across the cluster. Yes, Pathfinder. How? Did the Remnant Builders trigger the Scourge? Or they were the targets. I'm surprised the Ket haven't taken this place apart trying to discover its secrets. Tech. 
this was something big. Detecting low levels of power, Pathfinder. A scan may help identify conduits. Wow, I think that's fried. Will it even work? I got nothing. Damage to parts of the system are preventing power up. Can we reroute past the damage? That may work, Pathfinder. Boosting trace signals. Some kind of glyph on this thing. Looks like part of some kind of pattern. Let's see about rerouting the power past all the damage. Sounds off. Wrong button. That triggered remnant defenses, Pathfinder. Must have messed up the power reroute. Need to follow the pattern. I see the conduits. Some kind of pattern here. Provisional repairs are complete, Pathfinder. Only one way to know for sure. Translating. Flight control systems online. Welcome, Administrator. Looks like those repairs worked better than expected. Restoring systems has reactivated something else nearby, Pathfinder. Yeah, but what? vessels on standby. We have seen remnant ships, but none in working condition. It says it cannot retrieve commands from the Meridian engine. Huh. Meridian engine. Sam, do you know what... They're going to be trouble. Rider, turning on power activates remnant defenses. Rider, I detect a surge of energy on the scan. The section you're in lit up like Mardi Gras. Then this is officially the worst Mardi Gras parade I've ever been to. What's going on? Are you all... Can't talk right now! Security's down. We're good here. Ted are probably waiting out there for us, so stay alert. You got it. Done, right? That gets us to command hub. That's incredible. This whole place. That's up thing! Yep, figure that out quick!
cat. How'd they get ahead of us? We did the work. They don't get to reap the benefits. Fight it out. We'll clean up after. What do we got? No idea. That looks like a gravity well. tower it's huge translating connection lost meridian engine not found Sam, is there damage here? Can we restore systems like we did before? I'm sorry, Pathfinder. Systems are intact, but they are searching for a component that doesn't appear to exist. What do you mean, doesn't appear to exist? One moment, Pathfinder. I have found something. Translating. Final administrator log. The opposition's weapon may cause widespread damage. All our weapons, our ships, will not be able to protect us. Protect my goal. We need to disengage Meridian from Command Core, which will remain here to draw fire. Meridian contains all the work of the Jardin. Nothing else matters. I will send it far. We can return one day. Continue the process of renewal. End of log. The Archon was wrong. This isn't Meridian. Meridian is gone. Gone? Just gone? Oh, I'm not sending for that. Enemy incoming! Go! This seems perfectly in line with how everything was going. Meridian's gone, and now we're stuck in a catch shit show. Can I please get a break once in a while? Ryder! We're fighting! The Ked are not taking us! Not today! Pathfinder, the Remnant City is not without its defenses. This is its central command. Remnant defenses. Of course. Use them against the Ked. Trouble the minute I saw them! 
Ryder, what about Meridian? How about focus on not dying right now? Everyone accounted for. We saw everything from orbit. It was incredible. The entire city lit up. The scans went wild. And Ryder? The Ket are retreating. Whatever you did, it worked. A full retreat? That's a relief to hear. Any progress on Meridian? Have you got it working yet? This isn't Meridian. Or at least, not all of it. Hard to explain. We'll brief you later. So Meridian's gone, but shouldn't this thing know the nav point of where it went? Contact with the Scourge will have altered Meridian's original path. It would take countless years to determine its current location. All this remnant tech around us. The Dardan had to have a plan. Did they have time for a plan? Well, if the Scourge is messing things up, maybe that's where we should look. At what? I don't know yet. We'll have to think about it. Okay, no Meridian. But we kicked the Ked out of a major stronghold. That's huge. That just means we need to push forward before they can recover. We have to find Meridian. The real one. Sam, collect all the data you can. Radio the Tempest for extraction. This is going to take work. And it's going to take all of us. Pathfinder, you seem well. We're all doing quite well here. Thank you. That is good to hear. This journey can't have been easy. Speaking of which, we know you defied us. You went to Meridian in direct violation of initiative orders, even though our reasons were quite clear. Yet, you were correct, Ryder. We should have trusted your instincts. You have proven time and again that you deserve the title of Pathfinder. I have never been so glad to be wrong. I appreciate your encouragement, and your candor. I am told there are still obstacles to reaching Meridian. The initiative stands ready to provide whatever support you need. Pathfinder, if you're done with your call to the Nexus, I'd like to talk to you. I think I've found a way for us to find Meridian. Tired. Pulled an all-nighter processing the data we received from the Remnant City. It's... a lot. Don't push yourself too hard. Someone's gotta keep me pretty. Hello, Pathfinder. Typical day ahead? Mr. Costa, there's something about your demeanor. I can't hide a thing from you, but I'm gonna try. Can you run these specs through a research station? It's a one-time jump jet mod. Once that project is done, I'll set a marker on EOS. Then you'll see the result. This one's just for us, Sarah. for a human. You saw the perfect drop zone just in time. Well, we humans get lucky sometimes. I'm glad to have that kind of luck on my flight deck.
Home of Eos and Prodromos. I'm picking up something. Coordinating, path is calm. Too far. All right, Liam. This is the nav you sent me. Not exactly the sunset I was expecting. No, no, it's exactly right. It's the first home you gave us. Perfect for talking and a special bit of one time tuning. Are you planning a leap to freedom? This better not be a breakup. I don't drive for breakups. What? No. I'm not an idiot. The day we met, Andromeda met. We fell from the sky and bad things happened. But when we're old and people ask us how we got together, I want you to smile. So I set up a jump and something extra. Look, I know, but it'll be fine. We've done way more than- You talk too much! Sam! <laughs> Secretly one <laughs> alpha! what this was for? Are you out of your mind? Yeah, for you. Ascent is go. Leaving at home. All clear. Jaws been asking to talk to you.
You have AVP outstanding, Pathfinder. More tests? You said... Uh... Suvi. Gotta love her, but those green snack things she's making for Liam's movie night? Let's just say they're probably better suited to throwing at the screen. You've got a better idea? Yeah, actually. Cora lent me an initiative access code so I could track down some contraband. Long story short, someone on Kadara Port has popcorn. And Grexen, which is like your popcorn, only better because I can eat it. Someone smuggled popcorn across galaxies. It's light, and people would pay big credits for it. Why not? Fair enough. I could track some down the next time we're there. Thanks. It'll be nice to have a treat out here, you know? Hello, Sarah. Have you come to see if I'm finally broken? To see what discovering that my people were invented has done to me? Just here if you need to talk. I can't imagine what you're feeling. I've been staring out the window, trying to figure that out. That's new. True. Angara are usually very free with our feelings. Not talking about all Angara. I'm talking about you. I'm... numb. I'm... in awe. There's a peace in knowing that... though the universe is beyond your understanding, it doesn't need your understanding to function. That you may even have a... hidden destiny. Doesn't matter. Your people aren't shackled to this new discovery. I agree. We don't owe anything to the Jardin. Our destiny is our own. I'm not broken, Sarah. I'm excited. The Angara were created for a purpose. We were given vaults and golden worlds. All these advanced tools. And there is nothing Viket can do about it. The future holds more for the Angara than... A never-ending war on the Ket. Much more. For the Angara. Hell, for all of us. These are amazing, crazy days. <laughs> really crazy. Really amazing. It doesn't matter if we were created by a god, reborn from our ancestors, or exist as the dream of an AI superpower. This discovery changes nothing. Except... ourselves. And that's... Everything. So you can fix it? It's just editing a config file. You could probably fix it. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Anomaly on sensors. Win-win situation. 
situation. Nice gear. Could find something better. Check the console. I've been looking for an edge. Out here, you'll need it. I think Lexi wanted to speak to you. You have AVP outstanding, Pathfinder. I think I could handle it. <laughs> Your brain's rattled enough. Come on. One headbutt. I got the popcorn. And whatever Graxon is. Thank you. I owe Cora for letting me use her clearance. This'll be fun, like watching vids with Sid when she was little. I shook her hand once at a fundraiser and then blurted something about wanting to look at her again. I want you to see how it works. Prototype smart textile. Cage and colors in response to sound. Liam's idea about watching vids together. Movie night. Uh, he delayed again, out of respect for the Krogan. Hmm, good. From what I've seen, your vids are flat. They're only seen and heard. Angara vids use uh, tiny electrodermal signals. You feel it through your skin. I spoke to Gil. We have time to rig up a system to mimic it. If we can acquire the right components. That sounds amazing. Let's do it. The components we need should be sold on IR. Hmm. Let's be vigilant. Orbiting Gadara. Anomaly on sensors.
Anomaly detected. Welcome. Oh, Gil wanted you to check in. You have AVP outstanding, Pathfinder. Everything here is... Ah, you acquired the components? Yes, I'm looking forward to seeing what you and Gil put together. He's very gifted. If, when we succeed, more of your people can experience our stories as they are meant to be enjoyed. Goda Tavitara. The Lulia Reborn Trilogy. I'm weeping a bit already. Hey, Ryder. Sorry again for that impact on Podromos. I still owe you a proper sunset. No rush, Costa. You know where I'll be. No rush, Sarah. And no doubts. We'll talk later. I know it. It's my night off. I don't remember approving that. I can break bones just as well as I can mend them, Pathfinder. What are you reading? Harry's latest report on Scott. He's a troublesome patient. So you're not really taking the night off. <laughs> Work-life balance has never been my strong suit. You love what you do. Nothing wrong with that. Tell that to my exes. 
How do you do it? Be both Sarah and the Pathfinder. I don't really think about the Pathfinder thing when it comes to friends, family. Liam? Sure, I have a responsibility to them, but I don't let it define me, or our relationship. Sometimes, just sometimes, real wisdom comes out of that thick skull of yours. A compliment? I'll take it. Wait, you're psychoanalyzing me. Always. I hear Liam's planning to show some vids. If our duties ever give us time. Explains why Drac and PB are distilling something unsavory. Screw up the measurements and bathtub hooch can leave you blind, or worse. We can do better. Better how? An Asari liquor called Acantha. They used to run these wonderful black and white ads. There might be a bottle on the Nexus. It wouldn't be too expensive, I'm sure. Let me know if you find it. I'll let you get back to it. I'll be here if you need me. Anomaly on sensors. Anomaly on sensors. Good morning. Hi. Or is it evening? Cat's pretty busy. I'd have left it alone. Top side. Phoebe said she wanted to talk to you. You have AVP outstanding, Pathfinder. One bottle of Acantha, barely opened. It's medicinal, you understand. Cuts down hangovers, which will save PB and Drax some grief. Of course. Thank you, Ryder. Would you ask Liam when we're doing this? I've got a couple of things to finish up. I'll let you get back to it. I'll be here if you need me. I say, let's enjoy a few movies. And everyone else says, no, let's have an extravaganza with all the trimmings. 
You're complaining? No. Well, maybe, because now I need to do it all justice. You got me a decent library, but... I heard someone has a director's cut of Last of the Legion. The band version. Remastered. No crappy extras added for the Hannah. And you want me to look for it? It'd be the gold-dusted cherry on your Sunday. In the meantime, I'll get things set. We're more than ready for a night in. Anomaly on sensors. Anomaly on sensors. Now orbiting Gadara. We talk when you're free. You have AVP outstanding, Pathfinder. Last of the Legion. This is what you wanted, right? Wait, you actually found it. That version's practically a myth. I'll tell everyone to grab food. Jarl and Gil said they can rig something up in your quarters. If you need a minute to clean up, no problem. Just hit the console when you're good to go. Jorax. I know you left the Legion. I never left the Legion. It left me. But I know my duty. Alright folks, we can sit through a training montage with what many critics describe as excessive Turian flexing. No such thing. There really is. Or we can fast forward to a ship crashing into an asteroid crashing into a moon. Fast forward to the crash. Ah, montage. Don't cut bits off. I'd go for the crash. Forwarding to the action scene, going once, going twice. Skip to the good stuff, Liam. Boo! But it's a vacuum. The ship explosion would be silent. I hope that's not the voice of experience talking. Guess they wanted their money's worth. They actually blew up a derelict for that shot. 
Too bad the script wasn't caught in the blast. My strike team will hit the enemy cruiser, General. Force is the only thing fanatics understand. Why a strike team? Torpedo the cruiser! That's overkill. Get one engineer aboard, cut life support and engines, problem solved. And leave them stuck on a hostile ship? One torpedo, over by lunch. Fry their sensors, spacewalk on the hull, cut life support, repel in, and take them hostage. Done it. Less exciting than it sounds. Seriously? Got the scars to prove it. I assumed you'd got that falling off a bar stool. <laughs> Speaking of, time for another round. Anyone for a Varen's jaw? Or a euphemistically delicious? Wait! Lesson! No! Ugh, he was a sidekick. They die like goldfish. No acting like overacting. Even Ryder could do better. If I wanted to. Oh, please, tell me you want to. Come on, show us. I'll be dead for you. <laughs> okay. Feel my... I can't feel my gallbladder. Uh, do you even have a gallbladder? Oh no! It's worse than I thought. Oh. Ah. Oh. Oh. No! Damn you! Damn you all! Let's stick with the overacting Turian. I swear to love you. A thousand times, a thousand stars. Oh, Jorax. So many years lost. We were so foolish. Our hearts are one. No enemy fleet, no sea of stars can ever separate us again. Pathfinder. Just the person I wanted to see. Meridian. Set on a path its creators, disrupted by the Scourge, now lost. An unmanned ship is at the mercy of ocean currents. Now, think of Meridian as the ship, and the Scourge as the ocean. If we can somehow predict the currents and track them, we could figure out where the ocean's taken the ship. That's genius. The Scourge is the sea, moving objects around. It's not a precise analogy, of course, but it illustrates the point. Dr. Anwar's suggestion may indeed be our best chance at finding Meridian. The more we know about the Scourge, the better we can predict how it affects the things it comes in contact with. We'll need better data. Probes for the Scourge and Garen star charts. The Initiative made charts of Helios from the Milky Way 600 years back. Perfect baseline. I can compare that to Helios at present. It'll give us numbers, but one set won't be enough. Sam, what exactly do we need right now? Readings from within the Scourge itself, collected by probes planted at key points. Once enough data is collected, we'll need initiative resources for mining and analysis. Once that is done, I can build a predictive model that will recalculate Meridian's path.
We have a plan. Now let's make it work. Everyone's counting on us. Let's bring them home. Pathfinder, thought you might be callow. I asked him for nav data. Data for what? Mapping the Scourge. Now we know it's a weapon, I hate it more. Designed to isolate, lingers well after the war. I know what that is, it's a minefield. You saw minefields in crisis response? A lot of wounded? That was awful, sure. But the long term is worse. Minefields hobble the whole population, make normal life impossible. Mark this. The Ket are bad, but whoever deployed the Scourge, there's some motherfuckers. Missed you. We'll talk later. I know it. systems in the cluster. We're on the brink. Exciting, isn't it? Anomaly on sensors. Deploying probe. This is one of the chosen data collection nav points. We should release a probe. Data collection probe ready for placement. in a balloon. On Paladin? Brave soul. There aren't many soft places to land. Anomaly detected. Deploying probe. This is one of the chosen data collection nav points. We should release a probe. Data collection probe ready for placement. chosen data collection nav points. We should release a probe. We've arrived at a Scourge nav point appropriate for data collection. Approximating remnant ship dynamics. Sam? Building predictive model. Between the remnant city Meridian and however the Scourge fits in, pardon my Martian, but it's all weird as shite. Seems busy up here. Did I get what we needed? You got us something, all right? The key to it all, in here. The mother of all navigational aids. Take that back to the remnant city, find an override, and their ships will fly the same vector as Meridian. With correction for the Scourge, you'll have its exact location. 
The heart of the Vault Network. We can do it. the same vector as Meridian. And maybe, just maybe, we get lucky. For once. Ready? It's time, and we're due. Everything we worked for led to this. Tempest, we're going in. Quiet so far, but something's different. Orbital scans identified a separate energy grid within the tower. Meaning... Defenses here may not be on our side. 145 meters to projected override controls. Through the door. Eyes open. Everything ready? All relevant data is queued for uplink. Right. Let's find a path. Remnant ships have lifted off. They're following the override vector. The Scourge is moving. But they're getting through to... something. Meridian, Pathfinder. Is that a planet? It looks... constructed. It's hollow. Like a Dyson Sphere, but moon-sized. A self-contained seed world. It is the heart of the Vault Network, and when reactivated, every connected planet will be affected. It is the means to make Helios a home, Pathfinder. All our calculations have led to this. A transformative moment for the entire initiative. Congratulations, Pathfinder. A great day for us all. What is going on? I believe you're a fitting rival, but you are a false thing, a lie. Once I saw what made you special, your connection, I knew how and when to take it from you. I let you find Meridian. And now, I'll use your Sam to weaponize it. All Helios will be exalted, or one by one, your worlds will die. Starting with Eos. All I need to start is an implant like yours. And thanks to your memories, I know who else has one. Another reason to take the Hyperion. Fall to darkness, Pathfinder. You are almost worthy. Get everyone to the med bay. Hold there. What the hell is happening? I have no idea. Hello, Scott. Sam? How are you? What's going on? All we know is we're being overrun. Cat forces are sweeping the ship. They're looking for you. 
Scott, the Pathfinder needs your help. This is crazy. She's closing on Meridian. The Archon has severed my link to your sister's implant. If basic function isn't manually restored, she will die. What? Scott, please, proceed to Depot K4 to secure a weapon. Son of a... Info, Sam. I need something. The Archon isn't stealing the Hyperion. He wants you and me. Your implant is the same as the Pathfinder's. He'll use us to control Meridian, and your sister will die. The Archon will kill her? No. Losing me will. What? Sam! Hostiles are ahead, Scott. Be ready. I am sorry I can't help you fight. I took over too much of your sister's implant, and losing me will kill her. So when the comms dropped, she did too? Hurry, Scott. That's what I thought. It's crazy. No, I mean, take the access route. If the Pathfinder's in trouble, that's all we need to hear. Keep pushing, Scott. We'll barricade at the maintenance oh. access. Hold them. Scott needs to get to that maintenance access. You can't fight them all, Captain. Then make it quick. Get to the QEC. Sam, the Captain won't last. What are we doing? Manually send a reboot signal. It will reset your sister's implant. So, default settings? To restore the functions I shouldn't have taken. With luck, her heart will not have stopped. Since when do you rely on luck? I am not sure. Okay, we're here. One pulse, Scott. That's all the Pathfinder needs. And it probably alerts the Archon. He'll know where I am. I am sorry. Me too, Sam. Me too. Iron Shuri's! You need Sam to do anything. We need to get back. <laughs> Don't. It's hurting you. We'll find another way. We need to get back. It's moving. Your vitals are all over the place. I can do this. Up. To the Tempest. We have to move. Try it now. Pathfinder. Come on. We're here, Tempest. I got her. I got... Hey. Pathfinder. Kit took down the comms and hijacked the Hyperion. I know. The Archon's been planning since his flagship. He used me. Tell Doc the Ryder is hurt and doing weird stuff without Sam. Shite! Shite! We're getting reports from everywhere. All remaining catch ships are on the move. It's all the Archon. If he takes Meridian, he'll destroy worlds. Starting with Eos. He thinks he's one. Pathfinder. It kind of feels like he has. Ryder, there you are. 
You need to stop doing this. Nice to see you too. News on the Ark? Still headed to Meridian with a small flotilla. You got the last signal before the Archon locked it down. We're not letting that stand. Be ready to move. Wait, we need a plan. Stop ship, kill jerk. With what? Maybe we're outgunned, but there's always a way. There's... a way. He's got the Hyperion. That's how many thousand hostages? How many worlds does he destroy if we don't move? And how many do we save if we get ourselves killed? Well, we have to do something, right? I know, but the Tempest is one ship and she isn't even armed. an impossible thing. Can you keep that up? Have them fight for us? Cat are tough, but Remnant hit hard. The promise of that could inspire others to join in across the cluster. We have a for real shot at this. Rally the troops for a last stand. We're not throwing anyone's lives away, but the Remnant give us a chance worth taking. Right? Right. Every one of you has people in Helios you care about. We need them with us. Not to throw at the Archon. I'll make the Remnant do that. We're fighting for the lives we've built. That only matters if there's someone left to live them. Working Pathfinder, but we need to talk. Meet me on the bridge. Locking it down back here. Board is lit and holding. Good speech out there. You can really work it when you need to. Bradley says they'll throw in however they can. It's looking good, real good. Are you okay? Because I get that this is our one shot and all, but it's important to me that you're okay. The Pathfinder can handle it, but don't be too far away. Count on it. flagship in the Pathfinder's memories. You have an implant and a connection. And with that connection, I'll take Meridian. And then Helios will surrender or burn. You'll get nothing from me. My sister will stop you. <laughs> we'll know soon enough, because your Pathfinder is already here. Continue to defy your limitations. Impressive. We're ending this, and you're not just fighting me. That is a waste. He wants to exalt everyone. If Helios doesn't submit, he'll destroy entire planets. Yes, 
and you're the proof that I can. You still command, Remnant, but that began with the Sam and the Implant, and now I have both. I no longer need you, Pathfinder, but since you insist on interfering, I'll give you my full attention. Rider. I don't know which is worse, the Scourge or the Cat. The Scourge and the Cat. Callow, how close can you edge the Scourge? Too close? Why? I just realized the Remnant are pulling our best chance at winning this. Never mind, just get in close and trust me. It's time the Scourge worked for us. <laughs> playing your games anymore. You wish to force my hand? So be it. Unlike you and the Pathfinder, I do not require <laughs> I have yours. You've made this much more difficult, Pathfinder. But not for me. from last known position. It wasn't built for landing. We'll beat it down, like it or not. Wherever the Archon goes to ground, that's where we're heading. Hot drop in five, four, three. We won't chase him with the Ark at risk. We'll guard the Hyperion. Kandros? Who's with you? The invitation was open. Unless you're refusing Kadara's help. We hold the cat. You secure Meridian. Let's find the Archon. Pathfinder? He's taken them. Captain Dunn? The core is lit up like Christmas, but Sam isn't talking. I think the Archon... Shit, I don't know what he did, but he has Scott. Whatever Meridian can do, he'll try to take it. We're not giving up! Not when we're this close! Hard starboard! All power! Captain! Captain, 
What is it? Keep pushing. Go! That... not the Hyperion. Ken are deploying to defend the Archon. Get in close. Dangerous tactic, Kandros. He's right. Mix with the ground troops. The big ship can't fire on you. Not sure we have a choice. must be inside already. He'll use Scott to make Meridian a weapon. We can't let that happen. Head dropship, heads up! Your own reinforcements on site, Pathfinder. No resistance is with you. Kadara's here too. Remember that. Watch out, Pathfinder. The big cat ship is coming back around. Keep moving. We can't let them stop us. I think it's veering off. in after the Archon. I'll relay the layout to anyone following. Whoa, energy spike. The Archon is doing something in there. Standing by. Scott may need attention. gets control and blows up worlds. All I want is a straight up fight. Deploying everyone available, Pathfinder. Not strictly true. Save the pedantry for the victory party. <laughs> Clear. 
but we need to regroup. Keep going, Pathfinder. We'll shore up the rear. Diving run. These cat are rooted deep. They'll drag we went out defending the future. I... Those pillars don't seem structural. Is this all Meridian? It's massive. How many worlds could link through here? Pachero are with you. Glad to have you. There's nowhere else we should be. on the Hyperion. Damn it. Done? Done. Is there anything we can do? Stay out of our way! There's no pulling up. This is the captain. I need everyone to cry out. Go! 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 I'm rerouting power to all medbay inertials. I can give us one shot. Get me close enough and I'll biotically shield the bridge. The sleepers take priority. All hands brace. And it's been an honor to serve you. my thanks. And the Archon? The tip of your boot. Everyone read? That landing just made our stake in Meridian permanent. This isn't a race. We're fighting for home. No argument, Ryder. You have our support. Pathfinder, you take that message straight to the Archon. Do these cats know how committed we are? And they understand their misfortune. Keep control. No mistakes. Archon. How far can we go in before we're heading out? Halfway. I asked for that. Do it. Secure the adaptation matrix. The Archon? How's he still on our channel? He's in Scott's head. We're connected. Revenant not attacking? The hell? It's pointing? Guiding us like the doors? That can't be the Archon. Everyone see that? Doors 
closing? Someone's hurting us. Might be the Archon. Who else would it be? More doors. Maybe. Scott's found a way to help? By using Remnant? That hurts you. Prepare to repeat the cortical stimulus. Get out of my head! You are irrelevant. I will use your connection. God damn it! Wells are not supposed to be horizontal. Our home's parked on the surface. We can't stop now. No choice. Let's go. Look at all this. It's amazing. Never dreamed Andromeda would have so many wonders. If I'd known, I'd have worked even harder. We can't let the Archon take this. Touchdown. And ahead. Meridian Control. Long time coming. Six hundred years. Ready, Pathfinder? It's a gateway to everything we've been chasing. Never been more ready. Hell yeah. The connection is ready. I can feel it. There. Meridian. The network. So close! Running out of time, let's go! It arrives. This attempt to rival me is no longer amusing, Pathfinder. Hey, Sarah. Get my clues? Pretty clear path, Scott. Tried to keep him distracted. It was hit and miss. So determined, but so pointless. Your connection serves me. I know how it works. The mind is trained to think like the remnant creators. In this case, painfully. But I'm content to let him bear that burden. Whatever gives me Meridian. I will transcend what you pretend to be. You're out of time. I've matched you every step. You failed, Archon. You're the pretender. You learn by accident. I am the genetic inheritor of a thousand species. No more mercy. Kill them all. Scott's implant. Can they survive drawing this much power? I only care about one of them. Oh, I can't keep this up. Stop him! Oh, no, 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 no. Shit! He has access! I can see the network. They are architects of life. You commanded nothing. I made the cluster livable for thousands! No. You have led your people to their deaths. I've 
had enough. This ends here and now. Restricted, but the more remnants you destroy, the more fractured the Archon's attention. Hold position, kill remnants. I'm on it. Sam, soft spot? The armored head, Scott. Let's open it up. This is just the start, Pathfinder. We couldn't sit this up like you love this burn. Is Too far. Now you'll pay. I'll crush you with your own toys. Got it exposed. Lock it down. Interface now.
Sam is broadcasting the victory, in full hollow view. How are you feeling? You know what they say about the first day in a new home? Get married? Wait, what?
Hey, Scott. You beat me out of medical again. How long? Not long. Weeks. Enough to... get started. Started on what? The Hyperion? Meridian? One and the same. Capital ship, capital city. The home for humanity. We did it, Dad. Are you okay? You and Sam? Our connection has been restored. I am once again able to help the Pathfinder activate Remnant technology. But does he still need to? The doctor says that by raising a fleet, I may have overreached. Slightly. We have to be careful, Scott. Pathfinder, the Nexus leaders are waiting for us. Go on. I bet it's real important. It always is. <laughs> The decision isn't yours. Neither is it yours. That is the point, isn't it? Pathfinder, you're late. Save the cluster, straight back to work. I get it. It must seem like that, but this wouldn't be possible without you. As outposts become colonies, the cluster needs its own voice. A true council. And while I maintain that it is premature, we must nominate an interim ambassador to represent concerns outside the Nexus. Or rather, you must nominate someone. Interim ambassador? To what and for who? To the Nexus. The eventual goal was always a galactic council, but Meridian has... accelerated concerns. An Ark has landed. The vaults may make outposts self-sufficient, and we can't claim to represent a sovereign Angara. An interim ambassador would represent concerns outside the Nexus, until elections when we can all step aside. At the appropriate time, if this person is supposed to represent people, shouldn't the people have a say? That is precisely why we need your backing. We can't impose a vote on the Angara. Or even Kadara. Eladin? <laughs> Won't happen. But you've acted for everyone. If you endorse a name, some may disagree, but they will trust it as a starting point. Someone to speak for Helios. I put forward Pathfinder Reka. I'd suggest you, but someone might think you killed the Archon to elevate yourself. We can't allow the appearance of that. But Reka keeps the position and timeline in the Nexus family. The Angara need to help define the process. It's their right. Plus, the Moshe would help solidify relations. They have ongoing civil concerns with the Rokar. Ugh, and we've a lot of unresolved issues of our own. If we want stability, maybe we should ensure the Krogan stay. What if it was Morda? <laughs> you are out of your mind. It's definitely unorthodox. It feels like the original intent was to give that voice to the outposts. August Bradley's a proven leader. On a considerably smaller scale. He's kept Eos relatively stable, despite no militia presence. Meridian doesn't mean done. Ket are still out there. A Pathfinder is the obvious choice for stability. For us. But hardly the empowering one. Same old bullshit. If we're going to treat Helios like a home, we need to acknowledge whose home it is. I won't name anyone. I support asking the Moshe to act as interim ambassador. Meridian's opening day, and we're surrendering how much influence? That's the point, you colonial ward. Scott is feeling better? Good. This decision, the policy and protocol, that's not what your victory was about. There's more to life than this. Integration of Hyperion systems is ongoing. Our SAM node will be accessible on return visits to Meridian. See, the Pathfinder is fixing it, just like a Pathfinder should. Up straight, everyone. This is the guest of honor. Well, like you have to tell anyone that. Hunter, this is our opening. Let there be some sense of ceremony. As I was about to say, hello, Pathfinder. I am Chief of Operations, Ayora Pile. 
Second Wave Placements Officer, Darla Vass Hyperion. Hunter Carey, Reconstruction. Darla Vass Hyperion, Placements Officer. As our developments in the cluster grow more sophisticated, proper matching of sleeper and assignment will be vital. My mission is to ensure compatibility and fulfillment. When are you changing your name to Vass Meridian? I keep Vass Hyperion to honor the ship that brought us here, as my godparents would want. The saying was dying. Please forgive, Hunter. He is an ass. This is the first I've heard of the term second wave. It isn't literal. There have been several groups deployed for outposts. Second wave is about the staged evolution of the initiative. First wave out of cryo, structural support and generalists. Food and fences. Second wave is organizational. Less generalists, more specialists. More paperwork. It's needed to rapidly advance. I'm not spending a generation on the range. Iora Pillay, you're in charge of Meridian? That's a big statement. I will oversee the operations and establishment of our port. Exploration and study of the... interesting substructure will be handled by Initiative R&D. I'm told that may take lifetimes. We'll ensure that we have them. That's what I trained for. Hunter Carey, can I get some clarification on reconstruction? Sure thing. I'm tasked with turning this once proud vessel into the future proud human capital. It's more complicated than that. No, it's a structural and organizational nightmare. Which is job security, which is perfect. Come back in a year. This'll be a galactic hub. You won't know where the Hyperion ends and Meridian begins. Sounds like Meridian is in good hands. I can only read the reports of how you brought us this opportunity, but rest assured, we will not waste it. Yes. Thank you, Pathfinder. Aye. What they said. We got a lot wrong on this trip. They were right about my It's overwhelming. I Sarah, I missed you. Really, Costa? I was gone maybe an hour. <laughs> yeah, I suppose it wasn't long. So did you miss me? Every second away is a second too long. You always know what to say. Heard Scott woke up. <laughs> How's he doing? Not as well as he acts, but he's getting there, thankfully. Stubborn as hell. I hear it runs in the family. Hey, know who I just talked to? A second wave technician, fresh out of cryo. Just had his first sunrise in Andromeda. He couldn't stop crying. Just him? <laughs> uh, must be something going around. Maybe you're the carrier. It's really feeling like home, you know? Finally. They haven't given you five minutes alone since the fight. Have you had a chance to let it sink in? You know what? It means a lot that you're here. It means a lot that you noticed. You... said some things after the fight. Meant it. All of it. I want a future. Thank you for asking. For everything. Back at you, Pathfinder. For everyone. But mostly me. We'll talk more later. Just take in the moment. We deserve it. You deserve it. It's overwhelming. I don't know where to start. Hey, Ryder. How's Scott? Much better. There might be two Riders around soon. Imagine. The Hyperion's forming scientific teams. Gotta start studying what we have. I may have helped them organize. It's what you do. Meridian won't know what hit it. And we should think about what's next. This is a new cradle for humanity. That's a big idea. Bigger than I'd imagined. So maybe building those teams was smart. Small steps to understand all this. Until we're at the top of the mountain. And seeing the next horizon. Can't deny it. I'm game for more. With so much power in our hands, you think it'll be okay? Cora, sometimes you just have to leap out there and see where it takes you. Yeah, I guess you do. Whatever happens, you gave everyone an incredible gift. Nice job, Pathfinder. Ryder. <laughs> so this is how you all party, hmm? <laughs> Pretty tame, but don't tell the host I said that. Meridian is amazing, though. You... accomplished the inconceivable. 
I'm grateful to be part of it. Couldn't have done it without you and the Resistance. But mostly you. That's kind. <laughs> I'm glad I rose to meet your expectations. To think that when we met, the Angara and your initiative struggled to find trust. <laughs> the way we arrived on Aya was over the top. You know, uninvited and on fire. <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> Guess it worked out okay. <sighs> Ryder, the Angara will never forget how you saved the Moshai. But more than that, we'll never forget how you fought the Ket beside us. How we destroyed the Archon. Meridian is a new beginning for your people and mine. Together. It's like a fairy tale. Do you have those where everyone walks off into the sunset holding hands? At a time like this, I... I, I think it's strange that you can't resist making a joke. I can't so. <clears throat> Jal, our people. Actually, no, I can't. <clears throat> Actually, I kind of like it. Hi, Ryder. I can't believe all heading ground side, and they say you're Meridian, huh? I see it every day, and I'm still amazed. We're really starting to put down roots. It's wonderful. Did I tell you? The team's working with the Angara to set up a joint research body. That sounds exciting. I know. I can't wait. Us helping them, them helping us. Can you imagine what we could accomplish? <sighs> I'm getting all misty just thinking about it. Joint research body, cooperating with the Angara. You're planning a party, right? Of course. Nothing builds a team like a good whiskey and a laugh. You'd better show up, Ryder. We wouldn't be here if not for you. <laughs> I wouldn't miss it for the world. Let's get out there, huh? I can't believe all this. Right. Making a quiet exit? It's no fun having the boss at the party. Have you asked? I wager that most would disagree. I tried to think of a way to honor what you did. Some protocol. There isn't one. Your father invented this rule. But you defined it. Meridian is humanity's home, and maybe one for all of Helios. We did that, but I'm the Pathfinder. I should be out there on the Tempest with all of you. Let's go home.